Rally X is brought to you by Cooper Tires, Olsbergs, and Thorns and Key. Well, here we are then, heli shots of the legendary Hollier circuit, Varmland in Sweden. This is one of, if not the best rallycross circuit in the world. And the 2022 international rallycross season starts here now. Today is a good day because today is a race day. You'll see how relevant that is in just a moment. My name is Andrew Coley. I am delighted to be back commentating this season for you. Molly Pettit is, of course, reporting from the paddock. And we've got a special guest here in the commentary tour. I'll introduce you to in a minute. But first of all, let's take a look back at last year. So uh, Fraser McConnell round one in Neeson last year. You can see how stoked the Jamaican was. He went on, of course, to compete in Nitro Rallycross. We're hoping we might see him later on again this year. There it is, the Usain Bolt Bolt. Turn one at Neeson. Epic, isn't it? Christofferson with a big handful of sideways there on the inside line. He, of course, got the whole shot there in the background. We can see a little bit of Argy Barge, and it was him who went on to take the win. Up to Ulu. We went to Ulu at the height of midsummer. This was supposed to be a night race, but I think we'd forgotten the sun doesn't go down in Finland in the middle of June. So uh, we ended up with full daylight racing, a puncture for Gronholm. Let Christofferson through to take the win. Johan looking in fearsome form ahead, of course, to taking his fourth World Rally title last year. This was the following day on Sunday. Again, following Niklas Gronholm. Gronholm's here this weekend. He was quick in free practice, and uh, as you'll see, he's been quick this morning too. So brilliant job by Niklas, uh, managing to take uh, another win there. Oh dear, bits coming off cars, contact. Yeah, all sorts of things going on as normal. Fist pumps all round, everybody happy. Tommy Christofferson uh, with his son, Johan Christofferson, taking the title. He is the reigning Rally X Nordic title holder. And of course, he's a four times World Rallycross champion. This is the current FIA European Rallycross champion, Andreas Backrod. Welcome to the commentary box. Thank you very much. It's, uh, I mean, like, thrown to the wolves, right? Because, like, <laughs> we, we, we see the start line here in Rallycross Nordic, which is awesome. Uh, it's cool to be here. Mate, uh, we're so glad, gl so glad to have you here. How, sorry, mate, <laughs> I know you're missing out this weekend. Hal Ridge is, is on other duties back in the UK. So we will miss Hal, of course, but it's going to be great to have your insight. This circuit is somewhere that's been really good to you over the years, isn't it? I mean, like, for me, Rallycross here in Hollius, Hollius is my favourite track all around, you know. Uh, it has it all, and especially here when, you know, there's so much uh, legacy to it, you know. So many yeah. names, so many... Uh, I've always been here since I was 16. Well, I'm trying to think, when was your first supercar victory? Was it here, or was did you, did you the, win My first France? win wasn't here. My first win was in France. Like, no, yeah, it was before uh, Hollius. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or actually... No, I no, think it was here. It was here. <laughs> See, you, know, you can't even remember you when know, his I'm own wins I'm a bit nervous were. with so many cameras That's around, you know. It's, it's boiling hot in here as well, <laughs> it man. Is, you, it you, is, it is. Andreas is like, look how shiny our heads are. We're going to have to get some makeup in here. My curly <laughs> we've, we've had quite the morning. Yeah, we, we really have. have. This uh, caught fire yesterday, which was an interesting <laughs> start to the season. Uh, if it catches fire in the background, please do text in and let us know that we need <laughs> to go. Hashtag yeah. RX Nordic? Yeah, 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 yeah that'll yeah. do. Yeah, hashtag <laughs> RX Nordic 22, something like that. Yeah. Um, see, Andreas can't even remember when he won it, but he did. He won in yeah. 2013. That was with Liam, wasn't it, in yeah. the DS3? Uh, actually, I, I've been to the podium here every year from 2011 until 2019. I wasn't in, on the podium in 19. I was in the lead of the semi-final and broke the drive shaft. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the track that I've had the most success on. And like you said, my first win in Supercar European Championship, 2013. And that was when the, the, the story that I've told many times, you threw your boots and gloves yeah, into the crowd, did. didn't you? But if I remember correctly, you didn't have the budget for new boots and gloves. My mom was furious. Because <laughs> she, she's See? doing all the accounting for me. Still do. Still even even do. international rallycross drivers like Andreas Becker get told off by their mum sometimes. Yeah. So um, there's someone we don't want to get told off by and she's waiting uh, patiently down in the paddock. We're delighted to have Molly Pettit here reporting for us. Molly took a year away from Rally X Nordic last year, which was a terrible decision by her. <laughs> but we're glad to have her back. Look at that smile. Molly, um, where are you? What's going on? 
Hi guys, it is great to be back. I am down in the paddock, loads of people here. Down at uh, Christofferson Motorsport and it's very quiet because we've decided to start our broadcast at lunchtime. So let's see. We always kind of do it as we please until someone tells us to get lost. So we're gonna go behind the wall. You know, where all the, the data goes on and also um, something very important to most people, lunch. So here we have it, Christofferson Motorsport are eating lunch. So um, should we just go and see what's on the menu? And here he is. It's always fun disturbing somebody at lunch. <laughs> Johan, what is the preferred lunch on a race day? Mm. Ah, Peter Pan is good. Mm. How would you translate that to English? Uh, you are the one that should do that. Yeah. I have no idea. No, me, if you don't know, then definitely I don't know. No good suggestions? Not really. Best of the rest. Johan, you're our Rally X champion from last year, also a full-time World Rallycross champion. How is it being back here at Holius and back racing? Uh, yeah, it's nice. I mean, the track is nice and uh, it's always a, a challenge to try to be fast around here. And the uh, track is very challenging and the um, first couple of corners is also quite challenging and opens up for some different strategies with the joker lap in the second corner so i like the track and uh, always nice to be here and especially now when we have some spectators here as well i was trying to count how many times you said challenging there <laughs> yeah it is challenging so uh, yeah it's a good word for it you were just uh, marginally behind nicholas in q1 talk to us about that race um yeah first of all i had a good start we was uh, yeah changing quite some some things yesterday and uh, yeah i was happy to have a good start now um then unfortunately lost a little bit too much time in the first couple of corners but from there on i think we matched uh, niklas on time so wasn't able to to catch back sometimes so uh yeah we have to try and work a little bit on that and um, niklas used to be faster as long as the week is going so uh yeah we have some work to do Thank you very much. Just before we head back to you guys, I just want to quickly ask Nils Anderson because you didn't finish in Q1. What happened? No, the car broke down after a tight merge at the Joker. So, yeah, but it's nothing to do about it. Just to... Yeah. Sorry for the guys having to start the weekend with a little bit of mechanical work, but hopefully it was, it was the only thing that they had to do. The car broke down. Uh, what do you mean by that? Yeah, it describes quite well how it was. <laughs> A <laughs> little bit of damage. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for letting me interrupt your lunch. Uh, back to you guys. Thanks, Molly. Yeah, broken steering for uh, for Nils in, in that last one. And Nils has stepped up from supercar lights to supercar. He's not the only driver to be doing that. Linus Osland is also doing that. Molly caught up with him and a bunch of other drivers, some before Q1 and some after. So let's take a look at what some of the other drivers are thinking here around one of Rally X. It's a big dream and uh, a lot of new things to think about. It's a totally different car, a lot more buttons and stuff in compared to the lights car. So I'm excited to, to take on the challenge and hopefully we can make something good on Sunday. What's the speed difference like? It's a big dream and uh, a lot of new things to think about. It's a totally different car, a lot more buttons and stuff in compared to the lights car. So I'm excited to, to take on the challenge and hopefully we can make something good on Sunday. What's the speed difference like? Yeah, apologies there, guys. But the EVS machine has some gremlins in it. Maybe it caught fire like the TV did behind us. Um, but uh, it, we weren't here, luckily, when that happened, were we? That's true. That is true. <laughs> but I heard so. Yes. It caught fire. There was smoke, uh, apparently. Something we forgot to ask uh, Johan about. Uh, what did he do over the winter with the starts? Because uh, we saw his starts yesterday on practice. It was crazy. But it's, I thought it sounded different. Did you it think did. the same? It did. Okay. It absolutely did. And I mean, uh, the team, Johan, they have experience there. They were in the best team uh, for many years, and uh, I have a feeling that they have copied some something there. Something <laughs> you think there's some things yeah. off the factory polo, maybe appearing on the KMS know. polo. They um they they basically uh, it looked really yeah really good. Yeah, yeah. It did look especially good. on wet yesterday practice. Like they dropped RPM so low, like no wheel spin, and then still 
managed to get the the speed yeah. out from the start line. Yeah. There's lots of little modifications yeah. on the polo, which we'll try and talk you through. He will be like fast this week. 80, 89 gram uh, wing mirrors. They're yeah. definitely something that's come yeah. from the factory car. <laughs> I don't think he's stolen them, but uh, I think we, have we got Molly somewhere? Is Molly somewhere? I am somewhere. I'm down at the Osberg MSC team, and behind me here you can see Andreas Eriksson with his head inside Kevin Eriksson's car there, because let's talk about that first. A little bit of drama for Kevin in Q1. Yeah, no, the car worked fine yesterday. It's a 10-year-old car. We haven't done so much with it. And he decided to go where and I thought, yeah, take that car. And now, obviously, I'm responsible to make sure it works. Uh, it was something with the fire ignition, something, so we did some service on it. And it well deserved. And you've been hands-on for quite a long time now, trying to fix it. Yeah, yeah, I've been, uh, yeah. yeah I, you know how it is. If you borrow something out, you know, they, they better works. No, it, it's... Um, we, we think it's sold now, but you never know. All, all, always when you have something in a race like this, you want to fix everything. And But we're trying to figure out what it is. At the same time, we're doing developing work on this car. So, so Kevin and Oliver is here for a reason, <clears throat> not only for the race, for them to practice. It's also to see what we can improve and what we can do going forward. Because this year is a 10-year anniversary for this car. Improve going forward because things getting older, more technology is coming, and how can we make the car better? Let's talk Rally X and the first two rounds here at Helios. What an impressive entry list, huh? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, uh, but I must say, I mean, it's juniors is, is blowing my mind. I mean, the future looks great. And uh, when we saw all these entries, we, everyone was worried about the schedule and we have to go down on the laps even to make sure we could get room for all these kids. But I think that's the major thing with the Rally X series is the kids. We have them from the young age all the way up to the very top end world championship drivers. And that's what makes this series very unique and every class is full. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy. And let's just very quickly talk because Rally X is moving in a more sustainable direction with a new fuel. Tell us about that. Yeah, so now we are about 95% fossil free in the paddock. Next step is what can we do with everything around, you know, buses, generators, cars, everything. Because I think if we, if we show the way, I think people normally will see that they actually are doing something and, and that's justify motorsport in general. Definitely. Thank you very much and best of luck with the car. Thank you. Thanks, Molly. Nice to hear from Andreas about the plans for the series as well. We're going to have one last try. Let's see what the drivers had to say. Well, we're here with a very happy Oli Eriksson who can't stop smiling. What are you feeling right now? Yeah, I, I just, I love, <laughs> I love racing cars. You know? I had so much fun. I completely blew the start. Uh, obviously, pole was a bit damp still, I think. It's cold on that start position. So I messed up the start completely. But yeah, I had to chase from there. But it's just, it's just fun being in a race car. Nah, yeah, I really enjoyed it, though. George McGinnis, you're fairly new to Rally X. So we need to learn more about who you are. Tell us. Well, my name is George McGinnis. I'm 17 years old now. Uh, I live in New York City, and I came all the way out to Sweden by myself uh, to run in the, the Magic Weekend. Um, this is the most fun track I've ever driven. I love Holius so much. I uh, just came back from Q1. It actually went quite well, judging on the, the amount of track time I've had uh, in the car and on this track. Um, I've actually just this past session beaten, I've driven more laps now than I walked, and it took me until now to beat that. <laughs> But um, very happy to be here. I'm so excited to go to Q2. Um, I'm just so happy to be here. <laughs> Matthias, first things first, back at Rally X, what is the reason for that? Yeah, it's just to come and have some fun and uh, enjoy your weekend with the team and also with Enzo. So yeah, it's nice to drive rallycross cars. Uh, and it's quite a long time since I drove in Barcelona 2020. So uh, I felt once a year I need to take our, a little break and enjoy. And we do remember your last outing in Rally X. Do you remember that quite well? I think so. I only had one. So I think it was in t -Elf. So uh, yeah, I remember that pretty well. And uh, it was a good memory as well because Robin was champion. And yeah, we had a good uh, weekend back then as well. And your feeling around Helios, what's it like coming to this track? It's spring, rallycross, lots of people. Yeah, it's always nice. I mean, Helios is uh, the place to be when it comes to rallycross. And, uh, to come here and just to drive the track. I mean, yesterday, the first lap in free practice, I already back in the mood and enjoying the track. And uh, they also made a really, uh, I would say, update on the track with a bit of curbs here and there. And uh, yeah, they keep doing and improving this already great track. So Morgan and the guys here are always impressive. Why have you decided to come back to Rally Gross? Well, um, for sure, I love rallying. Uh, that's what I've been doing for many years now. But um, 
Rolling is difficult these days, uh, so I got this opportunity to, to come here and uh, why not, I mean, to drive this beast of a car and um, yeah, and Hurlius also is fantastic, so I mean, it's, it's great. Great practice and uh, and really enjoyable. So so that's why. Anton, you just finished Q1. Car is on fire. What happened? Yeah, I mean, uh, I was feeling quite all right out on track. We were keeping up a okay pace, I would say. Uh, still learning the car. Uh, when I was by the grandstands after the run, I was just having a lot of smoke, and I say on the radio that maybe something is on fire, and then I saw the flames. So just went to the scrutineering where I knew there was some fire extinguishers and yeah I just hope that the, the fires would put out quick enough and that they can sort it out and we can go out racing again for for Q2 but obviously this is not what you want for for your mechanics. No, Nicholas what a start to the racing tell us about Q1. Um, yeah quite okay run I had a good launch and and um, could uh, yeah choose my line into turn one and from there on I just tried to push from from uh, lap one already. Um, it was an okay run, but uh, I think still we can improve the car a bit to my liking, and um, we'll try to do that uh, for Q uh, Q2. So good to hear some from some of those drivers about their experiences on this brilliant track. You can see uh, the first of our cross car heats is on the line. So if you're wondering where we are during the day, we are at the start of Q2. So Q1 was earlier on. We've got results of Q1 that we can talk you through as we go. So we're joining here at Crosscar in Q2. So Crosscar Junior have already completed their Q2. We've got Crosscar, open two-wheel drive, uh, and then we've got, uh, what have we got after that? We've got lights and supercar. So at the minute, Elias Svensson leads, having won Q1 from Jimmy Osterberg. Thomas Eek Merstad is in P3, Gustafsson P4, and Pentanen in P5. Fun fact is uh, Elias Svensson, he uh, had a 46.3 uh, lap time. Uh, that's faster than the two-wheel drive, supercar lights, uh, only two seconds off supercar. That's mad, isn't that's it? So mad. That, that gives you an idea of how yeah. quick these things are. Another one that's for, that's interesting for us is, uh, who was it that was in? It's Gustafsson, who is was P4 in that first session, has just stepped up from Cross Car Junior. Yeah. So Gustafsson was P2 last year in Cross Car Junior with four wins, and is now into, into Cross Car Senior, right and immediately there. on the best mega, isn't Together it? Together with JC Race Technique, yeah. they, have a, they have a great team. I think they have four Cross Cars here this weekend. Two in junior, two in, in, in senior. So, yeah, definitely a guy to watch. So it's fastest first from Q2. We'll talk to you about how qualifying worked later on because they, they had a free practice session which decided how Q1 worked. Q1 can actually go fastest or slowest fast first, depending on what the quickest driver from FP2 wanted to do. Sounds complicated. It's not as complicated as it actually sounds. Um, but from, from Q2 onwards, it's as it was last year, fastest first. So these are the fastest five drivers in cross car. Svensson, Osterberg, Eek Merstad, Gustafsson and Pentanen on the line. Green light, wheel spin, middle of the grid, great start for Ekmerstad, but Svensson, who was fastest in Q1, gets down to turn one first. Osterberg looks up the inside line, oh, just runs a little bit wide, almost contact between the three of them. Osterberg goes straight to the joke lap on the lock stops, sends it in there nicely. Svensson, though, the Q1 winner over the jump and into the lead, so two cars in the joker on the first lap. Osterberg and Merstad, that was a great start. It was, it was, and especially from Osterberg, he, he didn't have the launch, but he still managed to keep his position first into the joker. I think he did a great choice. Mate, I love watching, you see Svensson there, wheelie over the crest, but you see these cars, you know with the supercar, we maybe don't see your inputs, and with these cars, watch the nose, yeah. when they get on the brake, and the Flex speed it in. down the hill, Flex it in. Yeah, and you, you know you see the way the nose dips when they jump on that brake yeah. pedal, again, look at that, down goes the dip, off the brake, on I, the gas. I mean, I can drive plenty of cars, but I don't think I can drive a cross cart like these guys drive cross carts. You, you see they put water on the track now, it was a bit dusty earlier, probably the track is a bit slower now than it will be later on, uh, but yeah, these guys are great drivers. Oh man, I've just seen flames from the exhaust as well. Yeah. I, I'm in full stoke mode immediately. <laughs> you know, like this is this is the first race we're covering this year, the first international rallycross race. And I just it's just so good, isn't it? Immediately. Yeah. Svensson, the only driver not to joke, as we see a battle going on up over the crest into Velodrome that was made wider a couple of years ago. Looks up the inside line. It's Penton and desperately trying to pass. I think Merstad, but can't do. Osterberg is in P2. Don't know what the gap back from Osterberg is. 
can't see it just yet. Time is one point two. One point two. One point two. So we're not. Don't know whether or not he's going to be close. Yeah, enough. I think you have it. I think you have it. It's so three laps, don't forget, in qualifying, which is really short. So this time, Svensson must go Joko. 2.7 was the gap. Yeah. That might just be enough. So watch for Osterberg coming into the standard lap now on the inside line. Svensson goes Joko, going to try and straight line the exit. We're going to miss the merge. Where are they over the top? Oh, Osterberg's oh, inside. Tight. Almost contact between oh, them. Wheelie, flames. flames, yes, <laughs> everything. I think we've got a broken lens on the drone already. So someone's obviously and we have smashed that with gravel. Osterberg in the lead. Yes, mate. Well spotted, oh, backwards straight right. into the, the commentary <laughs> duty, seeing what I've I've got to change the sport of commentating. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> going he's gonna to do it this weekend. So Svensson leads. Oh, so good to hear that RPM down the hill. Osterberg just in close behind. So what was the gap? We're going to see Svensson take it this one. It was 2.7. So we reckon then, two, what, you need three probably? You, yeah, to be clear, to be clear. So Svensson takes this with a 225.4, which is one-tenth of a second slower than the previous session. That's not bad when the track was watered, Andreas. That makes me think maybe the track was watered before Q1 as well. Yeah. No, you know, you never know uh, when they are putting water in. in. So, I mean, yeah, it's uh, it changes the track a bit, but uh, sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. So, uh, and sometimes, it's also more grip when it's wet, so <laughs> it's very hard to know as a driver. It's, it, it, explain that to people at home. Why is there more grip when it's wet? We're going to see a little replay of turn one. So Osterberg in the red and white buggy inside line here. Look, backs it in, runs a bit yeah. wide. Does he get to the? Yeah, he gets to the Joker first. And he? he was super wide going into the Joker. Uh, nice it, line though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a nice line. It was kind of like seeing Robin Larson going in. Uh, yeah, the rotation yeah, was yeah. good, wasn't it? So <laughs> he was straight at the apex. Exactly. But so this was really tight. I didn't. I, I, I felt. Uh, Benson would take this, you know, uh, easily, but, uh, but uh, Osterberg came back there. So. A great hit, all the flames. Yeah, all flames at the back of the car, that was uh, good stuff. <laughs> race two, yeah? Yeah, we're on to race two. We're going to take a look at the result from race one. It was Elias Svensson who won. So the, we got new graphics this year. You can learn them with us. Uh, 225.436 was the time for Svensson. And then uh, Osterberg was in P2. But we're already ready to go with race two. This one is Riku Huka, Oscar Anderson, Yoni Pekarajala, Patrick Halberg and Andreas Persson. Halberg from P4 with a good start, but Riku Hooker on the inside as well. Hooker going to try and get to the apex first of all. Halberg gets a bit of contact, spin in turn one. Oh, Hooker goes round, contact on the outside line as well. Door flies up. Halberg has managed to get through that somehow unscathed. We've got three cars facing the wrong way in turn one. If they don't get going, they'll red flag it. I'd almost sit there, Andreas, and let him red flag that. Would you get the restart then? <laughs> I mean, I'm a bit biased here because I'm uh, Andreas Persson here. He's a personal friend of mine, uh, and, uh, you know, I'm really for him. So <laughs> yeah, you're like, you don't know. restart it. <laughs> At the same time, he lost a lot of time in the start there. He, he came from the outside, kind of created the mess there a bit. But uh, uh, yeah, if they red flag it, uh, it gives him a, another opportunity. He, he lost like two, three seconds there. So the heat could, to compete against uh, Svensson and Österberg, they for sure lost the time now. So Halberg, who leads this one, Patrick Halberg, the 161 you're looking at now. Last year was P2 in the series. Uh, Isaac Rierson was the was the champion. He has he a 3.2 second gap now. Three already, right? Yeah, of course it was carnage on the first yeah. lap, wasn't it? So Halberg last year four wins and a P3. Sorry, four seconds and a P3, but he never managed to take a win. He was P9 in Q1, and considering his results last year, Andreas, I, I don't know that Halberg will be that pleased with with. Uh, with that time from Q1, how frustrating is a driver to come out of an off-season and not be where you want to be? Like when he was right in the championship fight last year. It's, it's hard to say, you know. Uh, carts, cars uh, develops over the winter. Some drivers drives a lot, some drivers don't. So, I mean, it was a hectic uh, Q1. So, probably he was maybe in the line. Uh, you never know. 225.4 is his time to beat. Backs the car in. That gravel bank on the entry to the Joker, Andreas pointed out to me yesterday when we walked the track that it's wider than it is normally. So that act, that sideways sending yeah, 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 is, the, is the, this crest, isn't it, as well before? Yeah. Look how sideways Halberg drives. I yeah. wish that all rally cross cars had to be driven sideways. Unfortunately, yeah. it's not the fastest way for supercar, is it's it, not, anymore? It's not. And, and the cool thing here is also uh, Halberg, he has a different kind of cross car uh, than the others. Uh, there's like four or five different specifications on all the all the speed or cross carts. Um, yeah, he's in a different one. 227.0, 1.5 seconds off. 
I've got a list of the manufacturers somewhere. I'll try and uh, we'll try and run through those later. To be honest, on. I don't know the difference. <laughs> yeah, well, I've told, they, Tommy here they, in here as an expert. I don't know. The spec, <laughs> the specs, quite close, isn't it between it is. them basically? So uh, although the bodywork is different, you know, the the rules. There's only two types of tire, for instance. Like yeah. I was talking to Jimmy Osterberg this morning. He was saying basically one has a little bit more more give in the sidewall than the other. Yeah. We're going to take a look back at the start. Andreas, talk us through this. What uh, happened? Harrison here. had a very good start from the outside. He tried to get in, but there was obviously somebody there, and they hit wheel to wheel. Slide all, all the way around to get hit again. Uh, and yeah, we see two drivers getting stuck. Yeah, goes round, collects Hukar from the inside. Oh, it was quite heavy it contact was quite there, wasn't the it? Heavy contact. But uh, you, you know, this, this is racing, this is rallycross, this is what it's all about. Look at those inputs. And Halberg oh. as well. That car bottomed out. We oh, saw sparks yeah. yesterday. Didn't we <laughs> we did. on the supercar. Flames. <laughs> so good. 227.0 for Halberg sees him slot into P4 in the session. He was P9 in Q1. Yep. So uh, so that's all good. Oscar Anderson was a DNF. Everyone else got around. Rika Hukar. So where was Hukar after Q1 was P6? That's going to drop him down the order. So a little bit of carnage. Yeah. That will make Q3 quite interesting because we'll see some of the quick drivers in with, in with some of the guys who aren't quite so fast. So on to race three. This one on the inside line, Ronald Baldins. He's in the new speed car uh, this year, the speed car Wonder. He had a speed car extreme prior to that. That's only just been delivered. Uh, and then we've got Egonson, Yuga, Oja, and Nojin. Baldins gets pretty good traction on the inside. He should be able to hold on from there. He's oh, didn't think he quite had it. Oh, side, side by side, bit of contact between him and Egonson. Oh, contact again. Somebody gets launched off into the barrier on the outside. That's the Markland barrier, of course. And I think it was the EKS Audi, one of them, but was it the Polo? It was the Audi, wasn't it? The Markland put in the wall there. Yep, that's true. Nojin and Oja go straight to the joke lap, and you can see them drop down the order. Yuga showing in there as well. So Baldins leads. I actually did an event in Riyadh, Autoville, a car show uh, down in Riyadh earlier this year, together with Ronald uh, Baldins, a very, very talented driver. The stuff he does with the speed car or cross car or whatever it's called, uh, it's amazing. You yeah. know? He's, uh, he's a guy with a lot of experience. He knows how he wants the, the setup and uh, yeah, overall very quick. Good rotation, straight cart in the exit. You know, get the power down. It's a great driver. What I love about these cars, again, I know we've spoken about the inputs. You can see the input from the movement of the car, but watch Baldins as well in the car. He's wearing luminous gloves, which sounds daft as, as a thing to look for, but it allows you to see what they're doing. You can yeah. see him pulling the gears in the car. And you can just see them soaring away at the wheel. He also had a go into uh, uh, Nitro Rally yeah, Championship did. last year in uh, a few of the races with the Honda of OMSC. So a uh, very, very talented driver, uh, a big... Uh, fan favourite from Latvia. Yeah, do you know what? He was so excited to be racing in America. It's funny. I spoke to Timo Scheider. Timo's yeah. never raced in America. No. And Ron was like, I just I want to race in America. I want to, I really want to do it. And when he came, he was, he was just literally smiling from ear to ear every round of Nitro that he did. Not much of a livery on the car. So he's literally only just uh, got hold of this one recently. 81. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all there is. Back in now. Gap was 2.8 to Egonson. 2.9 maybe is it? But it's not a lot between them. It's going to be oh, tight. Launches over the jump. Doors are open, but Bowden shuts it. So he had 2.8. He had 2.8. It was 2.7, wasn't it, earlier? Yeah. So we're talking like a tenth of but a second. But Ronald had a very good joker there. He yeah, hit the tight. perfectly. Nicely tight. done. Tight. And, uh, and good and efficient. What's a good joker here, mate? To I mean, talk us through there's it. so many ways of driving a joker here. You know, we've all seen Robin Larson sending it in there. That's a good way. You know, I'm a bit tighter, I must say. I've never been a real fan of, like, backing. Oh, oh Egonson lands two sideways, so somehow holds on. Yeah, flames, <laughs> everything's oh, full but, opposite lock. Bowdings yeah. takes the win. Where's the time? It's not quick enough. It's only 1.4 off, though. So Bowdings is closer than he was last session. I think last time he was 5.2 off. Yes, so yeah, he's much closer. So he was 5.2 off in the previous session. So Baldings was P11 in Q1 and it will hope to be further up. Yeah, but back to the Joker thing. Yes. It's, it's all about the exit, not so much about the entry, but you need to get the correct line over the curbs. This was turn one. Baldins got a tiny tight. tag, didn't it, from Egonson? And then there's a little bit of contact Whoa. here, look, and boom. There's nothing you can do when you get no. hit like that. Wheel-on-wheel -wheel contact in these is much more than it is in a supercar. It is, it is. And it happens quickly, you know. It's just small inches. That was uh, Martin Yuga that ended up in the wall, look unfortunately, on the outside. That's Takes nice, it around. Straight car in the exit. That's perfect. 
course, the cross cars are a bit smaller, which doesn't look at Egan. I'll tell you what, did well to hold on to that. It did, it did. But the, yeah, the, with the cross cars being a bit narrow, they have a little bit more room to be able to. I love a shot like that. That's great. Yeah. Isn't it? That little dude just chilling out watching rally cross. Like, I wonder, wonder how happy he is for it to be back. Bowden's with a 226.8. That slots Ronalds into P4 in the session so far. Egenson, Ojar, Nojin, and Juga did finish, but look 12 seconds back after that contact in the first corner. So we're on to race four of cross car Q2. Eric Anderson inside, then Cinder Treuterud. I'll get Andreas to correct me on that in a minute. Uh, Kalle Gotherson, Patrick Conger, and Jens Wahl. Treuterud. Treuterud. Yeah. Treuterud? Tre yeah. And here we have Jens Wahl also on the outside. His sister, Helena Wahl, is coming in the next heat. So I spoke to them yesterday. This is yeah. only his second ever cross car yeah, meeting. They did not do many laps, I can tell you that. Okay, so. Wahl is a big name in Rally Cross, so. Yeah, he's the cousin of cousin, Alexander Wahl, yes. isn't he? Who's just had a kid, I believe, and is, is now not able to race at the minute. So, Eric you know. Anderson. Nicely done, yeah, to into the lead. On Val holds on to P2. Straight into the joke lap, two buggies went. It's Kong who stayed out on the standard lap. Kong is related to Patrick Kong. The way his last name is, is directly translated in Norwegian, is King. Brilliant. Yeah, King. Brilliant. Who is it we were speaking to? I was speaking to Guillaume de Ridder yesterday. De Ridder yeah. means the knight. Yeah. But, but as in like knight in shining army, you know, yeah, knight yeah, yeah. horse. So it's like, I'm like Guillaume the knight. I was so stoked to hear that yesterday. Was well, that the first time you thought of yeah, it? Yeah, I, I oh. he said to you, because I, I was putting, uh, I, bizarrely, we were switching, yeah. swapping numbers. I was like, mate, pop up to the commentary box, talk to us about last year and RS2. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I haven't got your number. So I put it in the phone and I'm like, De Ridder. Like, Val goes to the Joker. Nicely done. But yeah, that's what it means. So it means the knight. The knight. It's a cool name, isn't it? It is a cool name. Coley is a cheap fish, if you're wondering. Cheap fish. Yeah, you can eat it. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's an alternative uh, to, <laughs> I think it's a white fish, alternative to cod. I learn something every day. Yeah, what does backward mean? Uh, fast. Fast. <laughs> fast. <laughs> Brilliant, mate. <laughs> and it's actually backward, isn't it? Back ba ba backward. 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 So Val did the joker. He had a 2.6 uh, second gap there. Uh, and he is now fourth. Interesting line there compared to, so you were saying yesterday, oh, what's going on there? Kong with loads of input into the car. So Anderson will joke at this time. Remember, only three laps in qualifying. It you have does. a 3.9 second gap. Should be should, fine. Should be easy, shouldn't it? Closer than I would have thought. So I would suggest yeah. that's not the perfect joker, is it? No. The wheelies over that crest, oh, that's cool, the right? biggest we've seen it. Yeah. They, they must have great traction through there. They have, and they're rear wheel driven, uh, very light in the front. So over that crest, they're kind of lifting the front wheels. Super cool, like uh, send it into the velodrome and, and, and smile. That, that camera on, the, on there with the oh, bike so engines cool, as well. <laughs> Sounds like MotoGP, doesn't yeah. it? And he's run wide in the last corner, oh. side by side up to the line. I think he's going to lose this Troy one. He is. Troiter gets it at the checkered flag. There we go. No and, way. Yeah, and Anderson loses out by 0.058. So Troiter nicks it at the line. I must say I'm impressed with Wall. I mean, he, I know he just did a few laps uh, back home and and he's already up there in the top fighting. That's yeah, cool. brilliant. He's a very good Rallycross Junior driver back in Norway, so... Yeah, yeah. doesn't he do... He's got a Honda Civic, I think. Yeah, front-wheel driven, yeah. so... And come here to cross-cart, rear-wheel driven. So way too much horsepower compared with weight, so... Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. He said Look to me that he jump. likes... He like, wants to drive the cross-car now at the circuits he goes to with the Honda because he says he thinks the Honda will feel really slow, so yeah. that it'll be easy for him, <laughs> yeah. which is... Oh, look at, look at that. That's slow That's the wheel yeah. of the day, isn't it? We had medals Bring last it. year get for... Um, you get, get some, <laughs> yes, Andreas. We had medals last year for... For being being Sendy, basically. Um, but I think we might have to have uh, a wheelie medal here in uh, in Holius. Wheelie good. Do you get it? I'm just writing a W behind his name. Oh, yeah. He yeah. yeah, genuinely has it. Yeah. has written a W on his <laughs> result sheet for wheelie. Or winning, I'm not sure. Well, ah, he was second, though. So. No, it's all good. It's all good. Cinder Troitera takes it with a 227.3. Uh, remember, at the minute, the benchmark in this class is Ilias Svensson with a 225.4. Um, so I say it is fastest first. I don't mind fastest first. I get that the track conditions change, uh, but I must say I, I quite like when the quick goes go last because yeah. then you still you still got oh, are they going to make it or not? But we could get a shock here. So Ringenberg, uh, Eid, 
Val and Anderson. So this is Helena Val in the yellow buggy, number 15. And this, Andreas, I believe is actually her first racing cross car. It is. It? I spoke with her yesterday. She had one test in Genlan, her home track. So, I mean, she, she doesn't have much experience here. Um, Changed three her cars. mind about the Joker yeah. there. <laughs> three cars into the Joker. Would have been better to go standard lap, yeah. I think. But, but she locked the tires into turn one, so or turn two, yeah. uh, and decided to, to go straight in the Joker, which is okay. But you're driving traffic, you would like to overtake, and uh, yeah. Well, it's good to see her getting that experience anyway. Aren't see her impressed? struggling a bit to get rotation in the cart. So is um, that is that an experience thing? I mean, it could be settings too, but it's likely to be experience, isn't it, given it's her first event? I do know she also have a background with front-wheel drive cars. Uh, and here with the cross cart, you, you need to use the handbrake, you need to be more aggressive on the throttle to, to get rotation, maybe even use the clutch a bit. Uh, especially the first lap, the front tires are very cold. Uh, so you really use need to use the momentum of like the braking, put the weight and the load to the front tires to get rotation and uh, it just take time, seat time. Yeah. Cool it's livery not, there, not, we see I was going to say, that looks uh, mint, doesn't it? Formula One uh, yeah. livery, that's cool. Yeah, that's awesome, isn't it? Patronus and everything down the side. So ring and birds, oh, or sideways. Come on, hold on to it. Come on, Val. Little bit deep, should get the exit here. You see there into the velodrome, she's understeering uh, yeah. quite a lot. Yeah. They don't have a diff, do they? So if you want to make it turn in, you really got to it's, back it in on the brakes. I think it is stiff. Rear, solid axle, uh, yeah. No, it's not solid, no? actually. It's, uh, it's split, sorry. Okay. Or, I'm not sure. It looks... I'm sure I've got in my notes they don't. We'll yeah. check. Yeah. You'll have to forgive us. It's the, uh, yeah. It's the, yeah, so yeah, cross it. No, yeah, direct chain drive, no diff, double yeah. wishbone, I basically. I see a drive shaft there. And drive shaft, so it, oh, uh, we've got, spe sorry, brand, we've got speed car, YMS, you've got RX-01, you've got Spanish Kamikaze, Kazmat Edge is the car that Halberg was driving, Edge. and TN5, which of course is a Thierry Newville car, which was used in the FIA Junior yeah. Series last year as well. Really well. Loving the drone. Over the crest. There's that, there's that barrier. I'll tell you something, over that crest, the first time you do it in free practice one every year, it's the best feeling on the planet. Why? Tell it. Uh, to, to, the speed to, to. over there, settling the car over the crest, going downhill, knowing that you need to flick it into the long turn, whatever, eight, nine, maybe, ten, I don't just, know. Just awesome. And then the jump. Yeah. There we go. Just, it's Yeehaw. a great circuit, isn't <laughs> yes, it? I it always is. have a brilliant feeling when I come to Hollius. Yeah. Everybody I've, does. I've been lucky enough to go to a lot of the tracks, you know, over the years now. Yeah. Obviously not as many as you, but I just there's something special about this place. It's not even the I Magic mean, we Weekend did, uh, for me. the same amount of World Rallycross races. Yes, we, we did. did. 89 World Rallycross races. 89. Me and Andreas Backwards oh, did together, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. And I believe, wasn't it only Timmer and Timmy at yeah. that point? Did Timmer, so only, no. only Timmy. Did Timmer do 20? He stopped. 20? No, he didn't. Oh, he I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he did. I think it was only you and Timmy who were left yeah. who'd done the 89 yeah. events as well. Yeah, so 229.3. So Ringenberg uh, drops. Puts him into 12th. Yeah. Yeah. Just so behind Jan Svall. That's good though compared to where was Ringenberg in the previous session? He climbed the ladder now. Yeah, would have been, uh, been on page two. No. Yeah, he was 21st in the last, yeah. in the, w the one before. Yeah. Right. Two VD. Uh, so. Rear wheel drive, front wheel drive. Uh, have you any experience of this stuff? So the, the from last year. Yes, yes. I grew so up with this. I love this stuff. Mate, it's awesome. And isn't you, it? I, I bet your favourite is uh, Tiger here. It is. Yeah. yeah. So I called him Tiger but all last year. Tiger. He seemed okay he with is that. Tiger. You know? He is Tiger. I spoke to Simon Tiger yesterday. Now, if you're not familiar with Tiger, who obviously didn't win the previous session, but last year won like everything. Uh, pretty much. It's so fast, um, that car off it, the line. It just looks yeah. awesome, doesn't it? I said to him, what have you done to the car? He's nothing. He doesn't say a lot, if you remember in the interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, but he said, it has a bigger rear wing. Yeah. I was like, yes, mate. Yes, like, man. just awesome. So you, you see here, uh, you had, uh, have uh, Frederik Orgedal in uh, second. Uh, and you have Jonas Dalsat Jakobsen, which is uh, did the Joker. He, he has been quickest in practice and in Q1. Um, they are big rivals in the Norwegian Championship. Very, very good drivers. Class, top class drivers. Now, we didn't have many Norwegians here last year. No, that's true. The, the reason for that was because yeah. of the border. So you yeah. guys in Norway, the border was pretty... I mean, yeah, oh, to be fair to job. Norway, they did well, and the border was, was pretty closed, wasn't yeah. it? So it was tough for you guys to get over to Sweden and do the events. It was. It was very hard. And, you know, that was just a time of... Uh, of our lives, we just had to get through, and uh, but yeah. no, it's all open, and we can come and. So now we're seeing. The, oh, oh we have Yeah, he he was going for a he joker, was. but the tiger went as well. So.
Oh, no, they're not going to get past. Jakobsen gets them both. Yep. So Jakobsen jokered on lap one and comes straight through to take the lead. It was, uh, it was I'm pretty sure it's Jakobsen who won the previous session. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Jonas Dahl said the Jakobsen from Norway. So won that session. So Jakobsen, he, uh, he's all the way up north in Norway. Um, I don't how, know. how north is north? It, Where it, is it's very, very north. Uh, I'm not. Uh, give, it, give us a where, Where's Bergen compared to uh, here? Bergen is west coast of Norway. So the same like line up. as Oslo. Yeah. So it's like central west, but up, up. It's like Trondheim where we do rallycross. That's like south for him. Yeah. So oh, he's really? all the way from north. He's he, way he, north he, of Trondheim. Yeah. And he won something we call Bilkos Talanta, uh, which is like folk race. Uh, where he came from, he got a chance to, to drive there, he won it, uh, he stepped it up, he actually beat me. Yeah. Really? I'm not sure, maybe two times, I'm not sure. Hal Ridge beat you once, didn't he, which he always yeah. reminds you about, but you'd lost a wheel. Yeah. Oh, you know, oh. lost the wheel. When you said lost the wheel, I saw a wheel flying. So that's proper commentator's yeah. curse in the background. Three wheels over the line. 229.7, so. which is slower than the cross carts. 229.7. These cars, of course, are a lot heavier, aren't they? A, a hell of a lot more power. So who lost the wheel in the background? Uh, Agadol. 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 Yeah. Agadol lost the wheel in the back. Yeah, rear left yeah. look gone. So that Armco barrier, if you want... Can you... <laughs> because we walked the track yesterday. I, I believe it was after 2018 where Matthias and Timmy had a coming minor together. coming a together. A minor coming together at and the bottom uh, of the hill, I do didn't think they? Uh, somebody Timmy. got sent all over the, the, the sandbank there into the turn one. <laughs> yeah, it was, I have to say, it was slightly dubious, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, to be fair, it, it probably needed a bit of Armco because it's so fast coming yeah. down the hill. I guess back in the day, maybe not, but the cars are so fast now. Yeah, they so they put an Armco barrier across. Yeah. So Simon Tiger last year, remember, won six out of the seven rounds. He was disqualified in Ulu, and I'm pretty sure that was contact with, oh, who was it with? Caltio was, was DQ'd there, but I think it was contact. No, oh, I can't remember. Maybe with Venelainen. Yes. Sorry, yes, it was Venelainen who was disqualified with him. So Venelainen was... Oh, look at the wheel. Yeah. So it's actually, uh, it's it looks tires. like the centre of the... Is the tyre off? The, no, the I think, no, I think it's the whole wheel. Yeah. Maybe the centre of the wheel's come out. Here we go. Here it is from the other angle. And it's on the inside. No, outside. Oh. Yeah. The whole rim and everything. So maybe that's just shit. Yeah. Look at the speed it hit the arm yeah. out. It's, uh, this it's, it's the worst job. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst place to, to lose a wheel. This is going to take some time. We'll dig this one out of here then. Yeah, this is deep in there. You can see the marshals walking there. Yeah. Let's take a look at the results of that first race from open two-wheel drive. Jonas Dalseth Jacobson with a 229.7. So that is 2.3 se seconds quicker than uh, Jonas went to win Q1. 229.7. Uh, that's my brain going slowly as I write it down on a piece of paper in old analog style. Yeah, I do uh, the same thing. Yeah, I, I'm. Tr I've, I've seen Hull Ridge doing it, so I'm trying to like be helping you here a little bit. Mate, you're, you're doing a great job. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead without you guys, basically. So I just get excited. You, you know, yeah. you guys just have to tell me why I'm excited. So um, <laughs> somebody else who might be excited or might not is uh, Molly Pettit, who's somewhere in the paddock on a mystery tour. Where are you, Molly? I'm always excited, you know, it's Rallycross, it's Helius, and uh, I made my way into the paddock and I found Thomas Brinterson. Thomas, you've been on speed since the very first meter here in Helius. Tell us how it's been going. Yeah, we have had some problem uh, with the turbo pressure, both in uh, practice yesterday and also in Q1, but uh, I, I think we have found the issue now, so... Well, that doesn't seem to have stopped you doing a pretty good time. No, it was... Uh, quite good uh, in Q1 uh, uh, anyway, so I think it will be good if everything's worked. So describe this turbo issue, what, what kind of issue? Uh, we had some problem with the wasgate, so uh, in the first lap it was good and then it was uh, yeah, more and more uh, uh, less uh, turbo pressure, so yeah, we will see now. <laughs> Tell us about the track conditions. That is really good. I like Hullius and uh, also they are really good to prepare the track, so that's really nice. Yep, from us uh, down here in the paddock, we like Hullius. Back to you guys. <laughs> so thanks, Molly. Nice to hear there as well. Thomas, such a talented driver, you know. Uh, yeah. Last year here in Hullius, he, he scored 30 points in the European Championship. 
and he, he were on pace with the World Championship car. So I expect a lot for him, from him this weekend uh, to be up there fighting for a podium. Oh, that's fast. Losing a wheel right there is the worst thing. That's you can what do it the hell is it? Yeah. What, what? I mean, I'm, I'm really glad. I remember a Super 1600 wheel yeah. not so many years ago crossing the gravel trap. And if you remember, it bounced over the fence. Yeah, we yeah. were really lucky that it did because it was magic weekend. So the crowd was really busy. And that's why we constantly look at safety and stuff. Derek you know, told me Johan had 100, over 180 kilometers down the hill. Down the hill. Last night. Really? That's fast. Yeah, it's fast. Thumbs up. This one is Victor Johansson, Marcus Norman, Yoni Pekka Rajala, and Marcus Johansson. Wasn't Rajala out in cross car? Yeah, this is he is I'm it? not sure. I'm not sure if that's even. <laughs> it's got to be, hasn't he? It got to be. It's, it's got to be. be. I have to go back in all this. So I'm pretty sure. I I I think Rajal has got the same engine that Venerline and yeah, because it uh, but with more power. It is the same name. Oh, a little bit uh, rough into turn turn two there from Rajala. Look at the Merc. Yeah. The Merc. I'm sure that I'm sure we had the Merc last year in uh, at the final round in Arvika. Listen, the turbo as well and engines spooling up. And we're going to have to go and see Rajal and find out what's in that. Listen yeah. to this. Was there a little clutch kick there? I'm guessing it's rotary, isn't it? Like we, we, oh, yeah, we yeah. have rotary engines in. Um, but it's in the mass in the, in um, Marcus Norman's car. Try, I can't remember what was in last year. What was in Van Alinen's car? You know the Smurf car. Did you see it last year in open to drive? He's got Smurfs on the side yeah, of the yeah, car, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's got a crazy engine in it, which which just. <laughs> but I can't remember because it's yeah. nine months ago. But these are cool. You know, many of these cars are built at home uh, in their garages. They take a beer shell from a probably a, a crashed car, which they can buy cheap. Uh, build roller cage with their friends. Uh, they. They get an engine tuner to build their engines. Uh, this is what I grew up with, watching my dad and my uncle race. You know? This is affordable, isn't it? There, it is. There's no, no motorsport is cheap. No. We're, we're aware of that. You yeah. know, we've both spent a fair bit of money over the years. You yeah. a lot more than me. Yeah. Um, so, so but, but it's, Volvo it's, S40. Yeah. Before that, you had Volvo 240. That was like my dream to drive, or even like was BMW that the really square M3 one? E30. Yeah, the really square, square one. Uh, but they're, I, they're still wrapping on these. Still, yeah. when, we, when we used to come to hell. Peter Solberg has one in his yes. shop. The the white and red one with Castrol uh, livery on. It looks so cool. That's my dream car to drive one day. Is and, it really? And Peter's DS3. <laughs> the DS3. You'll never yeah. get the DS3. Yeah. I wonder how it would feel compared to the DS3 supercars you tried at oh, the Merc. The Merc no. gets it. I'm loving it. It's kind of like, you know, old school DTM style, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Deliver, yeah, delivery. Yeah, or the, the body design on that BMW uh, Mercedes looks like an uh, old type spec uh, DTM car. Big rear wing now. Like three wheels through the velodrome. Flames. Ba, ba, down the gears. There we go. Over the crest. So close behind. Johannesson trying to find a way through, but I don't think quite close enough. Unless there's a mistake on the brakes in the last corner, keeps it in super tight, oh. gives him a little bit of a nudge, nudge. runs the car at wide, gets really Mega. close between them. Who gets it? Who gets it? It was oh, okay. <laughs> it was Victor Johansson, and he was ahead of Marcus Johansson. Yeah, that is so yeah, correct. we 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 get confused sometimes with names, but we did have it the right way around. Yeah. Johansson, despite giving that little bit of contact with in Brogan the background. With Oman Abe as a main sponsor, we have seen that logo in many yeah. cars. Yeah. Big supporters, aren't they? The yeah. omens of Rallycross at all levels. And Matt's omen, unfortunately, not here this weekend. He was with, supposed to Yeah, we drew at the last yeah. minute. Matt, you'll remember, is the, the driver who's uh, paralysed from Absolutely the chest down. He's made, the noise Enough. the crowd makes yeah. here when omen wins a heat. Even me as a competitor would, I just, <laughs> would love him to succeed every time. I'd, I'd love so to try the car guy, with yeah. his hand controls. Because I would I never. Can't, I, no. I couldn't. I couldn't. Look at how close it, it was. Okay, it was close. not so close from above, but it was a cheeky little nudge in the final yeah. corner. I wonder. Track if looks very good now, actually. It cleaned up a yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Even with like the the dust stacks and the water that I've put on, it doesn't like looks like the the gravel isn't like. It looks like it's absorbing it pretty well. I, I struggle with some English words sometimes because I, I, I know how to say it in Norwegian. So I'm sorry to you guys. Sometimes it just stops up. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I don't speak any more Norwegian. Tack is about the living, yeah. I think, which is a good word. It know, is. Thanks is, is important, but I must I must learn. You have to teach me some more tonight. Yeah. Mate. Useful words, please. Useful, yeah. Useful words. So on the outside here is the first front-wheel driven car we have in this field, or the, the only one. 
in the Toyota Yaris. Crazy Mike. Crazy Mike. So is that his name? Crazy, he, Mike. Crazy Mike is a is a stunt driver from Finland. It's, so it's not his name, but uh, uh, by, it, so he. Let, let's get off. Let's get off the start. So it's Enland, ex Engsvik, Kenneth Kong, who's the guy we were talking about earlier. Who I wonder if it, Kenneth is from Denmark, so it will be Kenneth Kong's uh, son. Engsvik. I imagine he's competing in cross car. Good start from Engsvik, yeah. But Kenneth Kong going to try and come around the outside. Oh, Kenneth Kong gets in, going to get on the anchors now. He's going Joker straight. Joker Engsvik. from P2. Yeah, I think he has. Oh, a crazy one. Mike's gone round. Yeah. Yeah, go on, mate. Yeah. No, I think it was a great, uh, great decision to go to the Joker there. You know, you, you have one chance to get clear air. You want to put down your lap times. You want to drive your own rhythm. And and uh, Engsvik has the chance now. I guess it's OK to go Joker and then yeah. you end up in a bad heat. Yeah. Then you lose the start. What, that's a nightmare then. It is. And then you have the knife on your throat and you have to do an overtake. So, uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's all in. If you if you're in a, a heat race here with drivers who you know are slower than you, and that's no disrespect to them, that's just yeah, life. That's just where life. where are you lining up passes? If, the, if, the thing is, you can so, always go and speak with them. Aren't we? Go you on. can always go and speak with them in the paddock, in the pre-grid. Yeah. Uh, hear their thoughts and plans and ideas. So, well, and just literally say to them, look, mate, if you're in yeah. front of me, I'm going to try and pass yeah. you. So, is there somewhere and, you would prefer I stick it on you? And also, like, let's say, I can tell them. If I don't win the start, I'm going to go Joker. Are you going to put Joker behind me? Right, yes, got you. No, yeah, no yeah. I'm not. All right, I'm sticking in. <laughs> okay, so then you know then you know whether or not you're going to end up following someone who's yeah. slow. That's really, and you do that. You go and Sometimes, yeah. 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 But you can't do it all the time. Yeah, I give, mate, world champ. Really good cars. Any chance you can do me a favour? <laughs> Absolutely <Please>. not. <laughs> so Kenneth Kong continues to lead. 3.4 seconds up on Enland and should go Joker this time round. Not the speediest entry, but Enland has to go in behind. So it's Enskvig, who's actually 4.4 back. And oh, Enskvig coming in hot on the standard line. Gets him. Contact between them. Oh, only just. That was pretty gentlemanly, wasn't it, really? Yeah, yeah it was. Enskvig over the oh, car. Well, Kenneth Kong's on a go slow. So broken the car. I didn't think that contact was harsh. No, 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 it was harsh. It was very nice, smooth. Uh, he got some problems with his Maybe car. he had a problem in the Joker because it was a slow Joker. Yeah, he had 4.4 yeah, seconds yeah, on him. Yeah. No, he should have had it, so. How oh, do you like these cars? Yeah, man. Yeah, it's cool, right? I do. I, I fancy the BMWs, definitely. A little sideways. Oh, he's going to drop it. Oh, he avoided a, a stick there. <laughs> Gronholm didn't get a penalty, did he? Because uh, I, I, I was you sure saw I saw him, him. I you? saw you, Nicholas. I saw you. Yeah, we saw you. We see you. He does win this session for Open 2. We'll drive. That's two from two. Simon Tiger was P2 and Simon Ensvig was P3. So those guys were third and fourth last time round. Agdal was dropped down. Agdal, of course, lost a wheel. Yeah. So Agdal, who was P2 after the first session, lost a wheel in this one. So the results have been a little bit turned on their heads here in open two-wheel drive. And that should make it an interesting Q3. And, and I do think that Swedes have like a little uh, aha experience because like they wasn't competing against the Norwegians last year. No. So, so this it's is good the first see, time they can like kind of feel each other's level. It's, I think it's fair to say that this kind of touring car style of car, which you don't see so much at the, the highest level anymore, is, is super popular up in Scandinavia. Yeah, yeah Front wheel drive, like things like Super yeah. 1600, are a bit more popular also, in like, France and Spain. Yeah, also countries like uh, Holland and Belgium are also high level in... Yeah, in and everybody able to cars. travel a little bit more. So, yeah. so open two-wheel drive only started... I think it started the last round of the previous season. We did it as an experiment to see yeah. if there would be entries, and there were. Okay, we've only, I say only, we've got like, what have we got here? Uh, eight, we've got 13 cars here. Um, but that's that's more than last year. More, more than twice as many as last year. And I think the biggest growth actually has been Cross Car Junior, which started at something like four cars and is now up at six heat races. It's so amazing. it's just such a great place to start. On to Supercar Lights. Inside is Simon Ollison, then Jimmy Walfredson, Martin Enland, Oliver Eriksson and Max Oskarsson. Eriksson from slot four doesn't get the best start inside. It's Jimmy Walfredson who's got the best start, but he's got Olofsson inside him. Gets the squeeze on contact between Eriksson, tries to go around the outside. Gets dumped down to P5, Oli Eriksson. You could see him check there if anyone was going to go Joker. And he's actually managed to end up third. Oli's had a good recovery there. He, he did. Uh, he, he was far too behind to, to get the round outside, but he tried. Oh, oh we have a spin here. Olofsson goes round contact behind as well, gets hit. Walfredson comes Good around time. the nose, just avoids him. Two cars stuck in the middle of the track. So where's Oliver? Oliver, did Oliver go off at the right-hand side? He did. 
did. He hit him, went off on the right-hand side, probably have an issue. Um, unfortunately, all of a sudden, he's always so unlucky. I mean, he was fast in Q1, and now he, he gets some issues uh, just before the velodrome. So, Olofsson, it's Enland who's going to lead at the end of the first lap. Ericsson will be disappointed with that. Whereabouts is Ericsson? How f oh, it's hard I think to see. he has a problem. You think he's maybe stopped? I don't see him. He's not screen. leading, so ignore the graphic at the top of your screen. Ericsson hasn't made it round to the start finish line. Very nice corner there by Enland. Andreas watching the, uh, watching yeah, for the oh, start big for the cut style from, points. Uh, Valfer's on. He's on a big push. Uh, obviously, racing for JC Race Technic here. Uh, so Walfredson is only. I don't uh, see uh, Ericsson. No, I don't either. I think he's pulled off I to think the side of the three circuit. Cars is out. Now we did. If, if there's more than 20 cars enter, then we get three semi-finals. But I've got a feeling I saw last night. Simon Olofsson and uh, Mats Oskarsson is still going around, but uh, Ericsson has a DNF. Okay, so it's 1.5 seconds back for Walfredson. Enlund goes Joker this time, and Walfredson should eat that up nicely. Yeah. Andreas, this this is the quick. He does actually tap the marker there, but not enough to knock it down. This is the fastest heat, and that's a disaster yeah. for all of them. To be honest with you, I don't think anyone had a clean run there. Walfredson and Enlund haven't lost much time, but it's not been clean. It's not been clean, and they for sure have lost some. Uh, it's hard to say. I don't really remember if they were touching all of them as well. Uh, no, I don't. Well, Enlund haven't... lost some time there, but I see their best lap times are 46.7 from Enlund and 46.8 from uh, Walfersson, which is very fast. Compared with the uh, Q1, is one tenth off. So Walfersson crosses line. Andreas is bang on the timing screen now. Bang and on. Now he's now he's got taking he's... over for yeah. Ulrich. That's it. That's it. <laughs> we miss you though. Yeah, how <laughs> sorry, mate. Yeah, we, we we may have you back. Andreas yeah. is doing a very good job though. But Thank you very much. That's a good point well, actually. Andreas, are you um, are you busy later this year? What, can, <laughs> I, uh, can you tell us what you're doing? Uh, if I tell you, you have to kill me. Uh, and then I have, you have to, to do turn off yourself. the camera and uh, <laughs> really <laughs> here live here. But I I can tell you that I'm working. You know, okay. I want to be back. I want to have a great championship uh, somewhere. So do um, I. I want, I want to see that too. I did a race in Spa, 12-hour race. Yes, you did. Tarmac racing with GT4 cars. Let's, here, let's here take a look at the inside. Yeah. So Olofsson in the blue and black on the inside line was the winner of Q1. One. Had the contact with Warrison. Look at Ericsson, goes round the outside, drops a wheel in the dirt. Now Ericsson here looks at the Joker, decides no because two cars are gone. Warrison goes Joker. I wonder if Olofsson was clipping the curve before the velodrome too much and uh, broke some drive shaft or... We might something. see it, mightn't we, from, a, from yeah. above. What, and you think that might be why the spin? So here's Olofsson. Go on, Andreas. Big cut there, slow speed, and then you get a big impact and something breaks. He didn't get a nudge front, from behind, front, you think? Front, uh, only ah, rear wheel driven. Ericsson was really unlucky, wasn't yeah. he, to go yeah. inside? Only rear wheel driven there. I think he was too slow on the big curb. You know, then you get all the load on the inside wheel while cutting the curb. Probably a drive shaft. And oh, big job. Oh, yes. oh shit. Ooh, you you know, hurt. in the air, you have to stay on gas to keep the nose off, up, especially on these lights, car. Bit cloudy in the distance, but it is a two. Yeah, Walfredson takes it from Enland, Oscarson, Olofsson. Oli Eriksson, a DNF. So Oli was P4 after the first session. I, I think, I, I, when I read last night, I'm pretty sure there's only two semi finals. So if you're new to, to Rally X, there are. If, if, the, if a class has more than 20 entries, we have three semi-finals yeah. and two go up from each. But there's only 19 entries in light, yeah. so I think we're only going to get two semis. And that means Oli Eriksson, who, remember, has won the RX2 series in these cars twice, and I think won GRC lights, might not make the semi-finals. So a bit not. of a story going on there. Ola Henry Steinsholt, Martin Jonsson, Isaac Hockvist, Kasper Janssen and Emil Persson. Janssen in slot number four is the NRX next champion in these cars. He's early on the clutch, but he doesn't get the best traction. Polman loses out as well. Steinsholt trying to find a way through, but gives up and drops back contact oh, there. Big got to Janssen. Off into the gravel as well, almost over up on you two wheels. It. Yeah, <laughs> I was looking down at the entry. Kansen and Kasper Janssen gets into P2. How high was it? <laughs> it, it, was it was high. high. It was high enough. <laughs> <laughs> high enough. Just, just to, to fill you in here uh, on the speed of Wolferson. He was half a second faster in Q2 than in Q1. Also, Enlund was two tenths faster than his uh, Q1. So, that track time. getting quicker, you think? No, oh, I, maybe I think, them as well. I think them as well, and they didn't lose too much on the carnage in, uh, in the corner before the velodrome. Yeah.
Yeah. I need to learn the, the turn numbers. You know? Yeah, I don't know them all. So but how do you deal with it when you're dealing with your engineer? In, in World RX, I, I know every turn, but I need to re kind of yeah. calibrate every time I get back. And yeah. I, obviously, as a commentator, I didn't it's do different. that. It's yeah. different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't do that. There, I, so, okay, there's the dirt in turn one. Now, yeah. that was something you mentioned to me yesterday. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so turn you see, two, sorry. Turn two, when somebody cut on the inside, you get sand, very like thin little sand into the tarmac. It gets super slippery, it's so easy to get down the stairs, so you need more line to uh, drive and try to avoid it. So so you come in wider then to, yeah, and, you, and try to rotate the car yes. on, the, on the tarmac before this, you get to the dirt that's yes. in the road? Okay, so we'll take a look. So Andreas said he has his spotters when he's driving supercar. He has his spotters. Let him know if somebody. Away. All the tricks. Oh there. no! So this is the Dude. problem with being a commentator. You see? <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you have them say whether or not there is dirt in the road. So watch You're here. You might see car. the dirt on the inside line. There, yeah, it, there is. it is. Yeah, there it is. And it's so slippery. You know, you lose the friction in the dirt on the tarmac there, um, and you easily get down the stair, and you have to retake the the corner again. So. Break, put the load on the front wheel to get the rotation. And just lose, lose yeah. too much time. Yeah. So Jonsson leading Janssen. Janssen yeah. managed to get out in front of Steins who I think you were chatting with this morning. Jonsson there, he did a great joke lap. He got a straight car in the exit and managed to do a very good turn. Four or five, uh, <laughs> I think it is. And so gapped, okay. gapped Janssen a bit because he was right there on yeah, his Yeah, he was right there. So yeah, yeah nice exit. And, and you, see you were saying how important the exit that was. Target time, 2.27.0. He might just get that. 227.288. So, what did Jonsson do in the previous session? Was a 230.6. Yeah. yeah, so that's he's gone a good couple of seconds quicker. Yeah. Nice. So, another look at the start. Watch the. Here we go. Here we go. Look, look now. Oh! oh. Mate! <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right. I just glanced down as it, as it that's happened. That's cool. That is cool, number 29. Watch from Eric the other angle, Berger. here it is, that just gets 28. Oh, oh my goodness, Berger. without all that left lock, Andreas, that was going over 100%, wasn't it? So that was an, an, an incredible reaction there from Emil Pearson. And to, to be able to hold, to on, to hold on to that. Because full left lock, you <laughs> yeah, try and pull yeah. it down. Because you it's do the right easy. thing, don't you? But still, and, like... And, uh, and these cars, like, power steering and stuff, you get so much load on the front wheel, so it's not easy to turn back, you know? No, not at all. Martin Janssen takes it from Kasper Janssen. And then Ola Henry Steinsholt, Emil Persson and Isaac Hockfist. I put a W behind Emil Persson's name as well. Yeah? So, yeah. So for, for Wheelie? For Wheelie. Wheelie Wednesday. <laughs> okay, it's Winning Saturday, Wheelie. But, yeah. Winning Wheelies. George M McGinnis. Yeah. All the way from America. Yeah, That's so cool. the, he came over last year to our Vika, which was, I've got, I can't remember if it was his Friendly first. guy. He's Smiling. lovely, George. So I know Gary and Helen will be watching out at uh, Mid Ohio. They're out at Mid Ohio Sports Car, of course, because uh, George's brother Robert is competing in IMSA this weekend. So they've got their sponsors in the in hospitality. The so they're very pleased to see McGinnis getting a great start from the inside line. Should be able to hold on from here unless anyone gets into him on the brakes. McGinnis has got to nail this. He'll go standard lap for sure because McGinnis now needs a really good time. Now, he has played, Andres, 700 hours of track time on this <laughs> that's way on, too much. On, on Dirt Rally. It is. It is amazing, though. It is. Like, but commitment. What a, so, that's so what I mean. He yeah. really loves it, doesn't he? He does. He uh, really wants this. Very cool guy. Uh, not shy. Smiling. He got a pair of fast glasses from me earlier. And did he? Uh, he, he did some big steps after that, improved <laughs> massively. So is that I mean, the difference? <laughs> that's the difference. Do you think all that money you could spend on simulators and tires and stuff, and, and, and yeah, a pair oh. of fast glasses is just sixty something euros? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's yeah. a big gain, isn't it's it? It's a for that big, budget? big gain. I mean, I mean not, you know, other sunglasses are available you know, just to cover ourselves yeah. commercially here. Yes. But, I, uh, I can see one thing on uh, McGuinness's car here: he, the ride height is very low. Uh, in the long corner, he's, uh, he's hitting the floor. Uh, compared with all the other lights cars, I see they everybody run a bit higher cars. He's with Yellow Squad, isn't he? So he he's is got with... Eric Farr and likely spotting yeah. for him. Kevin Hansen's there running team for him. Kenneth Hansen is here this weekend running Belevsky with Graham Rodemark. So he's yeah. got... You but Eric, see where Eric, Eric, if you hear me, please go a bit higher. Yeah, yeah, the, your ride height's too low for <laughs> you, is it? But it's low, low is fast. So you can see here on the side skirt now. Yeah, just how low it is to the ground. Yeah. Interesting. So you think... Mind you, I mean, he's still standing okay on the jumps. Let's see. It is okay, you know, it's uh, it's fast. He's, he's looking fast there now. 
Right, so McGinnis, last time. I hope Eric remembers the Joker. Yeah, it's got to be like done this does. lap. In goes George McGinnis now. Come on, George. Send it, come on. So George won a round of Ben Arik's next. Turn yeah, there. loses a bit of time a on the entry. Exit. Very good exit. That's, that's what we're talking about. Nice recovery from him. Good, good. Got Not a message from his dad last here. night. They, they were saying they were happy with his pace. He, I think yeah. it was P10, but it's his first time here. He's up yeah. against so many of these drivers who've been here so much. Yeah. And he still hasn't done that much rally cross, certainly not that much on tarmac, of course, because all his NRX next experience yeah. last year. Big jumps. Yeah, and dirt. And Big dirt. jumps and loads of dirt. Whereas last year he did RV, and now he's here at Hollyers, but he did say he was oh, a to that car is. <laughs> Yeah, nose it over the jump. Dirt. Backs it in now. McGinnis aiming for the 227.0. He's not going to be far off. 227.7. That's close. And George McGinnis is going to drop in nicely up the order. We've still got, unfortunately, two wheel drive open on our timing screen, so we're not seeing that updated it should order. Should be top five. Yeah. But don't take my word for it. No, that's good enough, mate. Timing screen's off. We'll go with Baccarat instead. Yeah. We'll go with Baccarat. Good start. Great start, actually. Really good, wasn't it? Off the line there. Yeah. And then it was to get, he got on the brakes, he was lucky, wasn't he, not yeah. to get collected. Because sometimes there, particularly when the guy from P2 went straight to Joker, you can get collected there. If they come off the brake too early, yeah. they can yeah. over-rotate you through turn two. How much did that cost? Hard to say, like two tenths, but then his exit was excellent. So, I mean, I would say I looked throughout his, all, all his on, laps. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the gas in the air. <laughs> he, he would know how to jump, so. I shouldn't learn him anything. No, but, it's, yeah. all, it's all good, mate. It's all good. But uh, yeah, I think he got his line perfectly there throughout the whole heat. Uh, he just struggled a bit to to set the pace from the beginning. Kyle Schwartz was in that one as well. Kyle, yeah. of course, uh, ran last year with Sandra Holkin's squad, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we in, had Kevin Eriksson, which had well. big misfires. In, ah, uh, is that the, was yeah. that what they were trying to fix down in the garage? Yeah. So they, do, do we see an engine practice, change? Or? From practice, they had an issue in Q1 and also let's see you now in Q2 like four or five guys was in the engine bay just uh, <laughs> half an hour ago so let's see and that's a lot of people to get in a very small engine bay yeah. so your grid is Ida Tornholt, Kevin Erickson, Natalie Peterson and Mattis Janssen with the greatest of respect to the other drivers Kevin must win this yeah. start because if he gets held up behind them they're not quick enough for him to challenge those top times if he wants to make it through to the Good semi-finals, start. Kevin Erickson has got to absolutely smash this. He's got the start. Now he needs to not get collected in turn two. Look at the pace he carries through yep. there. He's got so much time, Andreas, that he's able to get on the brakes. And, and one of them should have decided from further back to go Joker immediately. But some of these drivers, they, they want to follow Erickson, you know. They want to learn, they want to embrace it, because he's going to be a benchmark this time. So like has, he... have they fixed the misfire? Listening to this, Andreas, tell us if you think it's healthy, yeah. it seems it. Yeah. That's more oh, like yeah. it, isn't it? That's, That's more, more like, like it. it. <laughs> so Kevin Erickson, of course, remember, came up through RX2 um, alongside Kevin Hansen. So Kevin Hansen and Kevin Erickson had some great battles in this category back in the day. He then moved up to supercar. He did the famous round the outside move up. So I think someone's driving the round the outside car this weekend. Yeah, they are. Uh, it's it? uh, Linus Östlund. Yes, it yeah. is, yeah. That car was driven by Robin Larson, but also by Kevin Erickson around the outside. Uh, yeah. And if you don't know about Kevin Erickson around the outside, where have you been? Yeah. Go on the internet immediately, and it won't take you long to find it. Because it And if you see that film, Kevin overtakes three guys on the outside, while me, the one and only Andreas Snacker backward, goes inside, overtake three guys as well. So you got three guys too. But, but nobody I'm, saw it. Nobody cares, nobody do they? Cares. Unfortunately, it was, it, was, it was good, but it wasn't great. Big, wide, <laughs> Ford Focus RSRX, sneaking on the inside. Yeah, you're, you're driving around Estering with, uh, with the tire off, yeah. and the, the, it was just epic, yeah. absolutely epic. All right, so do we get any lap times? 50.4, it's not fast enough. Let we see, 47.1 from Kevin compared with 46.7, which uh, Jimmy Walfordson did. He, uh, it looks like he's, he just doesn't have the perfect pace, but he's there, you know? Very consistent, as always. Rarely a mistake. Even though uh, we saw Mattis Jansson being a bit faster in previous lap, I would say Kevin nailed the Joker. So we're on to the final lap now. Kevin coming down the hill. Look how look how small the steering oh. inputs are. It's tidy. He's isn't a it? great driver. Is I mean, it? You rate, yeah, you rate Kevin yeah. very highly. Yeah, yeah, I do. I yeah. mean, 
Everybody asks me, who, who do you want to have as your teammate? I want to have Kevin or Oliver, because they can be fast and also fix my car <laughs> <laughs> when I break it. Sebastian Eriksson is also handy for that, isn't he? So what was the lap time here now? Uh, Kevin Eriksson with a 2.26.7. So oh, fastest. Fastest, fastest yeah, wins fastest. the session by a mile. Yeah. Not no, by a mile. No, sorry, because I'm looking down at the open two-wheel drive times, which we sorry, still got no, on the bottom half. No, 226.7. So is, is it enough? 226.7. It is enough. It is enough? It is enough. So you have to forgive us. The bottom half of our timing screen hasn't updated. We've still got the session times from open two-wheel drive. He wasn't the why. fastest lap time-wise, but uh, fastest overall heat time. Yeah. Heat time. So the track yeah, also Erickson. looks a bit drier as well. Um, now the question is, but his lap one was mega. With only three qualifiers and him being P17, yeah, I reckon he will. I need if to stop saying mega, by the way. No, it's, it's, it's <laughs> fine, mate. It's just, when I look at you, I just that's, <laughs> you, you just that's what you think. <laughs> it falls out my mouth. All <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, deep oh, breath. Uh, you can hear what's coming up next, huh? Yeah, we can. Yeah, in the background. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, I love the sound of anti lag in the morning. <laughs> there it is. Uh, we're getting the the first of the supercars up onto the grid. There's your result from Supercar Lights Q2 Heat 4, 226.7. And the fact it's purple, that means they've gone fastest. So if you're not used to reading timing screens, you know, get yourself out there. In fact, yeah, you can go on Chronomoto's website and find the timing screen. You can have a look at it for yourself. Purple means fastest overall. Green normally means personal best in terms of either sector time or lap time. But let's get stuck into this supercar. Fastest oh, first. Oh, we see smoke from Anton Marklund's car already. That had a fire yeah. in Q1. Yeah. So Marklund's car had a fire in Q1, it and on the could, mind you, that could be oil burning off from before. It could be, or new tape on the exhaust manifold. Uh, you know, it get warm, and it needs to kind of. He'd like, be keen to get going though, wouldn't yeah. he? I mean, that will cook the tape. But once he gets going, in theory, he'd be able to see because the smoke could be pulled over the top of yeah. the car. But he's also going to be in there. Mind you, the team will know. Anyway, grid, Gronholm, Christopherson, Markland, Evshen, and. Baby, remember Hyundai Volkswagen yeah. against Audi. Hyundai in the middle as well for Markland, so they they may well have had a quick chat. Christoph will be keen to be grown on down the turn one. Here we go, four-time World Rallycross champion, reigning rally ex Nordic champion. He gets a great start in the pole over Gronholm, still alongside from the run to turn one. Gronholm has the inside line. Oh, Christoph can get pushed from the background, has to get onto the lockstock to hold on to it. Might have been Markland who got into it. Evshin goes into the joke up along with Markland, but it's Christoph who gets in there first. It might be Asian standard lap, but Christophson on the inside line of the Joker somehow held on to that lead in the Joker lap. I mean, dude, I just want to go out there and race, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you was actually very, very lucky because uh, Evian had a stall, or he started preloading way too early, went back on the clutch, green lights went on, and then, you know, he, he didn't have the boost to, to do the start. Uh, great start for Gerber. Between the two Audis as to who it was that was behind uh, Christoph. It was Evian. It was Evian who yeah. pushed him so, into turn one? Yes, or? yes. No, 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 not into turn one. That looked like uh, uh, Marklin. So, and, yes, uh, sorry, it was Marklin, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, Gronholm goes Joker this time round, so Christoph will stay out. So, watch now to see if Gronholm comes He's up a behind. Joker. Needs to come out in front oh, here. Is it going to be enough? Nice. It is enough. It is enough. Inside line now, so watch for Christoph. Oh, Christoph has oh, got broken a broken, it. broken steering arm. He went way too hard into ground on there. So Christopherson we broke the, the same steering. happened with Nils Anderson in the previous heat. So obviously a weakness there uh, that KMS will look into. So it's uh, it's Baby now. With the he's been fast. On the he's side. been fast. He's had a great like first uh, qualifying heat. It's, it's he was quick on practice yesterday. He drives clean. Uh, obviously coming from rallying to rallycross, more powerful car. It takes a bit of time to get used to, and especially the tarmac gravel and <laughs> adrenaline. He goes into the Joker. Now, Gronholm, though, I think will easily Perfect take this there. one. He does. So, Vaby was really aggressive in Q1, oh, and he loses out. another position. Is he going to lose three? So, he loses out to Evgen. So, Evgen's coming in front. Yep. Up and over the crest. Nicely done by Evgen. So, yeah, so we've got two blue Audis. We've got Bauerhaus on the side of, of both Vaby and Christopherson. The yeah. new livery day is always hard, isn't yeah. it? The first day of the season, no, for, for us particularly. It is. Unless you do a Gronholm and come up with something so wild that nobody can be mistaken for what you're in. So, Niklas Gronholm comes around the final corner. He won Q1 with a 217.6. Oh, it's not going to be that quick. 
to 18.1, but that's still quicker than anyone else went in Q1. So Christophson did a 218.2 in Q1. 218.1. How many drivers in this are we going to get? Yes, we should. 20 drivers. We should have three semis in this. I'm trying to figure out whether or not Johan is in danger, but I think he'll make the semis. But yeah. obviously, this is not. So, Christophson in P2. Yeah, from the outside. You get a nudge from Marklin there, and it's so hard. Like, <laughs> nothing Johan could have done there, really. So, it was it was Evgen who went Joker. Yeah. You have to forgive us for the... Uh, Confusions we're seeing these cars for the first time as you guys are. Christopherson, I love the black and silver livery, yeah. I have to say it looks looks mint. So the polo, he does hold on to that position. This was the merge between Christopherson. Oh, it, it didn't look that hard. No, though, it to wasn't me. it wasn't that hard, but I think maybe you know you get it on the, the, oh, the there force. It goes. Yeah, you get the force all the way out on the on the wheel, you know. Back on the arm, that's Norwegian. <laughs> that's all right, it's good. Back wait, on the arm. Wait, wait. Close enough. Times the arm. You know? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, to, to me, it looked like lower link when you yeah, saw it from yeah. the rear shot. The, it, the, the ball steering joint. arm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Balls, you think steering yeah. arm? I wasn't sure if the bottom of the wheel had come out. But yeah, so, and then look at look at Gronholm's door, and you can it's actually see the dents today. in the door. Yeah. So there is Christopherson's stricken car. It's a DNF for the world and Rally X champion. Gronholm with a 218-1 takes the race from Evshin, Vaby, and Markland. That was a fast hit. Like, it happens so much in Supercar. First time I'm commentating Supercar, that's mad. Yeah, it was, it was good. Right, <laughs> and I was and jealous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he wanted to be out there. So did I, to be honest, yeah. mate. Uh, let's go and have a chat with Molly. Yeah, as you can see, the damage here with that contact with Christopherson. Let's have a word with him. Nicholas, that was quite a hard race. It's clear to see that you had a bit of contact there with Johan. Talk us through it. No, I mean, a normal Helios merge uh, from the normal and Joker lap. Um, yeah, he tried everything, and um, luckily I was on on the inside going up uh, to the next right hand there, so it it was a big hit, but uh, it was it was fine. Um, yeah, I struggled a, a bit with with the car to be honest. Now I think track condition was was a bit different, and um, yeah, I really had to fight fight with the car. I didn't feel comfortable, but. But this is this is rallycross. It's never the same, and you kind of try to always stay one step ahead. But it's always it doesn't work out. So um, yeah, but lucky to get um, get a win. What is it you're not comfortable with? Huh? What is it you're not comfortable with? No, just overall the feeling in the car. It's I, I really need to like I really need to fight the car. Um, Obviously, it's something that you actually want, but it's not, not in this way. You need to be fighting the car, but not this much. Thank you. So I think Christopherson is sitting in that car with one foot on the brake. It does have a, it does have a strap on the back, but yeah. maybe not on the front. Here's another look he at the He was merch. smiling, though. Uh, like, obviously, he comes in quite smooth, and then it looks like he goes on gas. And then he, he hit him quite, or ground him quite hard in the door there. Because, like, the left door is always a steel door. Yes. A and you saw the big, uh, big... Uh, so that, that and the roof, isn't it? Are the yeah, only two panels the on the car which yeah. have to remain uh, in, the, in the steel material or metallic material. The other ones can all be changed to yeah. carbon, and you could see the damage on Gronholm's door. But, but it's cool, you know. Johan really wanted it. Uh, Niklas shut the door. You know, you, yeah. you, you need... Coming from the original line, you have to have respect for the Joker merge, and the Joker merge needs to have respect for the normal line. So I think, you know, they, they, they were rubbing this racing it was, and Rallycross is rubbing. Well, it is. And what Nicholas said, I think, is bang on. He's like, it's a yeah. typical Holius merch. It is. Like, it's it not, is. you know, there's nothing there and, where I'm going, eh, and Nicholas don't that even really, see him. No, exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. No, it's good. Let's see, no, because uh, the, the lap time wasn't the best we've seen. We have Ekstrom here. We have Brinson. Uh, Ekstrom started slot five last time, running yeah. through the grid. Brinterson, he Hedstrom, stole it to start. Michelak, Carlson, and Ekstrom. So Ekstrom's got to get this right, but Brinterson, and Hedstrom, and Michelak have all been quick this weekend. There's a pressure now. Hedstrom oh. with a great reaction time. Ekstrom gets away nicely in slot number five, but Carlson's still inside. He's going to get beaten to turn one by Brinterson and Hedstrom. Oh. They run wide. Ekstrom has the inside and drops to P5. Got to go Joker if he can. Runs it out wide and slots straight into the Joker behind Michlak. He's on Michlak instantly, but he's losing time now to that lead pack. So another bad start for Ekstrom. I mean, Matthias is not happy now. You know, starts is something he puts on the list very, very high. Maybe the highest. You have uh, to do it right across, don't you? have you? to. And he knows as well. Uh, he's here to race, he is here to win, 
you need to nail the starts. And also, racing gets much cheaper if you have a car that starts well. Uh, you don't use any front bumper mirrors, mirrors front windscreens. He's so. got to try and pass Michelak now. Looks to the inside line in the background, but Michelak's got him covered off. Carlson runs wide. Oh, Hedstrom jumped on the brake there halfway through. Yeah. Almost as if he, he hit the brake instead of the clutch. That was a really strange place for him to go on the brake so You can hard. see Oliver has been testing the car of, uh, of uh, Hedstrom, and you can see that car is much more, uh, much softer, uh, moving around a little bit more. Typically, the Solberg style of making a car. Yeah, just a bit. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, watch it here and talk us through it. Yeah. You, well, you're not but to see Brunson. I mean, he's so fast. He had some issue with the wastegate in the previous heat. I know he's bang on, on there on the lap times. He's flying so at the minute. In the background, watch out for Mitchell and Ekstrom. So remember that Ekstrom was very, very low with, with Carlson, if you oh, remember the last call. Now, now, on the background, yep. Ekstrom's tried to make it on the outside line, gets him. Mitchell goes in deep. So now this is about whether or not Ekstrom can get either of the cars in front of him. Brinterson, Hedstrom, Ekstrom, 3.1 seconds. Brinterson should hold on. I don't think Hedstrom will. Watch Hedstrom in P2 now as he goes into the joke lap. Whereas Ekstrom comes over the jump on the standard oh, lap. Nice. He's going to get them both. Oh, Ekstrom oh. goes up from P3 just to P1. Brinterson holds the inside line. He's not quite there. But no, here we go. A new attempt. Here we go. On the outside. Is he going, going to go inside? Oh, oh, Ekstrom oh, around the outside, outside line no, in the middle of the drive. Brinterson's got the left going. end line. He's uh, surely uh, going to get him, and he does. <laughs> World Rally Cross Champion shows his class. It's a brilliant pass by Hedstrom to come round. But you see the difference there on a World Championship car compared with a, a home-built car. Yeah, around the yeah. outside and line I of the I do think Brinson got some issues there with the turbo and the wastegate as well. He lost, he lost power it. there. He gets the checker flag two with a 220.2. Two. 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 So fast, he's two no. seconds slower than Gronholm. But don't forget, he was stuck in behind Mitchlack. That's yeah. some drive by extra Andreas. Yeah, and was. to be fair to Mitchlack, <laughs> Mitchlack didn't hold him up. No, no, no. That much, but uh, I but mean, Mitchell like did when a he was big step air. last year. Yeah, Mitchell like was much faster. Like, yeah, you said he raised him in Euro this year. Yeah, like, last year and this year he did big steps, and obviously this year he's in the car that Anton Martin rolled here at the European Rallycross Championship. Yeah, why did he roll it, Andreas? Uh, <laughs> he was trying to get the clean, clean sweep. Here's and who the told restart. him about the clean sweep, Andreas? <laughs> 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 Sorry, Anton. <laughs> so this is Ekstrom. Look, Ekstrom's lost out big time here. Now oh, he yeah. knows really in this position. He if. If three cars don't go Joker, that he should go. So yeah. only Mitchellak's gone. He's on Mitchellak instantly there. But then those two do okay. He, there's nowhere really for him to, to get it done. This is this is the merge at the end of that. I didn't think he'd get Brinterson. And at no, this but point, I think Brinterson would have got some issues there. So you think I, he I has? I think he lost some boost. Like there's no chance you're going to beat uh, Brinterson around the outside in the velodrome. Like from here out, yeah. It shouldn't be, be possible. Ekstrom takes it to 20.2 from Brinterson, Mitchlack, Hedstrom and Carlson. Let's go and find Molly. Yeah, I'm down here with Matthias. Matthias, that was quite an impressive drive. Was that fueled by a bit of frustration after the start? Yeah, it's difficult to start on the outside because most drivers are really good at the starts now. It's not like the good old days that there was a big difference. So from lane five is difficult, but then I had a, a bit of a brutal run, but it was okay. And that pass over the jump? Yeah, it was a bit exciting, so... And I knew if I don't do it now, I better pack up and go home. Yeah, but the time, what do you think? No, I think it was third overall, so... First corner, first lap, we lost a lot, but from then on it was okay. No, I think Matthias is enjoying that. That's nice as it well. Is. Matthias' mum and his sister are here watching yeah. this weekend, and I know that's really special for him. It so. is. We, we met them at the breakfast yeah, we this did. morning. It was nice. It was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, it's he, cool, he, cool he to see. He seems in good mood and in good shape, you know. Uh, winning in Pau last weekend with yeah. the Pure ATCR. Yeah, so. for Cupra, didn't he? So yeah. it was a good result. Uh, this one then, German, Ida, Ostring, Ostland, and Victor Franks on the outside. Electric is in car. A, yeah, RX2 E car. We'll lose out instant. Oh, oh jump Linus. Start. Linus. First time for Linus here in a supercar, or Q1 was his first time uh, in a supercar. So, you know, big expectations here. Uh, also, his home soil, he basically grew up here. I've seen him, I, I have his sweater from a few years back. I didn't bring it here this time, but uh, I'm a fan, you know. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, cool, yeah. man. That's great. I think it's cool. Uh, I Morgan, went saw, his father, is. Uh, yeah, runs the circuit run, here. Runs the circuit. So, I, I went to Linus job. yesterday, I was like, 
you know, you'd step it up to supercar. This was before we, we did a little preview yesterday. You can find yeah. it on the YouTube channel. If we had a, me and Molly had a wander around the paddock and uh, we met up with Andreas and, uh, and a load of the drivers and had a chat. So you can find that on the Rally X YouTube channel, which you should be watching on now. So it should be pretty obvious where it is. And I went to Orlinas before. I said, mate, we're going to come and have a quick chat with you. You know, just he's like, what do you want to talk about? I said, oh, the step up to supercar. How, how are you going? And he's like, uh, I was like, are you excited? And he's like, um, so are you nervous? It's he a goes, big dream. Yes. And he was nervous, yeah. which, and, and rightly so. You were saying the other day about nerves mean respect, and I, yeah. I feel the same way. Yeah. And, and I mean, supercars doing, starts with lights is one thing. Supercars, a whole nother ball game. Because so much there's so noise, many different things to adjust. And, like, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like launching a spaceship. I still miss, uh, I still yeah. miss it sometimes. Oh, we'll talk to you about launches yeah. in a bit, definitely. So, German, Eid, Ostring, Ostling with a double joker to do, and Victor Franks on the outside. Great start by Enzo Eid, super fast reaction time, but loses out to German immediately. German, a couple of gears up, gets a car length clear. Eid pushes wide. Oh. Ostling goes around the outside, two wheels in the dirt now, four wheels in the dirt. German runs a bit deep. Enzo Eid changes mind. Victor Franks has gone straight into the Joker app. So, Victor Franks in the RX2 e car goes Joker. Pretty sure Ostland's gone in too. There he is with the drone. Brilliant flying from Vigo, by the oh, way. Yeah, Shout cool. out to Vigo. But leading it is German from Enzo Eid. I mean, uh, you saw you saw Ostlin went in the in the sand there. No, there's going to be sand all over in turn two, so the guys are going to struggle there a bit. Uh, so a from a heat time yeah. point of view, you yeah. know now that the, the ultimate lap time is unlikely to be there. It's going to be hard. It's in the middle of the apex, the worst place. Uh, you see here, Enzo is uh, chasing uh, Philip German. I spoke with him after Q1, and I told him you'd be go you'd be going so much faster if you take your speed down 10%, because he's overdriving quite a lot. You see all the dust there. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to get the traction. Uh, we see Hans Jorland Östreng, which is one of the best Norwegian super national drivers. Uh, he, he bought through the whole this car, the Honda, uh, Hyundai, I mean, uh, and um, yeah, he's doing really well. Uh, he has snow for a few years, had his car and always had some sort of problem, uh, but when he have the car working well, he's, he's, he's a good peddler. He's a good, yeah. good, good, good peddler. Yeah. So it's German from Austrian. You might have spotted the bottom of the uh, the timing ladder top left that Ostland had a little yellow sign and a times two, which is uh, the graphic that you see whether if they have a second joker to do. So Ostland's done both his jokers, but it has been dumped to the back of the pack. It's 2.3 seconds back to Ida from German. Ida could take this now. Inside line, he struggled to get the car turning where Andreas said he would because the dirt comes up over the jump now. Watch for Enzo Ida on the left-hand side. On the Next oh, there. into German, oh, into the door. He's going to have a look on the inside line now, going to try and pass him up over the crest into there. Little nudge again, going to get out on the grass. Watch for Robin the left-hand side. Robin is racing and Robin is rallycross. It is rallycross and German holds on. So Enzo, he tried to make the pass from the merge on. It was, it was pretty. It was a pretty hard merge, but he did get it done. So German now aiming for a 2:18.1. How close will he be this time? Smooth over the jump. He's got three seconds to go to match that time. It's not going to make it. It's going to be quick though. German takes it, and it is a 2:20.6. So German with a 220.6 will actually slot in. Yeah, slots in just behind. Something German will look at is that he did a 46.8 in Q1 as his fastest lap time. Now he does. 45.1, which is a second faster. Uh, he should, he should he's improving. Go P4. You know? He should go in front of Aby. Yeah. So he should go in front of Aby with that time. And how much time he lost at this. He got a great start. Then look at Austin. I tell you what, that was a good effort around the outside, Andreas. But he was. Not, he was unlucky and then drags the, drags the dirt on. Goes Joker straight away, which he might as well when he's got a penalty Joker to do. Oh, wowzers. I see that the Victor ranks there in the electric car is uh, 0.7 of the lap times of German. Not bad, is it? Not bad. Losing a bit in the start compared with the supercar. He he told us yesterday, not was, enough power there. <laughs> it was fun watching him, wasn't it, at the jumps? Yeah. He's coming through He's 16 the right years hand. old. Is he really? 16 years old. He took start number 13, which I think is a pretty That's... bold move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mate, you know? he's retired you. He's yeah. you in the car. No way! <laughs> Hang on, so, so you're saying you're going to continue to race the dress or are you? Oh, what a, what a great battle here. They're looking <laughs> completely blanks, me. It was actually a good yeah, battle. We'll, we'll have to, we'll, let's see. We'll see if Andreas has got any plans. I mean, you know, if he hasn't got any plans for this year, Hal Rich might be fired. So, I mean, I'm sure Hal will be hoping that Andreas is, is racing, but we just don't know. Or, or do we? <laughs> or, so, do we? or do we? Or do we? I mean, you know, for the right, 
if for the right price, I mean, maybe I maybe I know, but maybe I don't. So just send your donations to me. Um, I'll, I'll put my PayPal up on my Instagram. And so, if, I get enough, if I get enough money, <laughs> if I get enough money, I'll enter. Yeah, something I do know is after being here uh, today and yesterday was that you uh, want to. Be I want to be back here in July. That's for sure. Okay. I, so I you want to come and do? You gonna come and have a crack at yeah. that if you can? Here we go. Uh, Yuri Bolevsky in pole. Um, Torian. It's uh, Frank Valla, yeah, and then on the outside line it's Nils Anderson. So Anderson had a problem last time, but gets a great start. Nils Anderson with a rocket start, but then he loses out as he goes up in the second tight. gear. Daniel Torrent oh. gets a squeeze on Torrent, just misses Anderson. Anderson holds on. Frank Valla ends up going across the gravel trap. He's going to drag the dirt back out. How did Nils Anderson not get collected by Daniel Torrent? And you're looking at Yuri Belevsky, who is out front now running for yellow squad. So Belevsky looking for a good pass, but Nils Anderson, wow. Yeah, wow. I mean, he have had a brutal start of his uh, supercar uh, career. Yeah. Uh, previous Q1, uh, he, he broke the steering arm just like Johan did. Uh, but here in the picture we have Jürgen Belevski, which finished third in the FAA World Radical Championship race in Germany, Nürburgring last year. He's the previous European champion in Super 1600, a very, very good driver. In traffic in Q1, he didn't look as settled in, but no one is in clear here. He, he has the same speed as the top guys. Loads of sand there. Uh, he did right, correct, and rotated the car before the sand, uh, which you have to do, and uh, you have to read the terrain when you're there. You could actually hear there the drone as it came over the top of the car, which is pretty, to hear a drone over a supercar is pretty That's epic, cool. to be honest. That's cool. He's but driving really well here now. Yeah. 7.6 is his uh, now you, first lap When time, we watched so. him in practice yesterday, you pointed out what he's doing at the hairpin. Talk to us about yeah. the line at the hairpin, because what you see a lot of people do is chuck it in sideways. Yeah. Belevsky, hopefully, will do it the right way. Talk us through this. Yeah. He, he, well, we didn't get him there, but uh, but he get the rotation, he get the car straight, close to the curb, straight car there. He has a 44.6, which is the fastest lap time in, uh, in Q2. Um, he's definitely on it. A bit wide into the entrance, he, he missed the first apex. He got in there on the second one, straight car in the exit. Yeah, lost nice. a bit in the exit there. A okay, bit so, in the so exit. Could tidy, up, tidy up tidy the joker, up, yes. but other than that, fastest lap of Q2. Going from Super 1600 to Supercar, he's, he's doing a great job yeah. so far. I know the guy has been testing a lot. Yeah, uh, he has Rob Fallen with him. Yeah, uh, you, you know, he has the support to, to take the step. So Belevsky comes down the hill now. He could challenge the 218.1. A bit too slow in that area there. Gron Albert said that it wasn't perfect for him. I don't, is he going to be close enough? Cutting this? the curb and entrance, rotate, curb and exit. That's a great ride. It's close. It's not close enough. 19.0 will see Belevsky slot into P2. Yep. So Yuri Belevsky, who in P1 was down in P6, uh, so Q1 was in P16. Go second fastest in this session, so it's so only cool to Grona, see we went quicker. Daniel Turin in the ex Per Eklund uh, Volkswagen Beetle. That yeah, car so, has so much charm. And he's so, so that everyone understands the reason yeah. he's in that is because Nils Anderson, who's in the white polo on the outside of shot, just what, in fact, yeah. So Anderson's car was Torin's car last oh. year. Torin <laughs> sold the car to Christopherson Motorsport, who yeah. upgraded it to a oh, similar spec to Yarn's car. Watch this, watch this. Look at the well, uh, Look at the beetle <laughs> across the front. If you're Nils, you're sitting in the car and you're like, what is going on here as, as Torin spins Madness. across the front of the wheel? Rear shot here at Belevsky up over the jump. Look at that. Lens on what the dampers on these cars are so good now. And yes. then you get down to like a pointy apex in that hairpin if you can yeah. to get a good. Here it comes now. So we're Cutting the, the curb, getting the rotation right here, and then back on the curb and straight car over the finish line. That's perfect. That is perfect. Tidally I see also done. Nils Anderson, which also is fresh in, in supercar, had a 45.3 in the last lap, which is... Good lap like, time? Yeah, it's a, it's a great improvement from, from before. Fantastic. So Belevsky takes it to 19-0. He's good enough to slot him up into uh, P2 in the session, but it is Niklas Gronholm who wins the second supercar session here at round one of Rally X. We might have some results for you in a moment of uh, overall. In the background is uh, the beautiful Varmland Forest. We've got a good turnout of fans as well. That's worth pointing out. Uh, just uh, nice to see fans back here at Hollius. So, uh, the last three times I've been here, I've had to travel up from... Stockholm because we weren't able to fly to Oslo, which is actually the nearest airport. So you fly to Oslo, cross the border, and it's just nice to see fans back. The so damage so, on the back. Go on, what you got? <laughs> Earlier you asked me what backward meant. I don't know what it means, but I actually got a text from my dad. Backward name is uh, coming from your old grandpa, like old old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your great great grandpa. Great, great. 
Kappa uh, from his far, uh, farm in Narvik, north north in Norway. Yes, <laughs> so, so, I love that. So, Dad, thanks for following yes. and thanks for giving me the information. Yes, here. Mr. Baccarat Senior, yep. that's what we want. So, Niklas Granholm has won both sessions so far. Uh, we then got Sandra Evshen, Anton Mock, and Ola Christian Baby. Matthias Ekstrom look moves up into P5. Belevsky after a disastrous Q1, P2 in Q2 sees him up to sixth. Brinterson, German, Hedstrom, Mitchlack, Ida, Christopherson in your top 12. I think it's three semi-finals in Supercar, which will mean that 18 of the 20 will go through and it will be top two from each. But we'll double check on that. So it depends on, on uh, entries and, and final last minute withdrawals. Niklas has been uh, solid, the same as Evian. Uh, Anton has struggled a bit. Uh, we, we can see a big mix there. On the points. There it is. Look, there's the red line for the yeah. cutoffs. At the minute, Oslan, Torin, and Anderson would make it. Frank Valla and Tom Andra Sutton wouldn't. And looking at Sutton with those two results, to be honest, I think you're. I think Anderson will, will get in because it looks yeah. like the bottom two are and, having a shot. And it's a shame we didn't see Tom uh, uh, Andreas Sutton because uh, he runs in the old. L uh, Lars Larsson's European Championship car from oh, 2006, yes. 2007. Yeah, the, the I, I saw he got some issues in Q1. So did he have an issue? Know. Yeah, he got dragged off the track yesterday yeah. in free practice. It's basically it's in the it's in the color scheme that Lars Larsson won the European Championship in 06 and 07. It's in the same color. It's the same car. Yeah, it should really be in a awesome. museum somewhere, it shouldn't it? Being be. all cool, and instead he's here smashing into bits <laughs> in, in rallycross. But uh, yeah. that was that was Q2. This was Andreas Backer, who is oh. very good at commentary, which is a bit of a worry for me. Um, you know, I'll be <laughs> I'm, not, I'm never going to take your job, Andrew. <laughs> I'd love to take yours. But I do have um, some fun. Like, it, it's cool to see the racing from this perspective and also like to see at the event. Like, I've been racing here for 10 years. Uh, I've never, I didn't know we were 20 people working yeah. to, for you guys there's a, there's and everybody a, there else to, a, to, to see a, Rallycross. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So yeah. I, I it's need not to say... only the voice no, of RX we, and myself. We get so to many do people. the fun bit with and Molly, Molly and there's yeah. a lot of people in the background. And normally we thank them at the, the end of the season, but we're going to thank yeah. them at the start of the season because yeah. this morning was interesting. Yeah. So well done you to everyone. You were a bit hectic. I was a bit a hectic, yeah. Literally until about two minutes before my lunch is here, look. Yeah. Uh, I was going to have my lunch. I had it. I was going to have my lunch just before we started, but unfortunately we had 30 seconds until we were on air. So I'm having lunch now. We'll be back in about 15 minutes, uh, which isn't very long for, for Q3. And then, of course, we've got semis and finals later on today. Thank and you very any, much. Any questions you guys have, hashtag yeah. RX Nordic, uh, Twitter, Instagram, yeah. Facebook. Hit us up. Hit us up personally, we'll, DM, whatever. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. We'll do our best to get the answers to you either we'll today that. or tomorrow. See you very shortly. Thanks for watching.
So we're getting ourselves ready here for uh, Q3. Crosscar Junior, Lowry Hallinan leads at the minute. Lowry popped up here earlier to give Andreas some licorice, but we'd literally, 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 we'd just gone on air. He walked in about 20 seconds after we'd gone on air and we were like, Lowry, I'm really sorry, you have to go. <laughs> so please come back up. <laughs> oh yeah, I felt bad because yeah. Andreas needs, uh, needs some, needs some uh, licorice. Yeah. I did get some snacks here earlier, though. 250 kilos of licorice. Oh, uh, 250 last kilos. Last year. That's the almost the weight of our He wasn't sure whether or not to tell his sponsor because um, he, was, he was concerned. They'd be like, that's too much. But there's a lot of people eating nice licorice thanks to that. So let's take a look at um, the grid for this one. So Lowry Hallinan, he won Q1. He was P3 in Q2. So he's actually lines up third in this one. We've got Mikel Uito, Lucas Anderson, Lowry Hallinan, Joachim Lundalanda, and Erasmus Persson. So a lot of these drivers were in Crosscar Junior last year. Great start in the middle of the grid by Hallinan, but on the pole, it's Uito who gets up to turn one first. Look at the conditions they're having to deal with. The worst of the wetness on the track. Hallinan dives up the inside and forces Michael Uito into the joker lap. That's a brilliant move by Hallinan. I'll tell you what, he's come on some over the winter, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, he, he's been growing. Like, I, I saw the kid last year here, and he's been growing so much since since last year. You can see so much more sand now on the tarmac. Yeah. It's, it's hard, you know. They hadn't driven now for an hour, more than an hour, one hour or and a half, and uh, the, the conditions are way different. Now, they're, they're the first people out on track yeah. after each track maintenance session, Andreas. In the background, you can They've see done, the dirt's been smoothed yes, off, then there's been water added, so that it's different for them every time. It's yes. actually a pretty good learning experience for them. It is, it's great. I mean, like, this is the place to be when you're 12 years old or 13 or... <laughs> I'm no. just looking at the angle of Helen and through the corner there, because he is super young, and I'm like, it, look, look at it. I mean, like, looks like you've never done anything else. You know? I know. You just think to yourself, don't you? Go this fast is where... and bring me licorice. Oh, yeah, where I, <laughs> this is where I wanted to be when I was 12. Yeah. Now, did, where did you start, mate? Uh, karting when I was uh, nine. But before that, when I was like four or five, my, my dad bought me a mini dirt bike. Uh, but until I fell down or something, then, then yeah. We, we stopped with that. We so started you, karting. you quit two wheels. They say with age comes the cage, but with you, <laughs> yeah. with, with age, you were like five and yeah. you ditched the dirt bike or yeah. whatever. Oh, that's so. close. It the is press. in the back. And listen to this. Battling for third. Oh, oh yeah. The limiters <laughs> down the hill, these guys. So they have, they have a speed limit. Yeah, they have a like rev limit, which means yeah. they can't go super, super fast, which of course is the right thing because they're 12. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I may say they're 12. They're, they're mixed age groups. I, I forget what the age is for uh, to move up to cross car senior. Um, but Hallinan will go joker this time. The gap's 2.7 back to Uito. Watch the blue buggy on the inside line coming up over the crest now. Hallinan's only in the first part of it. I think Uito's going to get him. Hallinan needs to shut the door now. Does shut the door just about. Could have moved across earlier on that one. So it is Uito in the 30 buggy. Speed car, uh, is that speed car extreme or speed car wonder? I can never remember the difference between the two. I know the body shields here. It's a speed car extreme, isn't it? Is that shape yeah. of windows? The speed car wonder's got the sort of kicked up windows. And then we have uh, Lucas Anderson in the 99 from JC. So Anderson goes on third. Yeah, Anderson is the current cross car junior cross car champion. At the same time, we have a we have a guest here. We do. The yeah. The first we... guest. I have the microphones. Come on in. Come uh, on in. I'm going to switch his microphone on now. Yeah. 
Oh, oh yeah, you did? Nice. You I know, you, you know. Cup. Yeah, leave the cup here. He's, t he's turned up with the snacks. Uh, Matthias Ekstrom, welcome. Get that mic in nice and close for us. We're looking at replays from Crosscar Junior. Thank you very much, Andreas. I'll have some of those in a minute. Uh, if we're all eating sweets at the same time, there's going to be no one available to speak, is there? So this was Lowry Hallinan, uh, who's leading the Crosscar standings at the moment. Uito's just beaten him in this one, but I think with a 10-point gap, Hallinan might still be able to hold on for the TQ here. This was the merge where Oito came in just in front. Hallinan was going to shut the door a little bit more aggressively, but didn't. Uh, Junior Crosscar, have you watched this at all today? Yeah, he's, I must say I'm amazed of how the uh, guys drive. And I saw them, how small they are. I was yeah. uh, like, are those guys driving? And say, yeah, yeah. And I feel, wow. And then you see how they drive, you go like, wow. Uh, if I would be a father of those, I would be scared. And I couldn't th see my little son drive this, but probably it's a lot the, of fun. The young youngest is 12 years old. Yeah, and mine is 11 months. Yeah. So I, in one year's time, he could, in theory, be here. So yeah. is, is, are, we, are we saying that in one year's time, Ekstrom Jr. will be here? Or is, is, this, is this too early for an exclusive? I, I think I would have to give Mats a try. What do you think, Andreas? I know Mats, and he would love this stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. He's a, the apple didn't fall far from the tree there, so. Okay, so that'd be the, th the only thing. We need to speak with Heidi, yeah. probably together. Yeah. <laughs> so we need, we need to get permission. Yeah. So now uh, you should focus on this guy. Well, they we, deserve we, some respect. They do. So it's uh, it's Carl Peder, Nordstrand, Tony Niemi, Jonathan Yulalami in the middle of the grid, Dennis Vick and Eric Steinsholt on the outside. Yulalami was quick last year in the middle. See what kind of a start they get. These guys are so early on the rev limit. It's literally the marshal takes one step and the Yulalami gets a brilliant start. Going to try and close the door to that inside line. Nicely done. Uh, Matthias, the one thing that I've been blown away by with the, the, with the, with the, the kids, it's, I think it's fair to call them out, is they're so good at racing side by side. Like They give each other a lot of respect. I think that in that age, you are, uh, how to say, a fair uh, driver, and many are still wanting to finish. They don't want to crash their carts, and they just want to have a solid uh, day and a solid run, because that's where you gain your experience. When you get as old as me and Andreas, you start banging doors and crashing into each other and fighting for that podium. And I think these guys are a bit still smarter <laughs> than us to understand that you need to collect those laps. And so, so basically, we're saying the aggression and the contact comes with age. Uh, Don't you worry. A, a little fact here is that we have Carl Peder Nostrand in P3. He's uh, actually underneath the even management. He, him and uh, a few other riders uh, started last year uh, during COVID uh, to do simulator training together. Um, they have tested rally cars with the old Christian Baby. They're working with uh, Johan Christoffersen. They uh, they are all in. I mean, the guys are working out every day. They have a trainer and a coach. They're doing social media. Uh, they're pushing hard to, to become better race car drivers. So one day in the future, they're probably going to retire myself and Matthias. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when, I see, when I see those, how, how the drift angle is and how they hit their marks, I get quite impressed because <laughs> I think they also get educated from watching others and then go out and explore and see because I think it looks really it looks really good. I'm not sure you will beat them, Andreas. No, and no, I'm no. sure I not, wouldn't beat them either. I think you would be closer because you're like, you are uh, like, I have all the respect for you when it comes to racing anything, uh, a tractor, a supercar, a DTM car, whatever. Uh, Matthias is always up there. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you better talk us through what you're racing at the minute. So last weekend you were in Po in France, yeah. and what were you doing down there for rallycross people who maybe don't follow yeah. races? No, I do uh, FIA ETCR. Uh, that's electric uh, touring cars. So 500 kilowatt in quality trim, which is equals to 730 horsepower, and then race trim I was at like 450 with some power up. So that's super exciting. Wow, look here. Yeah, Niamey having I a look there. I just said that they are behaving well, and then this, you see, there's it was some a good, It was a good pass, mate. That was pretty clean yeah. by, by full size rallycross yeah, yeah, standards. Yeah. You know, it was it was a tidy pass. It is Yulalami who's going to take the win in this one. Up and over the crest, big jump. I love the fact they're on that limiter coming down the hill. You know, they're already used to the glorious noise of meaning you know you're flat in top. But do you see that? I mean, I have to give credit to the Hullius guys here. They made the jumps higher. I feel since I were here last time, it was easy. Now everybody are jumping high and long, and even in the cross cuts look super cool, I must say. What do you think, Andreas? Oh, it was, yeah, man. I, I did a track walk yesterday, and I saw it immediately. They filled more dirt on the, on the dirt just before the jump, so I think you fly higher and also longer. Yeah, they've, they've definitely changed the angle of the up ramp. There we go. Of angles. Up Look there. at that, just pops the car up. And that must be so cool. 12 years old, coming here to Holies, racing here in front of Matthias Ekstrom. 
the voice I, of Aris and Ricola. I just think it's funny to think they were going to school on Monday. You know when they yeah. go to school and they're like, so what did you do this weekend? I went and raced a car. I was on the limiter in sixth gear and the teacher probably goes, okay, I'm sure you did. Well done. You know? Like, yeah. It's like, no, I actually did. I really genuinely did. Unitin Yulalami, 237.113 is top of the table according to our graphics. So the purple there notes that they've, they've gone fastest so far in the session. That's heat two. Remember, it's fastest first. So if Yulalami has gone quicker. Then it's weak here also in Hallen P4. Uh, he came over to us. The first uh, the first guy we saw here in the paddock Thursday, uh, he was like, oh, you know, uh, very excited. I know his dad, uh, he also helped uh, Brintuson, no, uh, Svada last year in the European Championship. Um, and uh, yeah, great, great young talents coming from Norway uh, here in Sweden. And they have done a million laps here on dirt too. You know, I would be so excited to take one of those really young kids, put them in a supercar, yeah. and just adjust the seat to the, so they can reach the pedals, of course, because I'm sure they would uh, do a pretty decent job, I because the lap would. times are not far off. Yeah, I think they would. I mean, it's, it's a hell of a way to learn, isn't it? Well, you know what? That would be some piece of social media, Matthias. You'll have to decide which driver it is. I think maybe someone needs to be in the car with a cut-off switch. Uh, just I'm just case uh, they bumping go. right in here. You are one of the only one that can make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, then. Eric Nilsson, Logan Peterson, Oliver Solli, and then Isaac Hartena and Terpainen on the outside. It's a great start from the pole by uh, Nilsson, I think it is, on the inside. It is indeed, so Nilsson's got that whole shot around Solly the outside the though. Yeah, into the Joker goes And he's, uh, he's good Solly. friends with Dennis Week. Uh, they're hanging together, they're in the same team, uh, helping each other. Uh, he's 12 years old. I was really impressed yesterday, yeah. Andreas, when we were ha out and about in the paddock and on the yeah. track. A number of these youngsters came up and introduced themselves, which is Both really their important. their parents yeah. used to race uh, supercars or even uh, super nationals back in Norway. Uh, they're born at the paddock, like me and Matthias, like playing with uh, toy cars in the, gr uh, in the ground or in the grass. Yeah. <laughs> In the dirt. <laughs> they're, they're so confident and it's really they are. important. You know, they've, they they've got the guts to come up and go, look, I and know, then, I know. Yes, guys, sir, you missed. I think the lead, they just hit the, the marker into the right hand oh, before the second jump. You think uh, penalty, Matthias? It looks like. Okay, so Peterson maybe, maybe with a penalty. Oh, sorry, it's Peterson's drop down. It might be Hattenmar or Nilsson even. The timing screen just keeps updating so quickly. We have Eric Nilsson, the JC race technique in the lead. So was it Nilsson? Was it Nilsson? It was Nilsson that it hit the uh, like. on wide on the exit from the joke. Was they trying to shut the door? Does get across, oh. Benson gets across, but then up the inside comes. Uh, is it Terpiner? I think it is. Yeah. So Terpiner manages to get up on the left-hand side of your screen. The green marker shows you whether or not they've been into the joke lap. So so impressive. So Nilsson coming down the hill. Matthias thinks maybe Nilsson touched the barrier. Where that was, was it? There. Here? That was the last lap. Yeah. Okay. It looked like or. Well, so we thought Gronholm hit it in Q1, but he didn't get a penalty for it. Did you see that? No, I think probably he get the bonus as his finish. Okay, right. <laughs> so that's that's that, there we go. That's what it is. Matthias, how? Sol is pretty close there now. 2.7. Uh, he might be close, close on the to merge. 2.8. Uh, if the graphic is correct, I felt Sol did a joker in the first lap. Good joker there by Nilsson. Very good. Oh, it's oh, time. Oh, there we go. So Sole, this is his first, if he if he managed to stay calm now, this is his first race heat win. So that's awesome. 12 that, years old. That, 12 that years is old. amazing. He's, he's fighting against some of the guys who are 16 years old. That is amazing. Yeah. So come on then. Here Only we go. Sole is the guy uh, up for the supercar test now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so here we go. Here yeah. we go. 12 we years old. On it. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, he has no idea, Oliver Solly has no idea that right now he may get a supercar test with EKS. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. 12. 12. It's yeah. been a great drive. He's going to take the a bit of your style, Andreas, not yeah. so much sideways. No, that's good. That's and good. There we go. So he yeah. takes the checkered flag. I will, go and, I, I will go and see if I can see him when he comes out of the car. Uh, so I remember how it would If you're like. honest, on your word, like this is right, awesome. Right, so mate, he's just gone 236.772. He's gone so he's fast. Old, he's got goosebumps. goosebumps. Yeah. Yeah. I got goosebumps. And, and, and he, bear in mind, this is qualifying heat three. So the fastest 10 drivers have already been from the previous so heat. he's up for an, uh, for an uh, overall, let's say, a Q, a Q win. I th yes, I think he is. Yeah. I'm loving this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I need to go out and see it. Uh, go on, mate. T tell us, just quickly before you go, tell us how, how your day's gone. So you've been no, on the outside it, yeah. for the starts both times. We had, um, or we have not sorted our start. On the track, the car is very good. Or what would you say, Mega? Yes, Mega. The yes, starts are not Mega. <laughs> um, the first start, I was not brilliant. The second one now, I have to say, was okay. 
but far from good. So we are tuning the car to make the starts better now. Yeah. Just to, uh, you know, a bit with chassis setup and so on to try and get more just driving from the line to the first so corner. So it's more traction off the... So yeah. it's not actually about launch settings, it's more no, about no. traction settings. The, the car the has too little grip. End okay. of story. So. Right. And that's not about being in slot number five. You feel it would be the same if you're on the other grid slots. It's not like a favourable slot. No. You, haven't, you haven't had a bad... Okay. No. So it's the same for Enzo and me. Um, I told you. He would our, not our, be happy our cars with the are... Yeah. Historically wise, very good. But yeah. now the setup we run here, I mean, as to, no, no excuses. Yeah, but sure. we haven't, I expected it, the grip to be a bit better. But yeah, whatever. We are changing it now for Q3 and see if we can find some I'm more also, pace. also say you have been on the outside line every time, so I don't think the grip is the highest there. Maju Niemi gets left behind on the line from the middle of the grid. It's Isaac Nordbeck who comes in to take the lead in the 3-3-1. Going to cut towards the inside line, doesn't get picked up from behind, that's nice. And in fact, uh, Maju Naomi has, uh, she's re recovered really well to get P3, having been dumped at the start. Matthias, in that first, that first start, we saw you, you got, you know, you're out in P5, you moved across, and then somebody joking in front of you, and it's so difficult, isn't it? When you're in P5, you can see where people go to pick whether you go joker with someone or not. Yeah, the problem is when you're not in it all the time, you don't know that the drivers, and you listen to the spotter, and you get mixed up. Yeah. If you race in the World Championship, you know the livery, the drivers, everything. Yeah. So your strategy is so clear. Here, when you're new and you haven't been in it, you don't even know, I don't know all the guys even. So yeah, that sure. it is difficult when you're not really doing it on a regular base. So yeah. I felt now, even when I lost after the first corner, I had a, I had good pace and could pass and then manage to, to get up front. But still, to be P4 after my race, I think that's very good. Yeah. But again, you know, I would wish to have a good start and a clean heat and yes, yeah, leave it like this. Nice to be back in uh, a supercar. Yeah, every time, man. Yeah. You know, I've done a lot of electric, you know, that's a part of the future, but I'm also proud of what we have done uh, over the years with supercar here in the World RX. So I think it's something I want to do for the rest of my life. Not always and only, but one piece of my life will include Rallycross Supercar Audi. Yeah, man. How, and how, you've done so much since 2016, but how does that World Championship still, still sit with you, like, as, as, as an achievement in your career? I mean, it's one of the things that it's very few people that win championship in different categories. So, you know, having a Rallycross World Championship title, it put me on the, how to call it, shortlist to get the Dakar drive with Audi. So, having done a bit of Rallycross, a bit of rallying, a bit of circuit racing, and not being scared of anything, opens the door to the Dakar thing. And then you go to Dakar, then that run pretty okay for the first year, and then we will hopefully have some more tries. But like one door open the next, and you have to focus and learn fast, and then for sure the rally cross was really helpful. The Last lap here with Norback uh, leading. We yes, saw a spin right. here from, was it Hogstrom? I didn't see how much of it, I was talking to Matthias. And also I've got the question from Molly. Are you true on your word that Soli could uh, maybe yeah, no, I said uh, I need to speak to Morgan if we can get the test here, because if we do, it have to be on Sunday. So, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, Sunday, which is uh, the, the day, you know, when it's fresh yeah. in mind. So yeah. just put the seat forward and see if we can reach the pedals. Then I will let him have a go and do four laps. Cool. All right, so you got it there, Molly. I hope you heard us. Uh, so he would, uh, Matthias would let uh, uh, Soli drive, Oliver Soli drive uh, on Sunday after the race, if we can get the pedals and uh, the organizers to approve it. I think it would be probably probably cool for him. It because would be cool for him, it would be here, a great story. I think someone needs to pay some respect for all the kids and the parents and the Absolutely. partners and the sponsors, because here is where you create the new stars of our sport. That is it's, absolutely You know, true. the people that get all the way to Rallycross, you already have a big budget, you already have made. But here is, if you motivate more of those kids, yeah. you will get more stars. They're the future. You know, they're the future of the sport, as you say. This is a level of the sport which maybe more people can afford. It's hard to afford yeah. to run a supercar. There's quite start a people can here in Holius, 12 years old in the supercar. One thing is to start on the ice where we have been playing around for many years. <laughs> but when I see how he drove, I'm not worried. <laughs> Maybe what, 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 I will go and see if I find him in the paddock. Maybe we'll see if Molly can join me and we we'll see how he looks like. Maybe, so, we'll maybe I don't know yeah. how big the guy is. Okay. Uh, he I, can't be big. 
I'm going to, let's see if we can, so Molly, if you can hear us, we need you to come and find Matthias, and then we need you to find Oliver Solly, and then we want an interview somehow set up. If it's not now, we can do it later. Um, but yeah, Molly, we'll, we'll leave you to look after our, uh, our friend Matthias. Matthias, thanks so much, mate. It's, yeah. it's great to have you back, and I hope you have a brilliant day. Yeah, and by the way, thanks for having me, and uh, sweets, I better give to Andreas, yeah. because oh. I've seen you got a bit too much traction lately. Oh, oh mate, that's so, low. Take care of your running, that's and uh, Andreas can eat a bit of sweets. I, I, who came to you with these sweets? Yeah, it was a Norwegian very guy. very familiar with also, something I gave yeah, to yeah. the other Actually, day. Actually, I bought a bit more of it. <laughs> oh, you did, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> we completed the, the hospitality. That's yeah. So anyway, guys, if you want uh, me brilliant. to come back, I'll come back. Okay, Please well, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have you come back at some point, definitely. We're going to eat Matthias' Cheers. sweets. He's going to go. There he goes. Thank you uh, to Matthias Ekstrom. Uh, I better not have any sweets, apparently. Um, thanks, Matthias. I'll get you back for that. Uh, Molly, <laughs> so do we have Molly somewhere? That was harsh. Is, is, Molly, is Molly available? No, Molly? <laughs> yes, yes I Molly. Am. I hope Hopefully you can uh, both see and hear me because I am up with the Cross Car Juniors. I did also hear that Matthias just left because here is Oliver Sully and I'm out of breath because we've just been running. Woo. Oliver, that was a race win. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Tell us about the race. I uh, started well, I took the joker and uh, just uh, followed the other cars and uh, got in, out in the lead. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us, how old are you? I'm 11 years old. 11 years old. Wow. And what sort of experience do you have? Yeah, I started uh, driving cross car when I was four. So, uh, yeah, I've driven many years. <laughs> that is many years. Now, we've just had uh, Matthias Ekstrom. You know who he is, yeah? yeah? Yeah. We've just had him in the studio, and he says that on Sunday, if if the organizers will permit it and you can reach the pedals, he would like to give you a ride in his supercar. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah, I'm on with that. <laughs> Hopefully we can get the permission then, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Oliver. Thank you. 11. Uh, 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 11. 11. <laughs> He's 11. And the thing is also, not only 11 and racing fast, but he didn't have the same English teachers as me and Peter Solberg no. or Henning Solberg. He just, He's great in English. I saw, him, I saw him yesterday. We came out of a room and he goes, hey, how's it going? I'm so and so. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. racing in, in cross country. like, hello, mate. How's yeah. it going? He's like, He's like, hey, Andrew. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. And like, I was like, what are you going to do? I hope I'll get a good result. Yeah. I'm looking for it. And, go like, go for and the then win. he's like, do you want to test in the supercar? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I think I do. <laughs> I might as well do. What an absolute legend. That's brilliant. So yeah, at the minute, uh, he leads. Yeah, Oliver, Oliver Solly leads. Uh, we are on to race five of junior um, you can maybe see now why we haven't covered them all day because there are a lot of juniors but Andreas isn't it great that this 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 category which started with four cars I think it was maybe five or six yeah now has uh, 29 entries this weekend 29 uh, juniors here it's amazing it's it's cool to see that the, the grassroots of rallycross is growing even though the World Championship and uh, have been a bit down the last few years. Um, it's awesome. It's great. Yeah, it is. It's important, yeah. isn't it? Is yeah. It? And this is a great step, you know. If you if you would like to do rallycross or rallying or whatever, cross kart is awesome to get the, the driver feel of a of, uh, vehicle. Uh, these carts are so like brutally honest because like you see the steering input, stuff happens when you turn the wheel. I'll be fascinated to, to sit in a debrief. I know that sounds dark, but yeah. obviously you guys, you sit with an engineer. It's a very technical chat about you know, what you're doing wrong and how it's yeah. going. These are kids, and I imagine a lot of it is is the emotions of it. You know, like it you is. must stay calm. And how, how you explain yeah. the vehicle's behavior. And you can see, oh, he clipped the, the cone there. Uh, I don't think he hit Didn't it knock it hard, hard enough. Yeah, you need to uh, knock it down. Is yeah. what race control was saying yesterday. Yeah, so if you knock it down, then it get... will be a three-second penalty. Yeah. No warnings, just a penalty. Because you can see some cars there are lifting the front wheels up in the air. Uh, you, you know, different clicks on the suspension, different springs you know softer springs in the uh, rear mate, like, if, you, if you had a kid like Matthias yeah. would you be introducing them to rallycross or would no. you be making them stay as far away from it as, as possible as far away and uh, you told me you are a great swimmer I would probably if I had a kid I would buy him uh, swimming or running shoes running shoes or swim shorts is it, so is this basically all about the budget I've I think seen it might my be. dad and you know uh, having an expensive kid 
uh, you lose your hair and you get grey very quickly, <laughs> early. <laughs> I don't want to... Oh. Almost a half spin, holds on to it, Zekindan and needs to hold, make sure he shuts the door here. Oh, oh no, going to lose the position. That was all in that joke that came yep. in, crossed up. Svedland has managed to get through. Is it Soderholm, maybe? Uh, I think it's Svedland there, but 3-3-3 three, three, three and 3-2-3. Three, three. That's handy, isn't it, in terms of the race numbers? So, yeah, it's, uh, it's Svedland who's come, has lost out, sorry. So yeah, oh my god, we've got Kinnan and Svedland and Sotterland. Oh look at 3333 three, 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 and 323. Three. Now you can see why this job's harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he lost out, but it, two sideways in the Joker. So for Kinnan and just a little bit too sideways in the Joker. Awesome drive though. End of the lap. Great. Come on. And does lose out. Is in fact it's uh, I think it's Soderholm who took it. It is Soderholm, yeah. So it was 323 three who'd passed Kinnan and um, and it's confusing show when make. all the numbers yeah. are, the, are the same. But yeah, did he go quicker? Oh, hang on. No, he hasn't, I yeah. don't think. 2.44, no, 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 definitely not. They're uh, way off the pace of uh, Oliver Solly. I was a bit concerned if Oliver lost out on his position, you know, does that mean that uh, he won't get his suit? I don't, I'm, I, I have to say, I think him getting a supercar test here this weekend look, is... Look there, he clipped oh. it, he really clipped it. So it's is that gonna down. be... Three seconds. Got to yeah. be, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you were talking to me earlier about what the time gain could be there. Maybe not in a cross car junior, but uh, in a supercar. I, I mean, he went too wide in the first apex. That's why he had to clip it. He tried to avoid it there, but... Um, or actually, this was... So what? So what, what's your what's your take on... You think that will be a three-second penalty for the race winner? Sort of yeah, one. yeah. Yeah, okay. So, so yeah, what's, what's the what's the time gain? If you nail that second cone on the exit and just go... I'm gonna one and a half. Really? One and a half yeah, second, so, yeah. yeah. You could. Okay, so Anton Soderholm has, uh, has nailed that marker, but at the minute he doesn't have a penalty. Nico Kundanen gets second, then Pontus Oskarsson, Miro Campi, and Carl Svedland. Yeah, I think Carl Svedland already there got some penalty time. Okay, so in that yeah. case, probably three, no two, penalty. Three. Then. Wasn't that the winner? No, 3-2-3 three, three oh, was the winner. I, yeah. I got confused. Mate, so did I. Don't <laughs> worry. If, if, if you at home weren't confused, then congratulations. Um, but yeah, it's confusing. Right, what are we, I wonder if we've got any any messages. Please do feel free to send them in. Yeah, please uh, tag us on social media, uh, DM us, uh, hashtag RxNordic. I think uh, that's our hashtag, right? It is. Yeah, yeah RxNordic. No, no, it's not. So not Nordic, RallyX. Rally X. Hashtag Rally X. Yeah, rally so it's X. just Sorry, Rally guys. X now. And Andreas is fired. <laughs> just, Am just, I? Just, no, you're not. You're not. I'll go through some messages in a minute. We'll look through those oh, in a minute. Here we go. Start there. It's uh, Gustav Atteblad on the inside. S. Suoni, Hugo Campi and Josephine Honkvist. Now the leader into the first corner, I think, is Honkvist, actually. Campy drops to the back of the pack as you ride on board with Vigo Koch, our drone pilot. At breakfast with Vigo this morning. He's uh, he's moving on. Well, he's not moving on from Rallycross. He's going to continue with Rallycross. He's taking part in a movie, filming a movie with the drone. He's doing some TV oh, series. That's cool. So good. And he's finishing his degree at the minute. Are we going to see some drone footage today? All, all the drone footage. Yeah. All the while. All of you, it. You, I mean, you know, like here, for instance. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I yeah. mean, I think we're going to see about 50% of the racing from the drone. It is brilliant, isn't it? It is awesome. I haven't seen anything today, though. No? Nothing? Like in every single race? Yeah. From the drone? Yes. No way. <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah, wait, wait, you wait, 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 wait. Ready? Yeah. Ready, wait. He's probably going to land it now and change the yeah. battery. <laughs> that's not, that's not, that's not. Hold on, hold on. Hang on. There you oh, go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have seen it. it yeah, yeah. It's so good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when it feels like you're playing in a computer game and the camera's kind of floating over the track. That was actually a very nice joke. It was, yeah, it was very yeah. good. It was very good. Yeah. Yeah. Missed yeah. a bit uh, the apex in the last uh, curve, though, over the Joker. But they honestly, they're, they're so impressive. They really are. We've got coming up cross car followed by open two wheel drive. Uh, we've then got lights and supercar as well to round out qualifying here at round one day. Day one of the 2022 International Rallycross season. Uh, this uh, weekend, of course, Rally X starts next weekend. Euro RX starts. We've got another Rally yeah. X weekend the weekend after that when we go to Kubler in Finland. And then Nitro Rallycross starts at June the 18th and 19th. Lydon Hill in the UK, my home circuit. Really excited for that. 
Uh, looking forward to seeing the likes of Travis Pastrana and Co. in the uh, in the FC1. We've got to be cool to see that. if they change the tracking a little though. Oh, like, well, uh, I heard some rumors. I've seen some designs. Big jumps and some I've seen air some time designs. There. So yeah, chest I mean, and I'm, drift. It's just nice to get international rallycross yeah. going again, isn't it? You know, it's, it's cool to bring back home the classic rallycross track. Also, European rallycross championship going yeah. to New Rad in Hungary. Yeah. One of uh, all the drivers' favorite track. We haven't been there actually since 2013. Yes, uh, my first Very, very oh. tight uh, turn one. Uh, I crashed there actually in the first. Uh, but yeah, great to be back in Lyddon for Nitro Rallycross, bring, uh, bringing Lyddon back on the calendar in our international race again. That's awesome. Lyddon Hills, another we'll place to run again. Oh, you did press ups on the roof of the OMSC. I yes, did. When you won at Lyddon Hills. I didn't failed you? the first press up because the roof. Fell down. The roof popped. <laughs> it popped. No way. And then I nailed the second one. <laughs> Andreas Backer can do a lot of press ups, by the way. Yeah. He can. Do not challenge me. No, don't challenge Backer for I'm the press ups. Fast and strong. <laughs> so uh, earlier on, Molly uh, had a, another catch up with our man, uh, Oliver Solly. Okay, so Oliver Sully has now come down with us to Matthias Ekstrom. And Matthias, you've been saying a few things on air. Would you like to repeat them? <laughs> yeah, I could say. I mean, I was watching you driving. And it looked very impressive. And uh, I think there are so many kids that dream about becoming a professional rallycross or a racer in motorsport. And I know for myself, it's so difficult where you are to reach your dream. But then I saw how you drove and I was so impressed. And I said, I would love to see you. I didn't know how big or small you were, but as you can see, there's still a big of difference. But I said, if I can fit you in my car, on Sunday and you behave well over the weekend, I will let you drive my car for a couple of laps because I think that will be a memory for your life. Yeah. Would you dare? Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> so we will, I don't know, the guys are a bit busy doing setup now, but I think when today is over, maybe take your father or Molly with and then we can do a little seat fit and see if we can fit you in the car and see if you can just reach the pedals because I see that you are pretty small, but my guys are also good. So can you just tell me how was your day so far? Yeah, Q1 I got the third with a pretty good start and um, in Q2 we had some trouble on the start and uh, spun uh, in the last corner, So, uh, but uh, this uh, Q3 we won, so I'm really, really happy. Yeah, it looked very good when I saw it, so luckily I didn't see the spin and all this, then maybe I wouldn't have let you, but it looked like you were much in control, so I think we leave it like this, when your day is over, Today you come and we just have a look and uh, tell, bring Molly that they can do some video because I'm sure when you're as old as me, you will be very happy to watch that video and show your kids or someone else. Deal? So good luck for the rest of the day. Well, mate, uh, I think I think you secured an 11 year old attempt uh, to the supercar. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. I mean, like I, I've I've met uh, Solly here for the last few days and he's uh, it's cool. It's, well, he's, he's it's literally, he's just won Q3. 11 years aged old. Aged 11 years old. I think the, the future Madness. for the sport is pretty bright. And, if, if and imagine in 10 years' time when he's driving supercars or whatever. When he's 21 and he looks back at him, yeah. giving him Matthias Ekstrom, a World Rallycross yeah. champion, interviewing him, you know, yeah. he's like, you can have a drive in my supercar. He's like, yeah. okay, yes. All right, I do that. Yeah, fantastic. Every day a week. Right, cross car. We are on to Q3, heat one. So this will be... Fastest uh, first, right? Yeah, fastest first. Svensson, Osterberg, Ekmerstad, Baldins and Halberg. Oh, Baldins goes back and off the start, but it's another brilliant start off the inside line for Elias. Svensson gets up to turn one late on the brakes now. Halberg trying to come around the outside. Halberg's on the inside line for turn two. Going to go P2. Three cars go straight to the Joker. So Elias Svensson goes standard lap with Patrick Halberg, who now looks very much on the pace compared to that Q1 where he was down in something like P9. Halberg back on it, but Svensson looking for three from three and a clean sweep from qualifying. Oh, Got to win this air. one. The wheel in air. It's awesome. Like these cards are so fast. It's going to be a, a quick hit, this one. Uh, just watch and learn. So Ekmerstad, Bowdens and Osterberg all went joke on the first lap. I love that camera on the on the rail. I want to see that on the yeah. next lap. Wanna, we'll shut up and we'll just listen, we promise. Um, look at the speed that Svensson takes into the corner. But then maybe compromising the exit speed a little bit there. Halberg looked to have closed down. Up and over the top now. So. Svensson, Halberg, where, and Halberg goes Joker, right? Halberg's gone Joker. This is to try and cover off Merstad behind, who's only 2.6 back. Really Merstad comes up over the crest, there. and Merstad's going to get it. Good exit, like that Joker lad 
was spot on. So then, in that case, Merstad must have done a hell of a lap yeah. to, to, to get past. Oh, yeah. Bowdens gets oh. turned around by Osterberg in the background. Contact between those two. They're losing plenty of time there now. So this this then is about Svensson versus Ig Merstad. So Ig Merstad will check the gap when they come back over the start-finish line. What do we think? Svensson needs 2.7, yeah. definitely, to, to hold on to this lead. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. The Norwegian Thomas Ig Merstad has, uh, has done a brilliant job so far catching back up. Here we go, let's check the gap. 3.3 should be enough. Svensson yep. gonna go Joker this time, watching the distance. In goes Svensson, inside line for Igmerstad. But uh, it should it, be it, plenty up this. and over the crest. Gonna oh. shut the door, oh! oh. And Igmerstad goes through, had to get out of the throttle. It looked like he was what gonna touch there? the barrier on yeah, the exit yeah, to me. He, he lifts it from the throttle. Wide, too, too quickly into it, and too much speed in the mid corner there. So but, Svensson uh, isn't gonna win this session unless they can make a pass on Merstad on this lap. And Merstad looking super fast. Where was Merstad? had previous ones. He was yeah, P3. two P3s. Yeah, he's up there, you know. And Osterberg's been P2 twice as well. So uh, Osterberg's going to drop back, having had the contact with uh, Baldins. Yeah. Sending it in flames from the exhaust. That's awesome. Straighten up the wheels over the over the line. Checkered flag for Merstad. How quick is that? 2.25. One's the fastest time of the weekend. So Merstad with a 2.25.1 goes fastest time of the weekend because it was a 2.25.3 and a 2.25.4 for Svensson in the previous two sessions. Brilliant drive address. This was the start look. So I think it's, yeah, it's instant. Look at how quickly the Joker decision was. It was immediately, <laughs> I am going Joker, and then I'm, you don't lose that time. If they lost true. two tenths on the way in, there's no way they would have got him at the merge. Sometimes here in Hollis, it's actually quicker to do the Joker the first lap, if you can make it clean, if you don't have any drivers that you catch up with immediately. So it is a tenth too fast to do the Joker lap. Here the merge. Uh, that was, uh, that was with Halberg. So Halberg. Halberg lost out, but I think we'll see the merge. Have a look and see what you think about yeah. the exit. I see, uh, I see here, uh, Ekmursta is struggling a bit out from this turn to get traction. Um, here's, he, here's the merge now, so. He went super wide. Uh, yeah, it has to get out of the throttle. Well, maybe not out of the throttle, maybe glance but the barrier. But you saw he, he was off the line where the traction is. Yeah. So I think that's uh, that was uh, the crucial bit. And the, the Normally 3.3 should be enough. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Two, we've seen 2.7 yeah. be yeah. enough, haven't we? 2.6 yeah. was very borderline. Yeah. All the flames there. <laughs> yeah. Cool. If you looked at Baldins as well and Osterberg in the background, there wasn't really anything that they There's could do to avoid cards. each other. Three cards in below a second. That's that's mega. That's yeah, it's great. Amazing, that's what we want to see. Eight tenths of a second between yeah. them. On to race two. So can't wait for that final. Huh? I know it's going to be it's going to be fire, isn't it? Yeah. In all sorts of ways, exhausts and all sorts. Cinder Troitrud. Remind me, how do I say it? Uh, Troitrud. Oh, okay. So not yeah. yeah Skint. Skint. I'm pretty happy. Oh, with that, that, one. that was my English version. <laughs> Troitrud. Oh, okay, there we go. In, Anderson, the Egenson, Pentonen, and Gustafsson. Watching on the outside line for Gustafsson. A little bit of steering. Oh, great start. In fact, it was P4 dropping back. Still a good start. For, and on the oh, outside, Randerson goes all the way round the outside into the whole shot. Absolutely brilliant. Spin on the inside line up and over the kerbs. Two drivers into the Joker on lap one. It's Penton and Anderson have gone Joker lap one and lost a bit of time. But that was an absolutely fantastic start. Can't wait to see a replay of that. Yeah. <laughs> so that is... Uh, Gustav's on here in the lead from the JC race technique. Uh, over the over the crest there, lifting a bit with the front wheels. That's awesome. AT race, uh, AT service, uh, which is my friend uh, Andreas Persson's company, which is his uh, <laughs> rival uh, here on track today. That's awesome. Fantastic. Well, Gustafsson, don't forget, has stepped up from junior yeah, cross car last year. Big talent here in Sweden. Yeah, he, have a, he have a bright future. Yeah, four wins last year. Missed out on the title by one point. It was it was so close. 49.3 the first uh, first lap. That's that's very fast. So I wonder then. It's, 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 do you what? To me, the track conditions look a bit drier than we saw in Q2. I guess the sun's a bit yeah. higher oh, in the sky. That <laughs> that's Another cool. one. Out, yeah. Some Absolutely there. mint. It's cool. You can see it with the purple. Color I was going to say, if you don't know, right is purple, yeah. isn't it? Uh, yeah. Olin's yellow. Yeah. Yeah. It, it doesn't. KYB like red. They, they see, I love it. Yeah. I love all that stuff. Does that make us a bit sad? Because I like it. Oh, no, I think it's cool. So do I. I mean, like, we have been in sport for so long, so we have eyes for details. So Little geeky while, things, you know, yeah. Geeky things. I, I like it when you see some of them yeah. painted the dampers because they're trying oh, to yeah. pretend they're running somebody else's. Like, oh, we see you. Here I we go to you. the Joker. Let's see. Like, he's so aggressive. He missed the first apex there a little bit. Sends it wide. Unfortunately, we couldn't see the, the exit of the Joker, but it, it looks good. It looks fast. A bit wider in the exit, actually. 
Okay, so maybe not in terms of ultimate time, maybe not perfect. Why is there a yellow flat? Oh, we've got a cross cut off to the left. So Tori Tarid, look, he's parked at the side of the track there. I don't think that'll affect lap time too much, to be honest. Gustafsson going to take this one, definitely, barring any commentator's curses. Coming down the hill now. With the AT service on the front. Listen, listen to that, just the, oh, I love cross car. I'm going over the crest, right, here we go. 199, do you reckon that number? <laughs> stolen, hashtag stolen. Stolen, here we go. Travis Is he going to do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, Two no, one-tenth of a second. That, not even one-tenth, half. Half a tenth, so 50 hundredths. Wow, yes. Yeah, Pastrana uh, will we'll want that back, won't he? Oh, look here. So, off the line. This was the start. Watch on the outside line here, Andreas. So, actually, because the, the car in slot four drops back, yeah. he's, he's able to room. move yeah. in really yes. quickly. Yeah, really and, and quickly. from the outside line, you have, uh, you have a better line into turn one, so you can run with a bit more speed. So, another look at uh, that first corner. Through the dirt on the left-hand side. All right, we we got some guests. They are Norwegian. You guys, yeah, They're coming perfect. in. They come, 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 perfect. Come in See here. There, me and Andreas in uh, the middle. I'll give you the yellow one. Hey, if you can come a little bit closer here, you want to introduce them? I can introduce them. Two uh, Norwegians. Yeah, go on. You introduce your Norwegian have, uh, friends. We have Dennis Vik. Oliver Solli, uh, both uh, their dads used to race uh, race cars earlier, uh, or in the previous years. Uh, good to have you guys. Are you enjoying the racing so far? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's cool, right? Yes. Holies. This is the first time you do a race in Holies. Yes. Yes. Is uh, so. Tell me. Uh, tell me about uh, Super or Cross Card Junior. Is it? Uh, it's a very high level here this weekend, and uh, yeah. You have had a great success so far. You winning Q3? Yeah, I won uh, the race. I'm really, really happy with that. And you had Matthias coming over? Yeah, I was speaking a little bit with him. So, uh, Mate so what, did, what did Matthias talk to you? What did he say? Yeah, he was uh, looking at um, the racing that uh, I did, and uh, he was really impressed. So uh, maybe I could uh, drive the supercar. So, so, and how old are you? 11. <laughs> and you, Dennis? <laughs> I am uh, 12. 12 years old. 11 and 12. Dennis, if you need to beat Oliver. Like yeah. You've got to beat him now. Like, yeah, he's going <laughs> to be the honest, they the are very competitive. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to oh, later. On practice today, they were 5th and 7th? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Very, very similar. 4 and 7. Uh, uh, seven. 4 and 7, sorry. Yes. So what yeah. cars are you running? What cars each of you running? Uh, speed car. Your speed car? Yeah. Speed car. Extreme speed. Junior. Extreme Junior. Yeah. Okay. So tell, uh, what, what's the engine for people at home? Uh, 600. Yeah. And uh, uh, Suzuki. And yes. what's the speed limit? Uh, nine, nine thousand RPM. Three hundred yeah. uh, RPM, yeah. Nine thousand RPM, yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, just for you guys watching, these two kids were the first to to approach us here when Yesterday. we arrived to the track yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we find a very cool, like, young, talented uh, drivers coming up here uh, and uh, introducing themselves yeah. to, to the voice of RX, Andrew Coley, and to and myself. And Andreas back with uh, the European yeah. Rallycross champion, yeah. you know, legends. Right, stick around. We've got some more racing, and you can help us out with, with uh, telling yes. us what's going on in the racing. So uh, what have we got next? Have we got any races ready to go? Or are they waiting for us? Yes, we they are. We have race three. So we're making race. They waited. Those people are waiting in those race cars because we're chatting up here. <laughs> so here, so here we have my, my friend in the middle here, Andreas uh, Passon. Uh, <laughs> I'm very very biased here. Uh, <laughs> so we've got another guest. We're gonna we'll get you in in one minute. So give us, we, we, these guys have just turned up. We're gonna do a switcheroo. We've got a queue coming up. So give us this race and then we'll do a swap out. Oh, Here we, we have go. a oh. jump start. Right. Okay. So that, so let's let's run through the grid first of all. So we've got uh, Jens Fahl, We've got Marco Ringenberg, Andreas Persson, Sten Oja, and Kalle Gotherson. And for my money, that was slot number two. Yeah, it was. Yep. Look at the light top right. You'll see Marshall it shows the number two. Ringenberg from Estonia. So that's not ideal. So tell us about the start. Oliver, you tell us about the start first of all. Is it, does it make you, you nervous? You guys struggled a bit in Q1, both of you, yeah? yeah. What happened? The, on the start, the car just... Uh, it bugged? Yeah, it didn't have any... The yeah. cross car just bugged, or did yeah. you do a mistake? I did a mistake because I uh, <laughs> had the... You should never say you did a mistake. You're a race car driver, you can blame your mechanic. <laughs> 
your dad, your dad, your dad, and your dad, and then the dampers, the engine, whatever. Never tell anyone, especially not the camera and yeah, the microphone, that you did anything. Just, yeah, it's not, it's just yeah. A, a tip from me. Yeah, Until the, you get a V-Box and data engineer and they can see that you did something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, then you're in trouble. Yeah. Then you can't say, then you can't lie anymore about what happens at the yeah. start. So, right, let's get this start underway. Then we're going to have a chat with these guys. And then, uh, here we go, thumbs up. Marshalls will walk back off the grid. Listen for the revs. Here we go. Here we go. Ready, Ready to race. race light. They've all been quite sensible with the RPM there. Sometimes you end up sitting much higher up. A great start by Hensvall on the inside line. They're going to lose out uh, on the run to the first my corner. My buddy Andreas Persson has yeah. it. Person gets it. Contact in the background between Vahl. He lives only 10, uh, 10 miles from here. Person. Torsby. Yeah? Yeah. We grew up. Uh, me and his brother went to school together. Uh, Andreas here is a bit younger, or one year younger. Um, yeah. Fantastic. So leading up and over the crest. Right. So, what did you think of uh, what do you think of the start? I think uh, it's a very great start. Uh, it's uh, kind of. You can say whatever you like. It's fine. Honestly, did, you, did, did, did he do a good move? Did you like where he, where he positioned the car? Yeah, it's. Uh, they are. Uh, Stressed up by it. Ah, I yeah. can't English. <laughs> no, you're doing you're doing great English. I spoke <laughs> Norwegian. Yeah, so you're, you're doing I everything. mean, he was lucky because the uh, pole sitter in second had a bit worse to start. So Andreas from P3, he he managed to take the gap, you know. Yeah. So, uh, and also the line being P3 into the turn one compared with P2, the, the, you can have more speed due to the line. So yeah. Is it interesting talking to Andreas? Do you, are you big fans of Andreas? Yeah, I am. It's my idol. <laughs> they are, they're really nice. Yeah, me too. <laughs> a, a fun fact here with, uh, with Dennis. Uh, his, uh, his driving suit used to be his dad's suit. No way. Right. You, you see the way he have uh, tucked it in here? Yeah. We'll show that in a minute. <laughs> and, shoes. And, the shoes. and the shoes. And the shoes. Your dad, bro, what, <laughs> what size are your feet? Forty-three. There yeah. we go. There we go. So inheriting the uh, inheriting the race where from dad. Person leads, but it's only 1.8 back to Val. Onto the final lap. Person goes joking now. Watch for Val in the background inside line. Got mugged at the start. Up and over the crest. Those going to take the lead here. That's great by Val. Yeah. Uh, is nicely done. I mean, he have just done a few laps of testing. Oh, he has a half spinner. Just he, holds on. He just had a, a few laps of testing in Norway. Uh, he's a great junior driver in rallycross back at home in Norway, uh, jumping into from a front-wheel driven car to a rear-wheel driven speed car, uh, and he's up there fighting all of a sudden. Q1, he wasn't fast. Q2, he got better. Q3, he's up there fighting. Absolutely brilliant. So Val coming into the final corner. Won't be actually that far off the time either. I wonder if he hadn't had those problems at the start, that might and have been the quickest. And he had a half spin. He yeah. had a half spin. So he would have been quickest. Five. I think that would That's have gone great. fastest. That's a That's great impressive. drive. Way to go, Jens. Jens Val could have gone quickest there. Hasn't, but you can see only four tenths in it. And if we take a look at the start in a moment, you'll see. His sister is going to be in the next hit, Helena Val. So watch the start here. Jens Val is on the inside line, look. Has to give up positions oh. there. A little bit of contact, maybe a tenth or so there. Now we see it was that early decision yeah, for Joker yeah, again. Yeah. yeah Catching really some time good. there. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it was a really good cut and start. Uh, important to take the Joker there because he was uh, on the outside, so he got the speed in. Here we go, half spin here. Too much speed into the this turn here. Oh, all the steering it's lock. Got to be a that of corner tenths. is. Uh, it's hard. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really hard. tricky. It's tricky. Yes. Why? Why is it tricky? Because uh, you come really fast into the corner and uh, you was on the gravel, so you get ground on ties. Brilliant. Well done, lads. Look, you've been amazing. We want to th say thank you very much for coming up and being yes. such excellent commentators. And no um, matter what, keep on going hard, yeah. you know. There yeah. will be ups, there will be downs, uh, but you guys are great, so keep keep the hammer down. <laughs> yeah, man. Well done, lad. Well done, lads. See you later on. Uh, we can keep one seat. <laughs> thank yes. you. So Jens Val wins that last race. Absolutely brilliant drive, only a few tenths off. Uh, we've got one more guest coming into the commentary box who we just need to see very quickly in here. Come on in. Come on in. Come on, oh, sit down. I see down. the licorice. So let's, uh, if we can have a quick look in the commentary box with us here. I'm going to switch your mic on. Which one have you got? Yellow. Oh, we might have to wait. We might have to oh, we wait until after the race. We'll do the start. We'll start the race. Here we go. We can look afterwards. It's Anderson, Nogain, Haval, Kong and Ida. Inside line, great start. Oh, P2 gets a little nudge on the run to the first corner, but hangs on tight. 
Going to get into turn one first around the outside. Who's it that's gone Joker? It's uh, Ida who's gone into the Joker. Norwegian, is that, I must say Aida, that wrong. Aida, Aida, Aida. Aida. So it's Aida. different to Aida. Enzo Aida. Yeah, it's yeah. a slightly different spelling. Aida, Aida, there we go. You see, this is why we need Norwegian in the commentary box. <laughs> um, so yeah, great job there. Only Aida has jokered on this first lap, so now has, it's quite nice, isn't it? When you've only got three laps, if you're the only yeah. driver to joker on any one lap, that's actually pretty rare. It, it is, it is. Uh, like previous, uh, or two years ago, we saw three car uh, cards going in there. Uh, one stayed out. So, uh, yeah. So Aida in the background has got clear track here. I, I suspect somebody will respond. We'll have a look at the gaps as they come over the line, and that will give us an idea. 4.4 back, so in theory could get two cars here. Neither of the leaders respond, so watch for the guys in P3 and P4. Oh, Have they gone Joker or not? Need to see in the background. Yes, Val's gone in. It's strange for me, Val normally drives a red car, and all of a sudden she's in a yellow car. So I'm like a bit confused. Mate, I, I'm confused all the while, don't <laughs> yeah, worry. It's, it's, first it's, race of the year, new liveries for everyone. Yeah. And, uh, you it's, know. it's always the hardest race to yeah. commentate. You've got nothing to refer back to from the previous yeah. day's action. You, you know, you, you don't recognise the cars so quickly. It's, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm always frustrated as well when you get like five cars that look the same. I'm like, yeah. really, guys? Come on, really? <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know if it was me that forced Subaru to change the colours on the end of the wings or not, but it was, it's much easier when they're, when they're different colours. I used to like, do you remember the Markland cars? One had a red roof and one had a yellow roof. Uh, there was, yeah, yeah, uh, Thomas Haken and, and, uh, and Anton Markland. Yeah, yeah, and Markland. Which one and was yellow? And then P.G. Anderson. Yes, P.G. was yeah. yellow, wasn't he? Yeah. Definitely. And Markland was red. Yes, and Toppy, Toppy was white. Well, yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, always white. Yeah. Toppy, come back. Yeah, Toppy. I do still see Toppy yeah. in the paddock sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes he's in nobody, with Nobody, nobody could ever beat him in the start. Really? He has some rare talent of reaction time. Super reaction yeah. times. Super reaction yeah. times. I hated being in the start with him. Really? Dude. Yeah, really the worst, <laughs> yeah. was it? Toppy was the best starter. Yeah. There you go, Toppy. Hit us up on WhatsApp if you're watching. If you're not yeah. watching, you're out of order. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> Nogina coming around to the uh, the finish line now. Check your flag. He's on. Oh, somebody off in the final corner. Was it Kong who's gone off in the final corner? No, it wasn't. It's Anderson. So Anderson's gone off in that last corner and dropped back. Had a ball I think. there. But it's Nojane who takes the win. So we have another guest in the commentary box. We've got Lowry Hallinan with us. Lowry, we're going to just, uh, you've got your microphone there, have you? Yeah, nice and close to your, nice and close to your mouth with that. I'm just doing where, my where are you in qualifying? Uh, uh, this. Yeah, where have you finished overall? After the three qualifiers. Ah, uh, I'm being first. Uh, top qualifier. Yeah. He won. Yes, mate. That's how Skits. we roll. See? Yeah. You only get to come in the commentary box for a couple of reasons, okay? <laughs> One, if you're Norwegian, you know Andreas, the previous people. Two, if you bring a load of licorice in here. Yeah. You, uh, yeah. But three, mate, last year you came in here only with the licorice. This year you're coming in here with the TQ. Look at the licorice. Oh, yeah. yeah. But so can we, can we just point out TQ against 29 young drivers, I think? Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot more drivers than yeah. last year. Yeah, uh, very much. But, but not only that, from last year, you have stepped it up so much, yeah. it looks like. On yeah. your driving style, it looks so much cleaner and your braking uh, points are on. It's dialed in, you know? Yeah. 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 So what did you do to practice? I'm only drive, because it's everything. Did you do anything on the ice? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that. I Sprint. like that. From Sprint Finland. is the best I know. Yeah. yeah. Do you go on the lake as well? In, in Finland? Yeah. 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 Do, do it ever happen you drive a car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and hold on, oh, hold there. 12. 12, that's, that's cool. That's pretty, it's very cool, yeah. isn't it? 13 this cool. year. Yeah. Yeah. So we have uh, one last race for, it was Nozine who took that last one. We've got one last race coming in cross Thumbs car. Up. Stay with us, because we're going to ask you some stuff about this. Yeah. You know any of these guys racing here now? Yeah, the... Johnny Pekarajala? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Very Which I used to, to race with in the Super Yeah. Car. And Huka. Huka. So yeah, we've got two, two fellow Finns, haven't we? Yeah. So we, we can Huka get some opinions on this. So Rico Huka has been rebranded as The Kid. And yeah. the kid has just taken the lead in the Hot Wheels backed car. Drops uh, onto the standard. Everybody else yeah. goes Joker. <laughs> so he like, leads the Joker, it looks like. He's going to stay out, isn't he, now, Andreas? Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Surely. Uh, yeah, I, I would say so. I know uh, he's in clear air. He can do what he wants. He can nail his breaking points. So, Lowry, do you have a spotter? No. No, you're not allowed spotters yeah. as you no. No. So, if you. How, what would you do at this point if you were Rico Hukar? What was what was the plan? I don't know, cause 
everything can happen. So would you would you stay out until the last lap? Yeah, do best laps the one. What I uh, what he can do and yeah. And see if you're in the lead. Yeah. What do you do at the joke commercial? Oh, oh, me wheelie hooks a wheel on the inside. Get it, hooker. This, Go this on. This cross guard is so soft and I rare, know you, you can know. see it lifting yeah, the wheel everywhere. It, 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 Every corner, it's three wheels. I think in America we would say uh, he's getting after it, which yeah, he is properly after getting it. after it, isn't he? But that over the one, oh, that was mega. That, that was really good. So yeah, dives on the brakes. Break there. The Hot Wheels livery as well. Doesn't that look right, good? Lifts the wheel, but yeah, even man. with the cover on. on yeah, there. we know. <laughs> we know. We see that purple business. Yeah, man. <laughs> Hukka, the kid coming down the hill. Where is uh, where is our clock? We'll get that when he crosses the start finish line. Oh, it's, it's, Look here now. I think Look it's a pretty now. big lead. The exit of the corner. Yes, yeah. the front wheel. Saying hello. Get it. Right. What's the gap? He needs about 2.7 to Ragula behind. 3.2 should be enough. We did see someone make a mistake earlier on. Into the Joker lap now. Tight on the left and then the right. Oh, it's not the best entry, Johnny I would Pekka say. Johnny is doing, uh, putting on some decent lap times there now. 46.5 in the previous lap. Only one ten faster than Huka. Two is, fins do, do back Do I say now. it correctly? Huka. 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 What about Rayala? Rajala. Rayala. Rayala. Huka. Rayala. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, that's good. Are we saying your name right? That's the big question. Yeah. yeah. Hallonan. Hallonen. Hallonen. Yeah, Hallonen. Kitas, kitas. <laughs> All right, tell us about the, the licorice you have here, because last uh, year you gave us these licorice rods. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Metrin Lacritzi. La Lacritzi. La yeah, and uh, this is new taste. This, like, ball. And what is this called? It... Uh, it doesn't have uh, a name yet, because we are the, yeah. the testers. Yeah. We are the trying, me and Cole. Cole is going to test it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to test it right now. We're going to try yeah. the Let's give it a go. Because I can eat it, but uh, I, I would like to, to eat like it first. Three, uh, two or three, because it's like better yeah. than I'll one. Do, do I'll, two. Do, I'll do two. Yeah. If yeah. We'll try it. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> you, you taste first. Oh, look at that. Yes. Wheeling it over turn one. Get it. <laughs> that is, that's what Get we're some. Going. Right, here we go. This is, uh, this is the new one. Yeah, uh, it's yep. not called anything yet, because it's the first sample. We're going to test it out. There we go. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> Back on. You do the result. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Riku Huka, 226.0, which puts him. It puts him up in P6. Yoni Pekka Rayala up to seventh. Great heat by them. Uh, very close in the top. I mean, less than a second up to P1, which is Thomas Ek Musta from Norway. Jens Wall P3. Great result. Uh, definitely climbed the ladder. The licorice gets a thumbs up. I'm going to have to just leave you just for a minute <laughs> just to, to finish the licorice. Yeah. I'll, I'll be back. You'll be back. So we have a two VD uh, or touring car or uh, super national, as I call them, rear wheel driven cars, front wheel driven cars. We have uh, Jonas Dahl uh, in. Dalthus Jakobsi. Da I, I was just, I lost it here. <laughs> he freaked out. Yeah, he freaked I out. I left him for the but start. Freddy he freaked Tiger. out. T T Tiger's got him. Simon. Yeah. Simon Tiger, sorry. Is Frederick the, the dad? Yeah. Listen to that engine. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? The Wankel engine. Jonas Dalset uh, Jakobsen has been the fastest in Q1 and Q2. Uh, he has a bit better pace than Tiger, but uh, it's been very close between them. Uh, let's see if he does the Joker after in in the second lap. So might this be the point at which our reigning Open Two Wheel Drive champion fights back? As I try and find my results, yes, yeah, very close here now. Two from two. Simon Tiger's had a P2 and a P4. I wonder if maybe he's dialed in the BMW just a little bit more. A little bit more. Sometimes it looks the track very comes soft. to you, though, doesn't Yo it? Jonas well. goes to Joker now. It's got to go Joker, really, if he yeah. wants to have the alternate strategy. It's oh, only Johansson that can threaten. Straight in the exit. Yep. Needed that. So that's yep. great taxi. Andreas, the thing is, he's not racing Johansson. Uh, sorry, they've got Johansson and Johansson behind. But you've still got to slot into yeah, that traffic somehow. At the same somehow. time, he have two times P1. He's very close to being pole sitter in uh, in the semi-final. So he don't need to risk anything. He doesn't need to beat uh, Simon Tiger here. Uh, but he, he, for sure, he wants to win every qualifying heat. So uh, they, he 
went to the Joker, he's in clear here. If he was in the fight with Johannesson, that would hurt him a bit. Look at Simon Tiger's yeah, car as well. They're lifting, cool. that's like a yeah. cross car soft. Yeah. It was just lifting it right up. Absolutely fantastic. In the background, Engsvig with a little bit too much curb. Watching now up. for the merge, 3.4. This should easily be enough. Tiger's patient on the way in. Oh, oh, I don't know if it is. Having. Look at the difference. Yeah. So that was 3.2, and still Jonas Dowsett Jakobsen has come back. That's I, I must an say, epic I, I lap, surely. Tiger had a, a perfect joke there. I, too I, slow, too, too much slow. rotation on the first yes, part. Yes, yes. And it, the car looks very heavy and hard to handle through, through the joker. I don't know. Uh, it just didn't look very efficient. It did look slightly over-rotated, didn't yeah. he? He was patient on coming off the throttle before getting back on, but if he's lost that time. But either way, really, really impressive. Jakobsen comes around. Dow said Jakobsen takes the checkered flag. What's the time? 2.29.9. So it's actually, it's only two tenths off his time, but then we know the track's a bit quicker as well. Yeah. So it's only two tenths off Jakobsen's quickest time. But yeah, either way, not, not such an ideal race. Lowry, we're going to say thank you very much to you. Yeah. Um, and we'll wish you the best of luck later. What, now that you're top qualifier, have you, you've not been top qualifier before, have you? No. Okay. So how do you feel about approaching the semi-finals from, from the P1? A little bit scared, because yeah. everybody uh, drives very fast right now. But you drove faster. You know what? Yeah. When you're nervous, your body's sharp, then yeah. you perform. So that's yeah. all you need to remember. Actually, here. Lauri Hallonen, P1. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But he's That's right. I'm, I'm nervous before I do TV. Andreas is nervous before he races, and he's nervous before he does TV. <laughs> and it, it's good to be nervous. Being nervous just means you will be full of adrenaline and, and you'll be ready to race. So yeah. you, you're going to get it this afternoon, aren't you? Yeah. You're going to win for us. Of course. Okay. Yes. This is what we like to hear. Mate, we wish you the best of luck. All kitos, right. Kitos. Yeah, Kitos. kitos. Send it this afternoon, yeah? Hola, Hiva. Thanks, lads. I'm going to go. take care of the, the licorice here. He's off now, bless <laughs> him. Yeah. We'll eat all the licorice. You go and get all the trophies. Get it. See you later. See you later, alligator. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> we just had, basically, what we're discovering here is that kids are better than us at Rallycross, and um, it seems they're better than us at television. And they're better only than me in English. They're, only, like, they're only 11. I mean, what, what is there left, yeah, Andreas? I don't know. What I is there? I mean, you know, I'm impressed. I'm going to have a worse midlife crisis <laughs> now. I realize how terrible I am compared to all children. But great to have them here. I, you know, I hope you guys at home appreciate, you know, I get it. You know, we, we're bringing in some 11 and 12 years into the commentary box. So I hope you're enjoying hearing from them because they're doing, they're trying so hard. They are. Uh, you listen it's to impressive. Lowry and he says, I'm, I'm nervous. I love that as well. There's yeah. no hiding. You know, like you, you, if you were in that situation, you probably wouldn't say whether you were nervous, although you know the nerves will help you with the performance. Yeah, but I, kids are so honest. They're aren't so they? honest. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so honest. That was cool. All right. Okay, a little, little bit of a reset. Race, race two, race yeah. two. A little bit of a deep breath. And oh, how do you go. say 2WD or do you say 2... Two-wheel drive. Two-wheel drive. So that's right. what WD stands for. Yeah, I just call know. it Super National Touring Car. Yeah, well, but so the thing was, mm -hmm. yeah. the reason it was called open two-wheel drive is because the regulations allow you to use a, a touring car, yeah. the different specifications from Norway, Sweden, Denmark, you know, because the rules are slightly different each place, aren't they? Or a, or a front-wheel drive car. So they wanted to be able to attract everything. I want to see someone use a 306 Maxi in this. I mean, I know you do. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be cool? I wonder, how do you think it would fare? Seriously. Seriously, in the corners, like, it's a fast car. Yeah. But the thing is, they have a uh, weight yeah. they have to reach. Right. So I, I do think, like, with a 306 Maxi, you know, yeah, it's, it's very light and yeah. very efficient. But when you put more weight on it, it it's would not maybe not be, be so good. For the and start, then the start's gonna, where yeah. they'd get killed, isn't it? Because yeah. rear wheel drive, the rear wheel drives sit down, don't yeah. they? Whereas front wheel drives just scrabble. Yeah. So we'll have to give the 306 Maxi. Uh, oh, oh, one wheel landing off oh. to the inside line. It's all gone horribly wrong, and the jump landing for Engsvik had a big lead. Just got a one wheel landing and got fired to the inside. Luckily, no damage, but Enland is right there, 1.2 back. How far back is Ryala in the background? 3.6. Could still hold on here, but it's going to have to be absolutely perfect. So Engsvig has made it tough. Coming into the left-hander now, a little bit tight on that first leg. Going to try and get the gas down now and shut the door on the exit. Nicely closes the door. Ryala slots in, bit of contact there between uh, Nilsson and Enland at the back of the pack. But Engsvig with a one-wheel landing and a big run wide. It's going to cost a lot of time, so I can't. I'm not expecting that top time of uh, of Dalseth Jakobsen to get challenged at all, to be honest. 
No, I think he's uh, he's going to be a bit behind, but he has driven well all day, so uh, he's he's uh, he's up there for the semis. Did you ever do any of this? Or oh, in the background spin there? I didn't do many of uh, the rear wheel driven cars. No. No. Super 1600 straight up to to supercars, but after that I've done tons of different stuff. I've done yeah. World Rallycross Championship, European Championship, Pikes Peak, Trofa Andros, DTM Peak. testing, Formula Renault 3.5 uh, testing, Jim Carner Grid, X Games, Nitro Rallycross, right. Folk Race, Rallying, Karting. I've done it it's all. It's pretty crazy. Just not isn't super it, national. Mate? It's pretty. <laughs> So we basically we need Andreas to get a run in a super national late yeah. this year. So if anyone's got one, you would you do it? Would you? Ever? Yeah, for, for sure. For sure. For sure. Okay, so we need we, we need... have one guy uh, back home in Norway. His name is uh, Habian Hoog. Yeah. You've seen him in a yellow uh, Mercedes. He have always promised me, and it's up to me. I, so I need to contact him. Are you free? In are, you, are, you are you free, free in Let's a couple see. of weeks' time? <laughs> oh, look at the jump. Whoa. This was the landing. That's oh, hard, look yeah. at the compression oh. on the rear right. It's actually the car's pretty strong because the angle that yeah. rear right landed at. I was expecting. I hope he does. Here we go. Sit on the front. Watch legs. this. Watch this. Oh. Watch the rear right. So back left of your picture now. How he didn't have that off the rim is is beyond me. Yeah. That's the limit, yeah. isn't it, for keeping a tire bead on? Here we go from the rear again. Whoa. Get it. Oh, oh, when it landed, it fired him left, didn't it? He got rocketed off to the left-hand side. Sander Egsvik, despite the most exciting jump landing of yep. the weekend so far, still takes it, but 234.7 is not going to challenge. P3 uh, so the far. P3, yeah, I mean, it's, not, it's not as far off as you would have he, thought. He would have been up there with Jonas and Simon. Oh, we've got a Sander and a Simon. Yeah. So, it's yeah, it's this one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's, yeah. P, it's P5. My dyslexia hits It's all it. good, mate. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> So, uh, All right, on so the, on Frederick Orgidal, yeah. very, very competitive, very fast. So on the outside, he uh, he got problem. He, he lost the wheel in Q2. Yes. So uh, where was he leading at the time? Or he, he, he was second, there? just yeah. behind Jonas. Or third, behind Tiger. Listen to that rotary engine again, and the, and oh. the proper wastegate noises. This takes me back to like Group B rallycross, yeah, it the, does. with the choo -choo -choo, all the. Well, you know I like the wastegate noise, yeah. don't you? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the Ford wastegate specifically, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? RS200 and so on. Oh, listen at that. Yes. It does sound good, doesn't it? It does. It really does. So Kenneth Kong leads from Agdal. Orgadal. Or Orgadal. Orgadal. Orgadal up so close behind, coming down, trying to find a way around the outside at the bottom of the hill. Surely not. Now looking to the inside line of Kenneth Kong. So Argadal's Ooh. got more pace, going to try and pass Kenneth Kong and does around. So basically he's gone outside, outside from the bottom of the hill up to there. And now finally will be inside line up at turn one. Taken three corners to do it, but that's brilliant, isn't it? Such a clean driving there. Such a clean driving. That's awesome to watch. Kenneth that's doesn't go joker. For me, see, Kenneth there should maybe have gone joker, but then if he hasn't yeah. got the... Yeah, he has got the gap back as well. I would have gone joker just to be on the alternate strategy because following now, yeah. it, he can't beat him unless he makes a pass back. And I think with Argadal having the, the better pace, that's unlikely. Argadal is one of the most talented drivers we have in Rallycross uh, back home in Norway. It's cool to see him uh, here in Rallycross Nordic. Uh, he makes that uh, BMW M3 E30 fly. Listen, just the... What the, 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 the oh, we got a problem for... Uh, Kenneth Kong. Kong. Yeah, Kenneth Kong is uh, having a bit of a shocker. Listen, that noise is oh, obscene, so isn't it? It sounds like a Group B car, it really does. <laughs> it's obscene. Joker. Can you nail it? It's pretty good. Uh, it's not so ideal for Kenneth. That's a shame. So Kenneth Kong was down in P12. Crazy Mike, though, hasn't appeared in this one. I don't think no, Orgadal will have uh, the pace to match Jonas, but uh, I think he will slot in close to Simon Tiger and uh, Simon Engsvik. So there were 14 entries. Who are we missing? No, sorry, 13 entries. Yeah, two fours and a five. 13 entries. Crazy Dude, Mike, unfortunately. is the time to beat. Yeah, is he going to do it? No. no. I think he's going to be very close to Tiger. Let's see. 231.3 slots him in P3. Yeah, so Tiger got him, just. 
Yeah, great drive. I wonder without that lap at the start stuck behind, maybe yeah. maybe would have been. And also, don't forget the pass. He went outside line three times, yeah. which is going to cost you a couple of tenths a turn. So good drive. But yeah, we've got 13 cars, but Crazy Mike has DNF'd Q1 and Q2 and hasn't Loads turned off a Q3. Uh, as you can see on the car, I'm uh, I'm sure uh, Orgadal wants to, to be up there fighting with Jonas and Tiger in the final. Uh, Mo Molly uh, Molly caught up with somebody earlier on. Not quite sure it was. So uh, let's let's have a see what Molly where Molly's been. Sandra, first way, uh, race weekend of Rally X, and things are going very well so far. Talk to me about the races you've driven. Yeah, we had a really good start, launch in, in uh, Q1, and managed to follow Niklas partly, but we ended, I think, fourth. And in Q2, we had uh, I had a problem with the. Um, with the gearbox in the start, but we managed to do a, a smart choice in the first corner and managed to follow Johan until his and Niklas's incident, and we ended P3, so all in all, really, really happy. With this field that is here this weekend, are you surprised to see yourself in P2 overall so far? Yeah, we talked about it, me and Ole Christian, about it's with Matthias and with Johan, and we're kind of in front of both, even though they had their issues, but we're still in front, so it's really, really fun to be in front of them. Tell me a little bit about the track. How? What are the conditions like? How is it suiting you? Obviously, quite well. <laughs> yeah, we had in in practice one. It was really, really good grip, and then the rain came with low grip, and then today it's been on and off with the grip. So it's really difficult, but it's also learning and fun. Thank you very much. Thank you. Frederick Argadal. Oh, I was showing Norman Kong and Craig. What? Well, two DNFs. Did they not finish? I I know I know Kenneth didn't. I didn't see. <laughs> no, no, did I. We were both looking at results, yeah. listening to Molly talking to uh, Sondra Evshin. So, okay, there we go. You can hear the light rumble in the background of RX lights, and we're going to take a look at the standings for lights ahead of their final qualifying session. That's somebody who'll be beating Andreas in Rallycross in about three years' time, judging by, the kids, yeah. we, <laughs> judging by the kids we've had the up here already. We've had, yeah. Supercar Lights it's currently very, led. Very by, close up there. Yeah, fight. Martin Jonsson, Jimmy Walfredson, look, is P2. Kevin Eriksson up to P3 after Whoa. a disastrous Q1 and a winning Q2. Enland, Ole Henry Steinsholt, Simon Olofsson, look, it's a total opposite results to, to Kevin Eriksson. Yeah, and, and ends up in P6. McGuinness is 7th, Janssen 8th, Oskarsson 9th, Lazarek Haug is 10th, Hookvist 11th, Person 12th. Oli Eriksson, as, as Andreas pointed out, he needs a result here. He does, he really does. Like, we, we all know he has the speed, so he had some issues in Q2 and we'll be bouncing back this time. Okay, so where is Oli? Oli Eriksson is in the last race, yeah. which his brother was, of course. We had fastest first now. Yeah. yeah. In, in the previous session, Kevin was in that last race and absolutely smashed it. Yeah. Did he, he won the session, didn't he, in that last race? He did. So now Oli needs to with, do the same. This time he is with Simon Olofsson in the last heat, so it's going to be yeah, hard. So it's gonna be, but it's going to be fast anyway. Yeah, that's true. So, Kevin Eriksson, Martin Janssen, the current TQ man, McGuinness, Janssen and Steinsholt. Good start, McGuinness in the middle of the grid, but great start on the inside line for Kevin Eriksson. Kevin Eriksson going to get to turn one first. Look at the time he gains on oh, the run to the first corner. Round the outside, Casper Janssen gets sideways in the blue RX2 machine. Into the joke goes one car, McGuinness follows on in P3. So it's Kevin Eriksson, and then I think it's Casper Janssen and McGuinness. Who's gone to the... Is it Janssen or not who's gone? Yes, it is, yeah. I'm trying to see who's gone. It's Janssen who's gone Joker. Sorry, Janssen, Joker in the back. So Janssen could threaten from there, Andreas, because no one's gone in with him. Janssen is a, is a very fast driver as well. I spoke with uh, Andreas and I, I saw the race uh, of Kevin. He doesn't have like the top, top speed, but he's a class driver. He can nail every lap consistently good, no mistakes, uh, avoid traffic. He is very good. So he's going to be the pace sitter here, but you see, um, you see Jonsson is, uh, is closing them down already. Yeah. Jonsson is 3.5 off the back and immediately Janssen responds with a 3.2 gap. Let's see so now. So Casper Janssen in the blue oh, car over rotates. He's definitely going to lose that. Sure, he's going to lose that. Where's Jonsson? Yeah, Janssen's got him. Yeah. So too much rotation on the way in. So Janssen's got one, and Janssen was in P2, don't forget. Yeah. So in theory, that means McGuinness and Steins are already gone. So now he's after Kevin Eriksson out front. It's going to be tight. It's going to be very tight against Eriksson and Janssen. 
McGuinness has managed to uh, gap Steinsel just a bit as we see that wonderful camera on the arm, Co Barrier, coming down the hill there. The bit that Andreas was saying earlier is just so much fun. The car is still low. <laughs> <laughs> so low. Are you going to go and have a word with Eric? Nah, he's low, man. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he does, doesn't yeah, he? To be better fair. than me on these cars. Eric, Eric 2 .3 seconds. was uh, spotted oh, for sorry. Sebastian Loeb, of course, yeah. wasn't he? Um, now running yellow he, he got married last weekend. Loeb in, or in, Eric? Yeah, Eric. Eric, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. In Latvia. Brilliant. Yeah, congratulations, Eric. Yeah, congrats, mate. That's amazing. Me and Eric mostly... I, I saw a video of him dancing. Did you? Should have, wor should have worked a bit more on the moves there. Really? <laughs> really? Brilliant. I, I love but other Eric. Than that, he looks great. He's so funny, isn't yeah, he? Such a good cool. guy, he really is. I drove for him in Rally Axon Ice in Aura. You see the gap now is closed down. Yeah, lot. Has. I think actually maybe Kevin has some problems. No, Kevin's, oh, Kevin's going to get it. It's final somewhere. lap, so he's, he's oh, got yeah. this done. But he's yeah, done the Joker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Four laps. I was That's thinking four we, laps. We were Sorry, guys. We are 225.001. So what are the fastest time? 2.26.7, that's the yeah, fastest time of the weekend yes. for Kevin Erickson, 2.25.001. He had 2.26.7 in the previous heat. 2.25, I'm loving the, is it, I kind of wanted the, the, the fully 0, 0, 0. But I'll take that, you know? Yeah. You know, you had a fire there in Q1, and we can see on the start line especially quite a lot of smoke around the car. That must be quite disturbing for you as well. Yeah, like you say, for the start it was a bit disturbing, but after that you don't really notice anything. So um, that was a, I mean, that's what happens when you have uh, some issues and the guys are repairing the car and uh, they were doing a mega job just to make us come out to the start line and I was happy with that then Unfortunately the first couple of corners it was a bit too much action and that's not really what I'm here for So I just tried to back off and don't risk anything and just finish the run making sure that everything is working and uh, Learn something from the driving instead. Uh, so maybe not the result what we wanted, but uh, it was good we were out for Q2 at least. And where did the fire come from? Um, it was just a small, small oil leak um, and it was dripping down to the, um, uh, what is it called, the exhaust system. Uh, so after the finish line that caught fire and then, yeah, shit happens. But still with all these things you're doing quite well, you're third overall. Absolutely, so yeah, that's great. No, and, and I'm I'm really happy with that. And uh, to be honest, we haven't really had the, the clean races that I wanted to. Uh, we have always been in some traffic. And uh, like Niklas is showing, the, the car is doing really good here. And I hope that we can just get a, a solid start and a clear track. And then we can also show the pace what we actually have. Kevin Eriksson takes their first race, 225.001 from Janssen, Janssen, McGuinness and Stein. So it's a good job Andreas backwards because <laughs> he's switching my mic on now. That's brilliant. Yeah, mate, oh, you, I'm mate. getting into it. Uh. It's, mate, you're doing, a, you're doing fantastic. It's, it's actually you. very cool to see Anton in the Hyundai. Uh, yeah. I don't feel he have been in a top uh, championship uh, contender car for yeah. a while. And... Uh, Actually, in Q1, he had the fastest lap time of everyone. So, uh, so you just need to pace. nail the starts. Got the pace. But well, it takes a while. It takes a while to get uh, the hang of the starts, you know. In Especially when you swap cars, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Janssen, right, Walfridsson, Haug, Enlund and Exbeth. Walfridsson with a really quick reaction time. Gets away nicely from the lights. Going to try and squeeze the door on Janssen on the inside. Janssen's got that inside oh, line, but stays tight. in the throttle. Great job by Walfridsson through turn one to hold on really nice. G Jimmy is second overall. He's born and raised very close to Holies. Uh, he is uh, from Torsby. His, uh, his family uh, are big owners in Halmia, which you can see all, all uh, on his car. Uh, his family with, uh, yeah. A big, big family tree there, uh, but Stig Olof Walfridsson, which won here, I believe, back in 2007. Decker, yeah. Stecker, yeah. The, the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. Uh, oh, the mistake, he, he got the rear left, rear he, left, he, he, got he, down. He, he got punted in to turn two. You so, think that's where it happened? Yes, yes. or oh, turn one, that's actually. A, that's gutting, so Jimmy Walfridsson's got to try and hold on Andreas. He's got oh. two laps to go on three wheels. You've done this, I remember the focus, we spoke about it yeah. earlier on in S3. What yeah. does he have to do to minimize Joker the damage? Joker now, Joker now, I would say. Because yeah. 
otherwise you're going to end up uh, being overtaken and lose a lot of time on that. So. And how, how do you drive when you've got oh, three, so three times like this? It's so boring, but the good thing is that it's left rear and mainly the corners here goes to the left. So, so you can hang on yeah, there. Yeah, but this corner here right. is so hard with the puncture on left rear, it's just like a disaster. It's so boring, you know? Yeah, if you just for him it's damage limitations. Yeah. So all those down the hill here as well. A, it'd be a long way yeah. down. Yeah. Ideally, he wants to remain it's going to be a big ask, but he wants to try and remain top four because that will see him on the front row in a semi-final, but it's unlikely, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. I'm trying to draw a track here now so that I can know the numbers of the The numbers turns. of the corners. Andreas yeah. is drawing himself a little Hollyish track map. And uh, we'll come back to you with what the corners are just after these uh, short messages. Uh, Janssen leads from how 3.4 seconds the gap. Going to come out just in front. How's getting a bit of pressure from Enland as well behind. But nicely done by Janssen. That's turn six, by the way. There we go. So now he's done the numbers. Now he's done the numbers. Oh, no, sorry, five. And here is seven. Okay, so there's so, so no, six, six. Is, You've got two sixes on there. I have. No, five. Sorry. Five. <laughs> oh, right, okay, that's five. five. That's why. This is seven. So seven coming down the hill, then eight. And, and nine. nine's the last corner. Eight here, yeah. But do people, some, sometimes I hear people talking about different numbers, that's because they just feel like there is a turn or there is not yeah, a turn. Yeah. Some people number different bits of the track. Yeah, that's true. Janssen takes it, target time was 2.25 and it's not anywhere near that. So, uh, well done. No, so, it's, it's very close. Oh, no. 2.29.8, yes, 4.8. Oh, so 4.8. Yeah. So, that's a brilliant time by Kevin Erickson. Janssen, 2.29. get the start here. It, you can actually see in turn one, uh, in the mid corner there, Valfrisson will get the tap on his left rear. In the mid corner here now. Here we go, here we go. Boom. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's caused the, the puncture. You can and see it already there. Yeah. It left the... Uh, oh the man, it's such yeah. a shame because I felt he'd done well in turn one with, yeah. uh, with Janssen in his door on the inside. Yeah. He did the right thing to stay in the throttle and get round. Yeah. So uh, a couple of messages, what we got here. So uh, Manny Flores watching, uh, I think it's one of my American friends, currently watching on YouTube. Some of these kids in Crossroads, so much talent. Andreas is doing great on the commentary. Thank you. There we Appreciate go, yeah. Uh, too bad he's, he races, otherwise he could join you more. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Kieran Walmsley, great seeing you. And Andreas this morning, it's mega. We need to know Mega. what he's doing. We need to know what he's doing this season. What's your PayPal? And we'll try and get the money together for him to have a race this season. Cheers, Thank Kieran. I'll pass that on to Andreas. That. Uh, we've got fire emojis from one of the Latvian rally teams. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, what else we got? Oh, here we go. George McGinnis has just messaged. Here we go, race three. Inside, Person, Hockfist. Then we've got uh, Birgit, Oskarsson and Schwartz on the outside. Oscarson with a good start from P4, but it's a great start to inside person and Hockfist. Hockfist trying to go around the outside. Surely oh, going to dive very onto good the go. No, I can't quite go. So that's frustrating. Inside, inside P2 is fine. Sometimes you get boxed in, don't you, yeah, in turn one? you do. You really do. So, Oscarson, uh, is it Oscarson? No, sorry. Uh, yeah. Hockfist. So, leading. Here we go. So George McGann is proper rallycross fight in that last quality. He's just messaged yeah. me. That's the perfect example of why I love racing rallycross over any other That's discipline. Cool. George, Thank you for the text. Yeah, well done, mate. Great to see that. Uh, you're enjoying yourself here. Oh, Neil Sanderson sent a message. So Neil's... <laughs> Neil sent a message to us on Instagram. Did he? One of his stories. Uh, he was supposed. He, someone has put a note on his steering wheel that says "Remember, Remember. the ALS," which is the anti-lag <laughs> system. So Neil's obviously forgot the ALS at some point because, of course, he's come from lights where there is no ALS. Uh, I think uh, Linus Oslin described it well in the interview today. There are so many buttons. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and, and I told you yesterday about like driving an electric car compared with a supercar, especially on starts. You know, with a supercar, it all feels like you have no time to do anything and you have so much stuff to do. In an electric car, you have all the time in the world. Nothing to do. From the ready to, li uh, to, ready to race uh, light turns on till the green light is on. But looking at forever. some of the crazy settings that are within the electric cars, yeah. I think that's yeah. going to be the key, isn't it, to lap times? It is. You, may, you, you had a try at the FC1 recently down I in Barcelona. Did. And, and I was very positively, uh, positive about it because, like, for me, electric cars has been so easy to drive. Very easy, yeah, too easy. A bit I would too say. easy, yeah. yeah. But the FC1, I tried it first with 850 horsepower. 
so challenging, so hard, and then I tried to drive it with 1,150 horsepower and undrivable. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's great because yeah. you look at F1 and they're yeah. always saying we want less grip, more yeah. power, make it more of a challenge for the drivers, reduce the aero. And in rallycross, it's kind of the same thing. You want to be I can explain you how hard it is Go on. with saying that Formula One world champion Jensen Button yes. did put it in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jensen. Jensen, if you're watching, I do apologize for Andreas. Um, <laughs> that wasn't going to go out there, was no, it? No, it's fine. It's fine. He, you know, I saw him put it on social himself. He said, I had a problem. He said, yeah. we won't say any more about that. And he's a nice bloke. He is a very nice bloke, and uh, to be honest, I'm I'm a bit starstruck. The next weekend, I see him in Miami, handshaking Mr. David Beckham, and I'm yeah. like, what? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you, I think what was lovely about Jensen is he comes from F1, and he's such, he's such a huge superstar within that. You couldn't and get him comes, out from the car. No, he loved RX2, it. He loved R, uh, it. RX lights, yeah. RX2. He, he, and a full, mean, full chat, full banter, just yeah. th like no, like I'm an F1 driver, yeah. you know, uh -huh. no, not distancing himself from anyone. He was cool asking guy. you for some advice yes. on driving the car. I tried to give him nothing. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You were a bit starstruck yeah. anyway, weren't yeah. you? So yeah, we, we, had to, talk. Was, uh, we had to put him the other side of a fence, yeah. as you might have seen from the uh, pictures I posted online. <laughs> we put him behind a wire wall. Yeah, Let's but see yeah, what it's happens great. Start, I, yeah. I love the fact Jensen's dad, of course, used to race rallycross back in the day, and yeah. uh, I'm excited to see how he gets on in the sport. I, I really am. Jensen has signed with. Excite Energy Racing for Nitro Rallycross, if, if you didn't know. So it will, it will be good to see, won't it? Yeah. I, I'm not expecting him to kill it, and I don't no. think he is either. I'm expecting it to be a And I mean, also curve. in Nitro Rallycross, there's much more dirt than we have in, yeah. in Rallycross Nordic or European European or style circuits, yeah. yeah. Although we do start the season with European we style do. circuits, we so we'll see, we'll see what happens right. there. We do. Yeah. We do. We do, we do, we do. Green flags. Is that where we watched yesterday? No, yeah. that's one of the other Marshall points, isn't it? I'm not sure. That was no, it. it must be. We we went and cr gate crashed a Marshall Point yesterday. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Awesome spot. It was. Awesome spot. It was good. It's just outside or inside turn eight, which is uh, after the the so downhill and, yeah. section. As they go over the jump on the right yeah. of drive drivers right. If is any a of you guys post. get a a chance to go there close to the track yeah, yeah, with the marshals. Not gonna lie, it's pretty hard. It, it is. If you, don't, you need yeah. to have the name of Backer <laughs> being the voice of RX or being Molly <laughs> with a smile. We are super nice to people as yeah. well, which helps you. Just be super nice, yeah. wave, smile. Yeah. yeah, the amount of race circuits I've got into without accreditation, I'm like, good morning, oh, oh off he goes. Contact on the outside, not ideal. All of a sudden, Ericsson. So Olofsson and Ericsson have got what they needed, haven't they? Now yeah. it's a case of, so where about, how far out is Oli? He's only two places out. He's on 64 points. Emil Persson is on 67. So he only needs a three point difference between Persson. Hockvist is on 68, Haug 68, Oskarsson 69. Very different lines there from uh, Simon Olofsson and Kevin Eriksson, uh, where Olofsson gave away a bit into the Veldrome turn six, but he, he catched a lot, uh, or he, he pulled away a lot in the exit there. He go a bit harder into the corners than Kevin, rotates a bit more, uh, motor driving great. Olofsson had, uh, had a win here. Yeah. He won three, all three qualifiers, t TQ semi and final win last year. Sorry, Nissan last year, round yeah. one. The, the oh, Oli did a mistake into the Joker. It's a bit wide. Still gets a very good exit, but uh, lost probably a second in the entrance. So it's not, not what he's pushing needs. hard. Should be enough. He's pushing hard. But Olofsson, the rest of the season was rough for him. Like he, made, he only made one more final, having had a clean sweep yeah. in the first event. Yeah. And that's pretty hard to take. So Simon Olofsson. He's not, be... he's not far away from here either. Um, no. So I, I'm not sure the name of it, uh, so I'm not going to. I'm it's not going to say. But it's isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Is he, that the he, one that Thomas Holman lives nearby as well? I do think so. Yes. Yeah. Very, very good uh, driver. Very good, but has some bad luck every now and then. Just, to, it's hard to keep the consistency. Isn't it, it is. I think it's, it, and it, especially, especially quick on a track like Holius, where you need commitment, where you need to have like a good feel with the car, which he does. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see if he can challenge Kevin Eriksson on the on the lap time here. His best lap time is 46.6, .6, which is very similar to, to Kevin. Closing down the gap a little bit on Olofsson now. 2.50 is uh, what he's aiming for. This is the last lights race, and I can already hear supercars. Yeah, cars. Me too. It, it, I felt the uh, shaking yeah. in the in the rig here. It's really so when so when you wear the headsets that we wear for commentary, really all you can hear oh, is, is each. It. It's going. Is he going to get oh, it? No, no. Nope. All you can really hear is each other and, and what's on the TV, isn't it? But the only thing that comes through be the headset is is anti lag. That's is. the one thing you can hear from the outside world. P2. 
on Simon Olofsson there. So oh, plus oh. 0.7, where's Ericsson slotted into? Oliver Ericsson. He had a 226.4, so P4, yeah, P3. So easily P3. enough. So P3. that's, that's going to drag him straight into the semis. So yeah. both the Ericssons are going to make the semis. There was a bit of banter going on between them yesterday. So they were joking. For, so watch this on the outside. This is Oliver Ericsson. Doesn't get as good a start as Simon Olofsson. Up towards the first corner. Oh, oh my goodness me. He yeah. was lucky not to get collected, I, wasn't he? I think they hit wheel to wheel and can turn. <laughs> Inside, it was like, yeah, it happens. neither of us has given up. Yeah. Oh, no, you just don't need it, do you? Yeah. You just don't need it. Look at this line here. I like the orange shirt. Oh, oh, almost a Markland, he's isn't it? He's pushing, he's pushing. Almost a Markland. Oh. He's, he's never afraid, is he? He will have, he'll have Liam's title of sending him yeah. Anderson with behavior like that. That was absolutely I'm, I'm going to put that W. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's W. I think we've thrown all the paperwork yeah, away. We just, but it's did, good but. anyway. It's fine. It's fine. So Olofsson with a 225.6. Ericsson, Peterson, and Edith Tornholt. And there's a bug running across the camera right now. Beautiful day at Holius. Me and Andreas will only be outside for 28 minutes in the whole of the I whole actually day. got a bit sunburned last did night. You? Yeah. You went yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah. Molly as well, she said. No danger of getting sunburned today or tomorrow, mate, is there? No, that's... We need an open-top studio. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Right, here we go. Belevski next to Granholm. Supercar. Granholm has won both sessions so far. Belevski, Evshin, Ekstrom and German. Has Ekstrom solved those start issues or not? It's a much better start by Matthias Ekstrom, but he's not going to get anywhere near Belevski. And Granholm on the inside manages to pop three into a P3. Evshin inside going to go Joker surely from where he is. It's Evian Granholm. Did right there. Yeah, gone straight yeah. in there. Granholm, Belevski and Ekstrom on the step lap. Evshin with a perfect decision to get in. A great exit as well. And in behind us, Evian is German. right there. Right there. So you think that's a good move? Yes. Let's see that gap then between. Uh, we know Ekstrom likes the car in the lap. He just didn't like it off the start. It yes. looks better. It doesn't look super dialed, but it looks no. better. But so far, no one's gone to Gronholm, have they? Now you look at that. Yeah. And Grace, cool. you were saying the Hyundai we know is a great car. 2019, yeah. potentially the best car, but that's a couple of years ago now. Yeah. It's never yeah, you, you can oh. also see, I, I said it earlier. Belevsky with oh. moves off, and Ekstrom goes up the inside of Belevsky. Belevsky has to get the position up to the 2016 world champion. Look at the gap now back from Ekstrom to Evgen, and it's not a lot. So Ekstrom's now got to get that hammer down, or otherwise he's going to get oh, overlapped by Evgen anyway. Long jump from Ekstrom, runs the car out deep and wide, swings the S1 back around to the other side. Let's so see if he can catch uh, Gronholm here now. He's got it. Let's he's got to get away from Let's Evgen. Base. So watching Evgen in the background, of course, he, if he catches Belevsky, it would be a problem. But Belevsky's quick enough. I don't think you yes. hold him up. And with only a three-lap qualifier, it yeah. changes that, that tactic. This is what Sonru wants. He, he's not trying to come in here and, and win the race. He, he want to gain experience, drive against the, the names of Gronholm, Ekstrom, Christofferson. Uh, he's right there. Ekstrom is killing Gronholm's yeah. lead here. He's carved it down to 0.6 of a second. The gap back to Evgen is 2.6. For the 3.5 where Niklas is 44.2. Two seconds now. Two seconds in between Ekstrom and Evgen in the background. Watch for Evgen over the jump. He should Evgen has it. Evgen has it. them both. Evgen gets in front of Gronholm. Whoa. He's won both sessions. Sondra Evgen with a brilliant joker decision on the first lap. Leads from the current TQ man, Niklas Gronholm. <laughs> I'm impressed with Team uh, Wachstead all over his side. All his local partners from Ghoul. Uh, he's a great character. Normally, you can find him on the Folk Race races with the Volkswagen Beetle from 1962 or whatever. Absolutely and now he's here with JC Race Technique. Yeah. Brilliant decision from oh, Sondra oh, what a jump. on the first there lap. There we go. Goes Joker, gonna come round, takes the check of Flaggy, beats Ooh. Gronholm and Ekstrom. That is a mighty win for <laughs> Sondra Evgen. Brilliant drive, Belevski drops to P4. How quick is that compared to the other sessions? It, it is fast. It's uh, fastest, it's, it's the fastest. It, no, no, it's not no, faster no, than Nick Blessing C1. Yeah. Yeah, but it's an awesome hit. Here we go. Talk us through this. I mean, uh, yeah, it was a very tight start there and Sondra did that perfect execution on the driving lines and like choosing the joker here immediately that's awesome um going alone then german follows i mean i know matthias is not happy with that start he, he was putting everything in there uh and he thought he had it dialed but obviously he needed more dialed oh he was so sideways over the crest there uh, uh, Evshin's decision he was he got that yes. perfect first lap joker there's a mistake uh, 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 there from Gronholm yes. where he's lost a bit of time look at this but, this but was extra up the much... inside of Belevski yeah. like, it, and it's, it's yet yeah, firm but it's definitely yeah. on yeah 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 I mean Belevski he still does some rookie mistakes in traffic uh, he's super quick and when he's alone 
European champion in Super 1600. Awesome did, driver. Did you see the way Ekstrom leapt on the throttle there? But yeah. he's got to, to make the point of the... Of the there's deep. that fast line in the hairpin, he's fine, but you don't do yeah. it when there's another car behind you. That it's the sort true. of thing you do when you're in clear area. Yeah. As he's run himself deep to get the rotation, but, Ekstrom's but, just but I was up surprised, the inside. I was surprised how much Niklas lost in that last lap. He did a 44.4, where uh, Matthias did a 43.6. Eight tenths. 217.7 for Sondra Evshen. I would say that is probably his best drive in supercar. Yeah, that certainly, was awesome. You know, certainly his biggest result, if you like, in qualifying yeah. in supercar. Absolutely fantastic Almost like a little drive. breakthrough. Beating yeah, definitely. Niklas and Matthias. That's me. He won. No. So he, Evshen won a session in Nissan last year. So he has won a qualifying session before. So is he going to win a... Is it, is, it, is it a round one special for him? Uh, we we're gonna we're gonna pop down to Molly quickly. Yeah, thanks, guys. I just put the question to Sandra. So Andrew Coley saying that this might be one of your best results in a qualifying with a supercar ever. You had that win in, in Nice of last year, I believe. But uh, does this one feel a bit better? Yeah, obviously we beat some pretty big guys, so it's really fun. But we have to see on the times. But I hope it's good. Let me see the hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get Molly to tell him uh, what the time was, but he, he doesn't know yet, Andreas, that he's no. only a tenth off F, F, FTQ, fastest time in qualifying. Right, let's get on to this next one. OC Vaby on the inside from Enzo Ida, Markland, Brinterson and Michelak. Michelak, as Andreas was saying earlier, has, uh, has suddenly found some extra pace over this last year. But he's up against it with Brinterson, Markland, Ida and Vaby. Yeah, it is. Markland's P3 despite those issues at the minute. He's P3 overall. He's struggling with the start. Baby with a brilliant start on the inside. Markland goes backwards again. So Baby going to get there. Ede is still inside Markland. Markland trying to go around the outside. And Brinderson inside in turn one. Baby decides to go straight to the Joker, which I think is a good move. Brinderson get a lead from Mitchlack on the standard lap, but that was messy. Br Br Brinderson lost a lot in turn two there. Uh, I, he did a great thing, fighting for your position, uh, but you know he, he probably lost a second. Uh, Baby is right there. He's. Uh, He's the pace setter. Good now. decision from Vaby, was to go after yeah. the contact. I and he Baby was lucky had that, that three drivers went to the Joker. Yeah, yeah. I, I you thought, need some some luck sometimes. You do, you know, yeah. It's they, radical. They've got him, they, they make, you have to make the decision yeah. here quite early. Yeah. Look now, uh, Brinson has been very fast the first lap and the second lap. I do think he has some issues with his turbo, with his base gate, where when it gets warm, it expands a bit and then he's losing the pressure. So that's what we saw earlier in the in Q2 where uh, Ekstrom overtook him on the outside in the battle drum. Mitchellak goes Joker. Everyone should get him. He might be close, but I think he should get him as well. So yeah. uh, regardless of it, yeah, I mean, the gap was he just He would have been tight with too much. So, so Brinderson, I reckon, yeah, Brinderson should get back out in front yeah. of uh, Mitchellak, but maybe is all over this. Maybe he's not really. used to having cars right in his mirror. So no. I think he's a bit stressed. Like he's, he wants to push, but it's so easy to overdrive these cars because they have too much horsepower. Uh, but yeah, he's still he's still inside a gap of uh, Brinson. Let's see the lap time. So Brinson does a uh, 43.6, which is the same time as uh, Matthias did, but uh, Baby does a 44.1. So Brinson is faster. He's pulling away. But does he have the gap? Oh, it's 2.2 at the time. I'll be very surprised if he gets out in front. He uh, does. And Baby and Markland both go. He's actually done yeah. well, I think, to get P3 the there ahead of was Zoe. really fast in his uh, second lap, like 43.6, the same speed as Matthias. So he lost that time, didn't yeah. he, in the start with the contact? Yeah. There's not a lot he can do about no. that. He's then nailed his second lap. So but Brinson's here, how much is he, he's losing on the exit? And that's the where you think everything's from. warmer later yes. in the race. Yes. I love that camera yeah. down yeah. the hill. I yeah, really do. So Baby then, after a bit of contact in the first quarter, made a good decision. To go, Joe. OC Baby coming around the time is 217.7. Oh, is he going to be near? Oh, he's going to be close. Oh, oh that was hard. He's it's faster. faster. Baby goes 217.730, well, so it's not quite as quick as Gronon went in Q1. But even with that that episode sort of in, turn, in the first couple of corners... I mean, it's three tenths. That's here's mega. Baby on the inside. So Baby's got an absolutely fantastic start look. You can see contact in the background for Markland. Yeah, Brinterson's outside. To be fair to Brinterson, yeah, and then uh, Brinderson, that's where he lost all yeah. the time, was changing his mind. Brinderson was going to go Joker, yeah. wasn't he? And then yeah. he got up the inside of Baby and was like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. You need to act quicker in Rallycross. So that's good from Baby, really good. Yeah. 
Interesting what he said earlier this weekend, it's hard to do rally, and I'm assuming he just means to find the next step, to find the budget to continue at that level, yes. you know, and he's coming across again to rally cross. Look at this down the hill. The dirt that flies up, cars flying up. Full send, final qualifying session. No of, holding uh, back there, Supercar, eh? <laughs> no, not at all. Big dings in the door from Princeton. Vaby fastest at the minute from Evsian. So Evsian not going to win this session. 217.7, Markland, Princeton, Enzoid and Michelac. Pulling this down, that is fastest so far by three tenths, I believe. Very good drive from you. Yeah, I, um, I had a good run. I. I've been trying to change my driving a little bit uh, over the over the day, and uh, I think I did some small steps now in the, in the right direction. But um, anyway, it's it's really enjoyable. I'm just enjoying, and um, yeah, hopefully a good position on this one, and we'll be will be quite uh, quite good to the um, into the semifinals. Thank you. Thank you. That so was you, you've seen a difference in his driving between the two sessions. Yeah, but still, he's he's still driving on like 92%. He's not pushing it too much, you know. Uh, I, I went over to see him after Q2 just to have a chat, and he he felt the same thing. Like he um, he wants a bit more, a bit more. And but I think that's natural, you know. Supercars it takes a while to get used to. Hedstrom, Austrian, Carlson, Franks, and Nils Anderson on the outside. Remember, Franks is in the RX2 E car. Great start from Anderson. Anderson going to try, surely, but he's going to he'll give people a bit of space. He's had a rotten morning, Anderson has, but not so bad this time. And then Carlson oh, looks up to spin in front. Come on, Nils, find a way through. Victor Frank's right with him. The RX2E car, he's quick, it's isn't fast. he? It really is. Look, it is. What did you say the difference was? 60, seven, yeah. seven tenths? Yeah, seven tenths on a single lap time. But struggling out from the, from the box. Our string going joker on the first lap is is pretty good. It's interesting it's struggling out of the box because the the thing about electric is instant torque. So yeah. why does he struggle out of the box? Because it's not as much horsepower. He doesn't have enough horsepower. And right. The weight. I, I'm not sure about the weight, but I think the car is a bit heavy. So if you had so the, the 800 odd horsepower of the FC1, you get the instant power and yeah. the wheel spin away from the yeah. line. Yeah. So then it's going to be it's going to be really interesting to see how people manage that start when that you have. True. Too much. So what you're talking about with Vaby a minute ago, you were saying he wasn't trying hard enough, but you're also saying it's really hard to overdrive. Uh, How it's, do you balance that, mate? What's, <laughs> it's it, really easy the, to overdrive. Yeah, sorry, really uh, easy to overdrive. Because you have too much horsepower compared with what the tires can take. So you know? how are you balancing what, oh, what you were so saying hard. about it Vaby? Takes time. Want, he wants to go faster, yeah. but at what point does he overdrive? Yeah. Like where, how big is that window? Right now he's underdriving it a bit. He's coming into the corner a bit too smooth, and he's always a bit too late on the rotation. And uh, there he, he's losing a bit, a few tenths here and there. So lap time-wise, was not great, but his uh, consistency was the key why he's leading the Q3. Right. Okay. Yeah. And is that you think that's him adapting from rally to rally cross? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It takes time. Yeah, massively. Hedstrom has just done. Uh, sorry, Carl Carlson's just done a couple of good laps in the background here, which is for 3.9. That's, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. But Hedstrom takes the joker. And th this is a car they build at, home, uh, at yeah. their home shop, you know. We don't, off, don't see so many good results. I think it was Carlson that had the fire here. Yeah, um, he had a lot of issues last yeah. year. Awesome driver, the spectacular driving style. Hard, but fair. It's cool. Up then towards the jump over the crest. He Hedstrom now. as well lives yeah. just an hour away from here. Um, Peter Hedstrom takes the checkered flag. Does he go fastest? No, he doesn't, according to this 219.2. Still quick. He is up to P7. Victor Franks in the RX2 E car. Yeah. How old is he? 16 years old. And he yeah. had my start number. That's brave. Yeah. 13. Everybody wants your start number, yeah. mate. What was it you said? What is 13 in, in uh, Latin? It? Yeah. You should fear the number 13, as yeah. in you should fear it. Not so why like did why did you choose it, apart from the fact it makes a very nice B for your logo? <laughs> B <laughs> for backroot, B for Bergen where I live, B for blue because of my color, so, uh, and many was, reasons. So so the B and the 13, yeah. yeah. And you so you, you don't fear the 13, you like the 13? No, I like it. You but I want it. everybody else to fear it, okay. yes. So when you have 13, you, you should go up inside, like, even though there isn't a gap, you should at least give should a have a look. nudge. You should yeah. always have a look. Yes. So, fear Victor, you need to give some nudges here. Fear the 13. Yes, man. Fear the 13. 
Impressive stuff from Victor Ranks 16 in that electric car. I was wrong. Peter is up in P5 ahead of Matthias Ekstrom and Thomas Brinson. That's a good run. I'd it say he, he did a couple of purple sectors yeah. before Carlson did. Yeah. So Carlson kind of took that afterwards. But at the minute, who's leading? Uh, maybe Evgen Gronholm. It's actually fun to see uh, the changes they've done to the Hyundai, uh, yes. where Oliver, Oliver has been testing the car. Uh, yeah, a lot softer, <laughs> Solberg style. Let's see now. Gron Gronholm's TQ. Just yeah. Gronholm takes the TQ, so none of these guys can get to him. So Nicholas yeah. Gronholm with P3 in this session. If he gets P4, even if, if even Johan? if he gets beaten, yeah, uh, he, he will. He's still. Ah, uh, Johan. Where's Johan? Johan yeah, is. Johan is not. Uh, no, he's too far down he's too far the end. He's 12th. Yeah. He had a broken steering arm. Yes, he did. I save you there. So Johan, you see, mate. So Johan lined really up all the way to the right. Is he that needs, to avoid the rubber for the traction? Yes, he needs to beat. Östlund and uh, Torren off the start. Oh, jump start by jump Linus. Start, yeah. Oh, it's the second one. Oh, it is the second one. Is he that getting it. on the clutch too early and it overheating? Or yeah, is it it's, just... the thing is, if you preload too hard, the clutch will be warm and then start to, to creep. catch, yeah. creep. Uh, and that what what it looked like now. So t talk us through a start procedure. I know they're all different right, in each so car, but roughly. Often with the Allspurs MSC Ford Fiesta, which I drove in 14, 15, uh, you put the clutch in, bump, bump, second gear, hit the launch controller, revs it up to... You, you have your uh, adjustment there with RPM and boost. Uh, you, you hit that, dial that in, press the uh, launch button at the ready to race uh, light, go on gas approximately one and a half seconds after that yellow turn is on, <laughs> yellow light is on. Uh, and then when the ready to race go off, you wait for about one second, then you start preloading. And inside the next, from zero to three seconds, the start will yeah, be. Yeah, because it's two, isn't it two? I, to, I don't know. It's, it's either two <laughs> to five or... I've done it so like, many times, I, I don't know yeah, the Yeah, but there's, there's, there's a regulation. So basically, yeah. it won't go green inside yeah. two seconds, but, will but it? The, the thing, earliest but it will the go green is, is two. You, but you would like to stay consistent. Obviously, I think Linus now preloaded too much. You, you need to feel the preload in your bone marrow, you know? Yeah, so if it starts to creep, you can yeah. dip the clutch slightly more. Yes, but then it's already the warm. It's overheated, then so it's, it's already warm, yeah. so you need to go quite a lot in. So Christopherson then in slot number three, he really needs to win this start. austlin has got a double joker to do. Torren, uh, well, there we go. And Austin yeah. this time box, so this time with the warm clutch doesn't get it away from the line. We'll talk about that in a I second. I think this is going to be fast. Christopherson gets out in front. Yeah, I'm thinking exactly the same yeah. thing. Look at the oh. line into turn one. There's yeah. a lot of dirt gone out now behind, yeah. which might affect his lap times, but yeah. what's your money on then? I reckon, uh, I reckon he'll win the session. I, I, I do too. Niklas had some... He, he slowed down a lot in the last lap there, and uh, I think Baby and uh, Evian, they didn't have like the perfect lap times which we will see now every lap of Johan, he will fly. He's pushing His hard. consistency is yeah. unreal, isn't yeah. it? But also his push laps are really, really good. So he's, his top speed, nobody yes, can Yesterday in free practice in the dry session, Johan was like P3 or something, yeah. wasn't he? And then in the wet session, he was P1. He's so good in the wet. He did 45.9 <laughs> in the A little first bit lap. deep in turn one there, just yeah. missed the apex by a tiny, tiny bit, but we, we are talking tiny, yeah. tiny margins. Ostland, you can see, has got two jokers to do. He's not leading, don't worry. Um, so he's in P4. Oh, so big cut there. Oh, wow, mate, look at the lap time. Yeah. yeah. Purple sectors. All over. So Johan... Go, smoking the tyres a bit there. Yeah. They've done, done a huge improvement on this car over the winter, and uh, they, it looks like they've been nailing the starts a bit more than previous years. Also, the chassis looks way more balanced. So, uh, so Johan said to me yesterday, when we... I know we talked about this in the car on the way back. See there, clip the kerb in entrance, hit yeah. the kerb in exit, straight car. The, the engine's moved. There's yeah. a new manifold that moves the turbo down. He the wing mirrors weigh 83.3 yeah, grams. It. Look, at, look at the line, the steering input through there. Yeah. Uh, they've changed the geometry slightly, Perfect. which makes the window a, a little bit exit. bigger. Yeah, but look Good. at it. Yeah, it's it's, just, it's cool, just killing. And I yeah. love it in black. It's like yeah. sort of Darth Vader style. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's just great. The drone. P1 on the car, the most wins in the World Rallycross Championship, the most titles in the World Rallycross Championship, the current Rally X champion, Johan Christofferson, has had a tricky day. Is he about to take FTD? Fastest yeah. time of the day, 217.7. Yeah, with the margin. Yeah, he's, a, he's about to lay down a big old marker. There's a one on the side of the car for a reason. Destroys the fastest time of the weekend by some two and a half seconds. 
214.505. Prior to that, it was a 217.6. So it's actually 3.1 seconds quicker than anyone has gone all weekend. And that That's is why he's arguably the best rallycross driver in the world at the moment. He really is. Now, I'm sitting next to one of the best rallycross drivers in the world, but he's a hard man to beat, isn't he? He is. He is. Uh, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, he is a perfect driver. Like, doing a 214.5 like uh, his quick, quickest lap time is 43.5 but his joker lap 45.2 is that the difference oh that's a big difference because yeah. the joker's so perfect yeah, yeah. That, that the, joker i love the steer really, i wonder really if we might see it talk, yeah. just talk us through johan i mean like the start is good uh, he's not the best of reaction time he's a long guy you know it takes a while from the brain uh, read the, the green light until it's in his foot uh, but he's a very good at uh, executing the start so slipping the clutch perfectly and, and so on here you see he's hitting all the marks perfectly in the last turn here he cuts the curb in the entrance like I told you yesterday rotate the car he stays on the curb in the exit it's, it's mega yeah it's, it's, good. it's really Respect. it's really very very good yeah uh, we've, we've got a result for you here. Johan Christophson, 214.5. Like a minute ago, oh, he's a tenth off. Yeah. And now Johan goes three seconds faster. Yeah. Three seconds. It's I think the only one that has been close to his lap times here is Matthias. Yeah. Um, Matthias has been fast, but he didn't nail the start, so he's been in traffic all the, all the way through. Brilliant job by Johan. We're going to go and have a chat with Molly. Johan, it's uh, of course never optimal to get a DNF, but what a way to come back. You just smashed the time three seconds faster than anyone else all day. What a commitment. Yeah, that was good. I mean, I had a good run and of course you also gain a little bit of time when you are so free in the first corner and can take my own line uh, through T1 in the, in the start lap. But from there on, I was not sure because it was quite a lot of gravel in turn two uh, on my second lap. And with so short laps, when he, you can't really afford any mistakes, but uh, I was trying to be neat, tidy, not push too hard, but still make a good time. So uh, yeah, it was good, but still we have some... I'm a little bit afraid when the car is breaking down, you're always a little bit afraid of pushing maximum the next heat, but uh, I think I will have to push maximum uh, for the rest of the day if I want to spray some champagne. So yeah, Johan saying I'm going to have to push maximum if I want to spray some champagne, Andreas. Like that's uh, it's it's uh, I don't know where it'll After actually be. After my calculations, it's Niklas Grönlund, Sandra Evian, and I do believe. Uh, you think he might have been up to P3? Yes. So that's see him on the front row at least. Yeah. Oh, mind you, how many semis are there? It, it depends. Well, it, it uh, it's going to be very close with Weber there. Um, it, if there are three semis and he's P3, then he'll be pole in semi-final number three. So it, it goes, I think he's fourth actually. You think he's fourth? Yeah, so fourth. he'd be outside then in semi one, I think. Yeah. To be honest, I as a rookie here in Arx Nordic and as a presenter together with <laughs> Andre Coley, I didn't do the groundwork with. Uh, I didn't read. Uh, Don't worry, mate. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 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 but it's fun though. Uh, it's cool to watch Are you here. It, mate? <laughs> yeah, I am. You, I am. Honestly, it's, it's kind of hard though. Like Look, uh, you know, sometimes I want to say something, but it's I know the Norwegian word, and I'm like, uh, that, yeah, that just shows <laughs> yeah. if you're doing it in, a, in your second yeah. language, he's absolutely brilliant. But he's, it's pretty he's warm doing in a great here. job. He's doing, the, it, we have he's doing a great job. Great lights here and. Hey, isn't he doing a great job? Um, thanks, mate. Good fun. It's been fun. It's yeah, been good fun. fun. We've got a whole other day of it. Oh, don't we? And we've got the semis in the final. Yeah. I'm tired. Are you tired? <laughs> no, yeah. 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 In my head. He just keeps... He just There's my buddy. Keeps, keeps and chugging monsters. Yeah. Right, we'll leave you with this for a minute while we figure out what's happening and uh, we'll be back soon.
So we've got a confirmation of our qualifying results for you. Just had to have a little pause to get those in. And Andreas backwards, maths is impeccable. Gronholm takes the first TQ of the year from Sondra Evshen and Ola Christian Vaby. Christofferson, Markland, Ekstrom. That is a hell of a list of names. Brinterson, Hedstrom, Belevsky, Eid, German, Carlson, Mitchell, Ostring, Victor Vlanks is P15 in that RX2 E car. We might be able to see the second page. I'm not sure we can. Ostland, Nils Anderson and Daniel Toren make it. Unfortunately, Frank Valla and Tom Andre Sutton and are not going to be in the semi-finals. Three semi-finals, two cars through from each. Uh, we are going to sign off from Q3. It will not be very long before we are back for the semi-finals and the finals. We're going to get a tea or maybe a monster energy for Andreas. Oh, yeah. And uh, we, will, we will catch up with you very shortly. Thanks for joining us, guys. Semi-finals coming up soon.
Rally X is brought to you by Cooper Tires, Olsbergs, and Thorns and Keen. We are approaching the final stages of the first round of Rally X 2022. Had an epic day so far here at Hollius. It, uh, it rained last night, but we've had sunshine and cloud all day today. Dry conditions. Uh, the tracks got faster and faster as the day goes on. Oh, here we are. Look, uh, Andreas is just looking. <laughs> uh, that, that's my fault. That's actually I, your fault. <laughs> I, did, I handed him uh, a, a crash that we saw on Instagram. There you go. That's real life for you. Uh, I've got a tea. Uh, I'm, I'm good to go. You had some monster? Uh, no, but I have my brand new, very fast sunglasses. <laughs> here we go. Actually, someone's won a pair, a pair haven't they? Yeah, I think so. We had so. a competition to guess uh, who my co commentator was. And it is, of course, uh, Andreas Bach. Although we have had some other co-commentators in it, including Lowry Hallen and the TQ man from cool Cross guy. Car Junior. Uh, lovely kid who's taken his first top qualifier against a huge field and a class field as well. Look, Anderson, Yulalami, Solly, who uh, looks like he might have a supercar test lined up thanks to Matthias Ekstrom, <laughs> who was also in here. Um, but yeah, right the way down to P18. So we've got three semi-finals coming up with six cars in each. The top two from each car will go through. Let's take a look at semi-final number one. So we'll get down to the grid and you'll see who's sitting down there in a moment. That is uh, the famous Hollius. And there is the lineup for that first one. On the pole, the top qualifier, number 57, Lowry Hallinan. Uh, brilliant job by Lowry, it really is. We have uh, Solly there in second. Yeah, on row one. Eric Nilsson inside on row two. Yep. Dennis Vick outside. We had him here in the studio. Yeah, Nord Beckenstein. So Marshalls are off the line already, barely giving us any time to have a look, but it's all good. So it's Hallinan versus Solly on the run to the first corner. Great start by Hallinan. Look at the reaction time on that. He's destroyed them off the start. And wow. Unfortunately, Oliver Solly has gone backwards at the start line. Hallinan said he was nervous because he said, look, everybody he, he is really fast. But I tell you what, that's the perfect start as when you're the top qualifier, isn't it? It, it is. Uh, Solly up to P2. Uh, was a hard start. No, no, he's down to third. I'm sorry. That's no, it's all good. It's all good. He's in tight in there. there are lots of white cars. It shouldn't yeah. be allowed, should it? No, no, you, no. You, you all have to have a different colour car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Andreas is, is learning the misery of cars <laughs> that look the same, numbers that look the same, names that sound the same. It's not easy. I can tell you that. No, <laughs> thanks, mate. I, <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm Especially sure. like for us, cross cut isn't like the natural thing we watch this every time. No. Like uh, the thing is, the cool thing here in the Rally Cross Nordic is that you have the divisions such as cross cart. We are are you familiar with Supka lights and Supka? Yes, car. you can do that standing uh, on your head, can't yeah. you? You know the drivers, you recognise. The first event's always tricky when you don't recognise the liveries. But yeah. what about Hallen? And like he said, he'd been driving on the ice. We know he'd done some rally driving as well. Yeah. Um, but he's he's absolutely killing it. Top two here goes through to the final, so it's it's that second position is very very crucial. Hallen and now has already built up a gap to to Nilsson on 1.1 seconds, and it looks like it's. Increasing. So your Dennis Vick was in here earlier, wasn't he? Yeah, Dennis Vick and Solly. So I'm looking at Dennis now, who's Joe could look in the in the 190. He is the threat to Nilsson. So we want to have a look at the gap between. So if, you, if you're new to Rallycross, they joke at once. Qualifying was three laps, semi-finals are four, the finals are five. They joke at once in each race. Every driver has to. So Vick, you can see from the green light on the graphics has joked already. He wants P2 because that goes through to the final. So look, the gap to Nilsson is 2.0. Back to Vick, it's only 4.6. Oh, Hallinan goes to the Joker now. Yeah, so Hallinan's gone in. That's a sensible decision because he's got enough of a gap already to cover off everyone. But has Nilsson gone in with him? No. So Nilsson has chosen but to Soli, stay out. Solly went to, to the Joker, uh, Oliver there. Uh, so no, it's all on him to him and Vick to, to beat uh, Nilsson. 
So is Veek in front of Solly? I think Veek he is. Veek is in front of Solly. Yeah. yeah. So so Veek so that so Veek is the danger man now for. Oh, was problem coming down the hill? Helen has just driven straight past. So yeah. Oh, Nilsson's got to go. Slow bit of contact in behind. No, that's the P2 car. The P2 car getting held up in a yeah. slow corner through the right hander at the bottom of the hill. Poor old Nilsson. Eric Nilsson in the number 34 buggy has got some sort of a tech issue which has slowed him down. You can see it's not completely dead, but yeah. Stuck in gear, probably. Hallinan out front by a mile. So, so who, who's in P2 now? Is it? it I think it's going to be V because uh, Norback yeah. and Nilsson have to joke at this lap. They've both gone in now, so, so Vick Vick. should come through. And that's going to so he's been dropped down. Was it? It was Vick that had the contact. Yeah, I but think. He, he will be third now. Yeah. So it's all uh, all in the two friends, Vick and Solly, fighting about the second place here now. He have, I would say, one opportunity into the last turn now. He, the uh, Solly got a, a worse exit from the from the velodrome now, but uh, getting down the hill, Hallinan, get a the opportunity. top qualifier coming yeah. through semi-final number one, an utterly dominant victory for Lowry Hallen and books his place in the final. That is the driver, the TQ man. P2 going to go to Vik. And he beats his friend Oli Solly, though both those uh, drivers, as Andreas said, were in the commentary box earlier. But it is Dennis Veek who goes through to the final with Lowry Hallinan. I I'm impressed with Hallinan. So uh, yeah, mature me driving, like the start perfectly executed, driving four solid laps. I mean, consistent. He did yeah, a 49.3, yeah. the others are doing 49.5, it's, uh, it's uh, Oliver Solly. Yeah, good job, good job. This was the start. Again, he missed the start, Oliver. Uh, I guess, you know, I've been speaking with Matthias Ekström about driving a supercar uh, yeah, already okay. tomorrow evening. It's a bit of a distraction, <laughs> In the age of it? 11 years old, <laughs> it's, you know, next time we'll wait after the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th so this was the contact. So look, in the background, oh. it was, I think it's Nordbeck. Yeah. It was Nordbeck who got caught up in that. So the, the white car, number 34, was Eric Nilsson, and it's Isaac Nordbeck in the 3-3-1. Yeah. So Nordbeck was maybe in a better position than we thought, but I still think it was Veek who was in the box seat to go through anyway. Yeah. Hallen and look, chucks the car over the line, looking a little more relaxed, but he, he'll know now, won't he? I'm just trying to see this. What did Hallen get last year? He got a P3, a P3 at Neeson in round one. After that, he was fifth, fourth, sixth, sixth, fifth, fifth. So hallinan has been there or thereabouts. Last year, there were 21 drivers in the championship all year. Yeah. But it, but there was only nine permanent drivers. We've got 29 drivers here today. Yeah. So it's a big step Crazy. for Hallinan. So we have Lucas Anderson here in pole. Uh, he finished third, second, and fifth uh, throughout the qualifying. And he was last year's champion. So the yeah. 99 car is last year's champion. Two wins three seconds and a third here at Hollius. So he'll be looking yeah. to do a little bit better. Alongside is the 134, which Carl is... Carl Pedro yeah. which is underneath uh, even management. Like, they ah. have a big, big uh, kind of like you push for him and a few other drivers. They're doing sim racing. They are doing cross carts. They've been testing with uh, Ole Christian Weber in rallying and also Johan Christoffersen. They're doing tons of different stuff. Uh, so yeah, a big talent from Norway and uh, we will see more of him in the future yeah. as well. Joachim Lundelander, Isaac Hattenmar, Peterson and Suono on the back rows. So we've got a couple of Latvians, three Swedes and a Finn in this one. I really think you've got to keep your eye on row one. Do look out for Lunderlander and Hattenmar on row two. It's, it's a big ask to come from the back of the grid. Remember, there's a lot of difference in, in the speed of these drivers in the front to the back because they come from the top 18. Last year's champion, Lucas Anderson, on the pole, will want to make sure he's up on awesome. the front. Oh, Everyone the start. Yeah, except for Anderson. Yeah. So similar to Hallinan, gets away now. That's going to see him into turn one nicely in the lead. And it's Alexis Suono who ends up in P2. So I said it would be hard to come from row three and Alexis Suono has done it immediately. So straight from the back row into P2, but he's got to find pace that he maybe hasn't had all day, Andreas. Yeah, that's true. And also we have Carl Peter, which started second, bugged in the start, he's uh, down to P3. You know, that P2 is so crucial to get through to the final. Oh, we have a lock up here. It looks like he, he had uh, the gas was uh, total stock total open. Stock up and, uh, he tried to brake, he just locked the front wheels and the car didn't on. stop. Yeah. Yeah. That, to be fair, if yeah. you want it anywhere, that's a good yeah. corner yeah. because he was up and he managed to get at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. Not, not yeah. what you want. Although, to be honest, most of them seem to take that right-hander at the bottom of the hill flat yeah. out anyway. So I'm Anderson sure it would have been super wide line. in turn one. We have an overtake here. Carl Pedro Nostan is up to second. Uh, 
Oh. Side by side in turn one, look. That's they cool. give each other so Room. much respect. Respect, yeah, I like that. And straight to the Joker yeah. on the outside, good move. So I think, is that Suona who's gone to the Joker? I think it is. Yeah. In the 95, yeah, a bit too much I think the in the Joker. is a bit wrong. Uh, we have had... You think some people joking on the first lap? Yes, they did. Okay, well, either well, way, Anderson out front, the reigning champion. Say, Lucas Anderson last year, two wins, three seconds and a third. But he only got a third here at Hollis, a third and a fourth. So I think this is somewhere that he'll want to be getting better results. How are his lap times compared to Hallinan? Do you remember what Hallinan was doing? I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't. So, 324, yeah, totally. We're only 49.1. I think that's, I think they did 48 something. Okay. Yeah. So maybe Hallinan has that extra bit of pace. Anderson's nice and sideways. Yeah. Real He's centered driving really style. Hard. Yeah. Get some good line here into turn, uh, turn four, three, four. Andres, he, he, from qualifying through to semis and then the final, it's a different lap count in every race. Yeah. It's, it's confusing enough when you go from four to six laps. It is. And I've but always stayed with qualifying, there's four laps, semi-finals, final six. Yeah, so, so it's easy, for me to do it? three and four <laughs> and then five in the final, it's, it's, yeah, it's hard. Although we are trying to get hold of a, yeah. we want to try and get hold of a touring car, a rear-wheel drive Silic car yeah. from Andreas Bakkerud <laughs> in, uh, in, in Kuvala in yeah. two weeks' time. Can you do yeah. that? Yeah, I yeah. think I can. I okay, think I can. so we get, so if anybody's got a two litre, a good, it's got to yeah. be good, it's got to be capable yeah. of winning. He wants to go in the open two wheel drive class. Yeah, against Tiger, uh, against Jonas Tiger, Stals, yeah. Jakobsen, and so Orgedal. If you can but we had no stun jokering the previous lap. I'm not sure if Olander have jokered or not. Let's see now. Well, either way, Anderson is, uh, is coming out front. Ahead. So yeah. Anderson is clear with a joker. So we want an open two-wheel drive car, please. Oh, for, uh, did he for clip the curb there? He did. Uh, did uh, and he clipped it, though. Didn't knock it down, did he? You think that'll be OK? I think that would be all right. Oof. We have Calpero now in um, Norstan in second. He will get through to the, to the final, it looks like. So Lucas Anderson, last year's champion, blasts down the hill in the 99 car. He's on the limiter, a little lift, now a big lift off over the jump. He's going to get on the brakes and pitch the car into the oh, last corner. Send it. Yeah, with the nicely handbrake. done. Yes, man. So gets it turned in and he goes straight through. Who's going to get P2 in the background as they come oh, over the line? Dude. Very, very close together. It goes Nordstrand. to Carl Peder Nordstrand. So Carl Peder Nordstrand in the speed car, Wanda goes through. 4.6 second gap, that's a lot. It is a lot. 322.5. Yeah, he's, a, he's quicker. He's quicker. So Hallinan was a 3.24.0. You see the last lap, or best lap for the 8.7. I think that's matching. So Hallinan. Anderson, Anderson could be, is definitely a threat then. I mean, we'd expect that. Yeah. Who was the Carl Pedder Nordstrand went through in P2? Yeah. yeah. So many of them bugged in the start. Very hard. Uh, you know, they are young, 12 years old. Yeah, Never. I mean, it's, this is the place to bog 13, in the start, 14, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going to bog in the start, you do it when you're 12, it's fine. Don't do it, you know, when you're fighting for a, a championship. It's just not what you need. Yeah. Not what you need. Great drive then by the, uh, the current champion, Lucas Anderson. Where was Lucas? Lucas was P5 two years ago in 2020 with two P3s. I say last year, much better results. He did start last year with a double win in Neeson. So I'm sure if you look at that, look at that. That's cool, right? Yes. Glass. Get it. I think he's driving for JC Race Technique as well. They have four cards here this weekend. Big team in Crosscard. Putting a lot of time and effort into young talents. Yo, Christopherson's all over that, isn't he? Yeah. He's really good with that kind of thing, yo. He cover all classes, I, I would say. So that's showing Carl Petter Nordstrand in P6. So was he given a penalty? Or is the result not correct? We need to we need, we need to get a check on that, but we can't see. Hmm. Yeah, we have Patterson here after. It looked like uh, his throttle was uh, hanging. Um, is that the correct way to say it in English? Uh, where the throttle stays on. Yeah. Uh, throttle. You could say your throttle's stuck. Stuck. Stuck throttle open. Stuck yeah, so open. your throttle's stuck open yeah. or your throttle jammed. Uh, it yeah. happened the same with me at Pike's Peak. Luckily, oh, there's mate. three corners no, with no, a fence, no. and I hit one of them. So oh, my goodness Otherwise, me. I wouldn't be landing yet. You know? no. <laughs> it's <laughs> a going. long way yeah, down. It's a long way down. Here we go. Nah, he, he does get P2. Yeah. That's good. Okay, so Lucas Anderson, but with the fastest time, look, 322.5. fast. And it's Carl Bedder Nordstrand who goes through from P2. So this is our last semi final for Crosscar Junior. Take a look at the lineup on the grid in just a moment. 
they're down. They're all revving their engines, aren't they? They're just so stressed out. Yeah. Which I do understand. We've got Eulinson Eulalami in the red and yellow on pole. Alongside is Michael Uito, the two Finns for the front row. There's Rasmus Persson, Tino Niemi in the, the background. Then Yoni Turpinen and Emil Nyssen on the back row. Three Finns in this, four Finns in this. Remember, we're going to Finland in a fortnight's time to the wonderful Kubala circuit for round uh, three and four of Rally X. Can Yulalami get a good start? Everybody has bogged on that P2 grid position so far. Is Uitu going to get enough revs to get away or is the grip level there too high? He does. Uitu finally gets a good start, gets a better start than Yulalami. Going to move across and shut the door on him. Yulalami slots into P2. The top two go through. Remember, one, three, nine in the background. Tino Niemi, great move. But I would have gone Joker from there, Andreas, yeah, in P3 because that was but, a brilliant start. But at the same time, you know, you, it's hard to say, like, uh, Emil Nessen, he, he was P18, you know, after yes. uh, the qualifying heat. You would be going behind him if you if you joker, so it's always a bit of risk, like, yes, it, 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 calculation. It, 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 the, like, like he's, he probably have a great speed, but... When you, when you only have two, it's, it's, it, we should explain to the people at home, yeah. when, when you only have two semi-finals, you've yeah. got the top 12. So yeah. the difference between P1 and P12 yeah. is significant, yeah. but it's not massive. When yeah. you've got three semis and you've got 18 drivers, each row is basically two from the top six, two from the next six, and two from the next six. Yeah. So you've got a couple of guys who are almost on the pace of TQ, yeah. and you've got a couple of guys who are who are not, you know, who are yeah. learning, who are a bit further down. And that makes the yeah. tactics much yes. harder. It's a bit like ending up in a in a bad heat race because you've had a puncture. Ililami had a fifth, eighth, and a second, where Emil had 14, 20, and 17. Like, you know, you, yeah. Yeah. Tactics. Exactly. So Person is into P3 having jokered. So Person is now after, uh, after Ililami's position. You can see there. So the gap, it's about the gap now between these two. Yulalami and P2 in the red and yellow is the gap between Yulalami and Person in the 21 car, which is coming down to the bottom of the hill now. So we'll check it on the timing screens. There's two laps to go. If the gap's big enough, I think you'd probably go now, but they don't have spotters, remember. No, so that's true. What I do forgot you do? about that. Yeah. Like, it's quite it, tough, isn't it, really? If, if you're second and you feel the, the pace yes. is high, uh, yeah, here we go. So the Yulalami has to hold on to this position if he wants to go her. through. Nice done. A bit done. wide in the exit there, but Ooh, nice to go. A little bit sideways. You can see how small he is yeah. in the car. He's probably these. How, these things are so physical. You've yeah. driven them. I've yeah, driven yeah, them in yeah. the UK. I drove They're them on so the ice. They're so physical. Crazy did you? cool. Yeah, yeah. crazy cool. Did Very try, cold on my hands. Did you try Bowden's one in the, in, in Saudi uh, Arabia or not? I was gonna, but he broke the engine. Oh, mate. <laughs> what were you driving out in Saudi? I was driving the Skoda Super uh, Super uh, Supercar from ES Motorsport. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was about get, to say Super Six Hundred. Did you get to drive the Hunicorn? Uh, I was a passenger. Okay, <laughs> so you still have a Which was the awesome. Ken Bloss Hunicorn. If you haven't seen it, search it up on YouTube. It's a it's a beast. Let's see here. Uito coming into the Joker on the final lap. We saw Yulalami's Joker was nice, but to be fair, Uitu had a little margin, I'd say, of a second or so. Yeah, yeah really on top of that car. Clean, clean. So the front row both got good starts in this one. It was uh, in the first semi-final, it was Hallen and the TQ man to go through with Dennis Veek. Dennis Veek went through from row two. Second semi-final, it was Anderson and Nordstrand who were the front row. And in this one at the minute, it's looking like Uito and Yulalami, although they're going through in the opposite way round. So Last the, lap. Yeah, this is the first time that the pole man hasn't won their semi-final in junior cross car. But that's OK, Yulalami's still going to go through. So Yulalami will go through in P2. But the winner of semi-final number three is Michael Uito. 323.5, how good's that? Yes, no, yeah, yes, it's, quick. It's very close semifinal to... Uh, Semi-final two, Anderson 322. Five, 323. It's faster than but I'm not sure if Hallonen went a bit slower in the last lap there. Uh, yeah, without lap, the pressure. Yeah. Guito's lap times are 49.3, which is half a second slower than... Um, Anderson? Is it, yeah, Lucas Anderson. Yes. So Lucas Anderson, the quickest of the three semi-final yes. winners, the current champion, yeah. kind of what we'd expect. Yeah. Uito beating Yulalami, but Yulalami going through. So of the top six qualifiers, five of them have gone through, yeah. including the TQ man. It's, it's only Dennis Veek who's come from row two. 
who, uh, who was, I say, was up here in commentary with us. And it's fact, it's only Oli, Oli Solly, Oliver yeah. Solly, who's missed out. Yeah. But if he gets a but supercar test all the on pressure, Sunday, he's, I, I, got, he's not going to care about I not mean, making the final, is he? I mean, yeah. I want a supercar test, and I've never made a 11 black years one. old. <laughs> all the pressure. And the guys, uh, the, first of all, like, the rev limiter for yeah. like 15 oh, no. seconds in yeah. the start. I feel sorry for the clutch yeah. and the engine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. if, if you were the dad, that's what yeah. you gently say it. Son, daughter, could you maybe don't go on the throttle until the marshal <laughs> leaves the grid. Yeah. Like, you, don't, you don't have to rev the engine. You, you, you can't do that in a supercar. No, your your you uh, turbo would uh, melt. Yeah, yeah, cooked. Cooked Cooks. turbos. All right. So. Uito from Yulalami, Person, Niemi, Turpine, and, and Nason is the results from that one. Okay, what else have we got on here? We've we, got... Uh, we've got cross carts. Patrick O'Donovan sending me pictures of his supercar. That's cool. Uh, I wondered if he might be watching, but apparently he's too busy racing down in uh, Pembrey where the British Rally Cross Championship's going on this weekend. Uh, Driving the World official. They are watching... Uh, oh, they're getting their Yaris ready for an auto test tomorrow, and they're watching the racing. That's cool. On to cross car. Svensson. Had a, Elias Svensson, yeah. Osterberg, Person, Val, Rajula, and Anderson. So Svensson, Osterberg on the front row. That's where this really is all about if they both get away well. Osterberg's got an absolutely mega start, yeah. but Svensson too. That car is absolutely lit off the line. Osterberg going to shut the door surely on P2. Won't go Joker, will he? Oh, I don't know if I'd have gone Joker on no, that one. No, I'm not sure. I'm not really when, sure. When you don't know how quick the rest of the field is, that yeah, that's could thing. work, it, it's it, a bit it of a is, risk. It is so far because three, three drivers got to the Joker together, so... And he's right there. He's right there. So right now it looks like a great move. Let's see if Anderson will slow him down. And my good friend uh, Andreas Persson here as well. Um, so we've got uh, in cross car the winners of the sessions. Elias Svensson won two of the sessions. And uh, Thomas, do you say it's Ek Ekmerstad or Ek? Uh, Ek Mustad. Ek. Double E. You say the Ek to you in Norwegian? Yeah, Ek. Ek. Yeah. Oh, poor old Thomas. I've been saying that wrong for two years as well. Um, I'm, a <laughs> I'm a terrible person, aren't I? Um, so, yeah, so Thomas Ekmerstad won Q3. Just trying to see the various winners were. We had three different winners in Cross Car Junior. So we have Svensson, Pearson, Anderson. Pearson and Anderson haven't jokered yet. Oh, you yes. see Osterberg is right on the tail of Anderson. He, he, right now we have the gap for Persson and Andersson, but he's very close with Svensson. Jens Wall, the, the rookie here today, uh, is currently last, but he had a great Q3 uh, where he finished P3. P3. Yeah. P3. Listen, listen to this. He finished 20th in Q1, 11th in Q2, and P3 in Q3. The progress, mega. I'm with Osterberg. Mega. It's Say it. Come Mega. On. Yeah. Mega. Do you like that? Yeah, Mega. I do. I do. Osterberg, it's interesting. That tactic of going on lap one, thinking about it, from where you are on the grid, you know there's one car in front. You know they're likely to get split two cars behind you. Yeah, yeah. Was it tactical? Like, look, if we're in P2, we might as well joke it because we know we'll be on the back of the slower cars and therefore we will get P2 anyway. I mean, yeah. it's kind of as an odds game. It's not bad. No, it's, it's not bad. Uh, I would have followed Svensson for at least a lap here. How, how, how much, when you were working with the likes of, who, who your spot has been? David Mansfield was for a while. For many years, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I had Anders Nilsson uh, with EKS. I had Joe Norton for many years. Uh, yeah. And who was your spotter at Subaru? Was it Joe? It was Joe. Yeah. Still Joe. So, wait, wait, OK, Svensson into the Joker on the final lap in the background. Osterberg goes up the inside line. Is Osterberg going to take this? Has it been a genius oh, move be. going on lap one? Well, maybe it has. Oh. Oh, he fires it up the inside line. Oh. Caught out between them. Svensson going to go round as he Osterberg just holds on. Oh, they could fall into the trap save. and everybody in behind. Osterberg gets through, but will the stewards think that was on or not? Elias Svensson looking for a way back through now. Going to come through the velodrome all the way down that back straight. Rajala is right there with him. If I don't, has a problem at all. Coming down the hill in. now. What's your thoughts on that move? I on mean, that was brave. That was brave. Let's see. I okay, Andreas doesn't want to say, and I agree. No. I agree. Osterberg going to try and take this one. So holding Great on to racing. that inside line. Svensson going to get P2. They both go through. It's 
it's a question over whether or not people would think the Osterberg move wasn't on. I like it. I, I like it. it. I, like, I thought it was good. <laughs> yeah. If it was if it was normal cars, not cross cars, they wouldn't have got hooked yeah, up. Yeah, that's that, true. For that's me, a, if that, that was two lights yeah. or two supercars, yeah. you'd go, the move was on. And I think, I do think Osterberg tried to give room to Svensson. Svensson had no idea that uh, Osterberg was there. So I, the I think, speed I think, difference oh, was, it unreal, was unreal, wasn't it? Yeah. So, what, so watch this. Osterberg, red and white buggy P2, immediately decides to go to the Joker and gets followed in by two cars. So he's lucky there that two of the slower cars have gone in behind him immediately. So that's what we were talking about with the odds game. Yeah, look here uh, how close it is already. Yeah, and what I was asking oh, flames, you about is so good. Flames. I know, we just, <laughs> just show us slow-mo flames yeah. and jumps and we'll just love it. Uh, how much of say did you have on uh, tactics? Look here, here we go, here we go, here we go. He's 100% he he's in yeah, front. He's yeah. That's nah, for me, for me, that Osterberg's that's, cool. that's Osterberg's yeah, kind of yeah, corner, I yeah. think. I understand why Elias wants to shut the door. Oh, that's close. From that angle, you see angle, it from that angle, it looks way worse yeah, yeah, for Osterberg, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> but you realise the stewards are looking at the same pictures and going, hmm. Yeah. Actually, Osterberg got saved by the outside curb there. Yeah, it's he got over rotation, and the curb stopped the slide. If you continue here a bit more, so now he starts to slide. And he he overtakes. He will spin, but he hits the curb on the left, uh, right rear, which turns the car around, and then he's going again. Well, what's your thoughts there? Because for me, I, I felt that Svensson shut the door after he'd seen. I think he would have seen so, Osterberg. To be honest, from Osterberg the Joker, you don't see it. You don't see yeah, Osterberg. Yeah, but at the point he's turning in, or is he turned in already? He has turned in yeah, already. I suppose he has. You know, it's like me crashing into Timmy Hansen in Abu Dhabi. You know, I didn't see him at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, like, because it's to the side. One it's thousand too far before the hit. Yes, I saw yeah, him. Yeah. But yeah. A tent before, no, I didn't. No, I get it, yeah. But yeah. people don't understand the sides yeah. of the seats, you're so low, yeah. the nets, the windows, the yeah. cage, it's not, visibility is not good. Yeah. And, and that's why you have and a spot the adrenaline says, you in your head. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, the stupidity of I must yeah. win. But okay, Osterberg takes it with a 309 from Elias Svensson. I'm writing that down. Uh, we're on to semi final two. We have uh, Thomas Ek Murstad. Yeah, who won Paul. a session, 1Q3. Uh, Patrick Halberg alongside. Uh, just let we me have uh, Egonsson, Anderson, Oya, and Nogene. Halberg last year was uh, P2 in the series by four points from Isaac Rierson, who's moved on. So Halberg's well capable of a good result here. But yeah, Egonsson, Anderson too. But keep your eyes on that front row. We know that's where the, most of the action's been today. Halberg's car sits down and goes. Oh. Nicely, but on the inside line, it Merstad seems to have got the better start. Will Halberg copy Osterberg go straight to the Joker? Doesn't look like it. Going to go standard lap. Andreas, that's what you said you would have yeah. done last time out. Oh, yeah. So let's see if that's any better. Four cars go standard into the Joker when Oja and Egenson, who are from P3 and P5 respectively. So one of the quicker and one slightly slower. But Ed, look, it's a totally open game come yeah. semi-finals. Merstad leads from Halberg. I mean, Egonsson has, uh, is going all in for that P2 and uh, the last slot into the final. I would have done the same thing. You, you need to, you need to uh, do risk a little bit here now. When, when there's six cars, yeah. if you are calculating in your own head, and Hollius is often somewhere where you decide for yourself if you joker yeah. because it's an early joker. It is. Anything in the first two corners is as much driver decision yeah. as it is spotter, isn't it? Yeah. So what position are you in where you think go joker? Is it three and back, but yeah. depending on who goes in? Yeah. So if it, you're third, depends. you're going in, yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah. If I have the room for it, yes. Now we see Egonson already cashed up with uh, Nugene. Uh, oh, spin oh, in the background. Who's gone round? I'm not really sure. Three white buggies, always ideal yep. on a long shot. Yep. The, the, I, I love them. Can we just, I just want to sit on the barrier all yeah. afternoon and listen to the cross cars come down the hill. Okay, Musta, Musta still looks like he's comfortable in the lead in front of Halberg. Uh, the gap to Norgana and Egonsson is still quite high. Egonsson has been catching up to Norgana. Uh, Mostad's gone in from the lead. Yeah. That's unusual, but, that it is, but he's guaranteed his place yes. in the final and now. And he doesn't he? have a spotter, so he doesn't really know the gaps, but he's safe. We're going to have a listen in on the arm code down the hill here. So have, have a listen to this. Here we go. As they come round, hopefully we can have a listen in. Wait for it. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? 
It's cool. It's, it's really so cool. all cameras we want mounted right next to the yeah. track from now yes. on. We appreciate cameramen can't stand there because of people like Andreas. Yeah. But, uh, but that's just so good. Look at that over the crest. Halberg right. on a really sandy mission dives onto the brakes now, chucks the car in, trying to get Merstad, but Merstad's got this done already. Jumps it up over the curb, slots in. Egg Merstad has done a brilliant job here, and we'll go from holding semi one. Halberg through. did have a very good joker there. No, not, not good. good. Or no, good. it was it really was good. good. Yeah, really so good. it shows you that Egg yeah. Merstad had the lead yeah. on the previous one. Yeah. Interesting tactics, Meg Merstad, to want to go in that little bit earlier. Take the pressure off yourself. Don't worry about making a mistake on the last lap. And, and another look at that wonderful angle, particularly these cars with, with the high revs over the jump. And it will be Egg Merstad and Halberg who go through to the final. What's the time this time is? 308.5, yes, yeah, so 1.4 quicker than Osterberg, but there was contact between yeah. Osterberg and Svensson, which yeah. slowed them down. So 308.5. Right, I'm going to try and find... There we go. Start was kind of a basic start, no, nothing, no big drama. Going for P4 into the Joker. I'm trying to persuade Michaela Arlen Kotlinski to come and join us in the yeah. commentary box. So I'm just calling her out now, basically. I'm if just you know Michaela. Calling her a chicken. Yeah, oh, if you know oh, Michaela, oh. just text her right now yeah. and tell her, go in the commentary We'll look after it. We're yeah. just 10 minutes. Like, she's yeah. a great driver. And I want her to come in the commentary. We know she's in the paddock because we've seen yeah. her. Andreas is asked her an eye vault, So if you I know. I asked her nicely. Yeah, so did I. I've yeah. sent her some nice messages. If yeah. you know Michaela, send her a nice message now yeah. saying, go in the commentary box. Come on. Like, come just on. Uh, let's send her a few messages at least. And then if she doesn't come up here, well, we'll just say bad things. Oh, look, look, look at the... Stoke. Yeah, Ekmer stuff. And, and I think he'll be fighting for the win here. So do I. Yeah, he drove so I. really, really well. He could still nail the Joker a bit better. But he didn't need to. No, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But still, you, you want to get it right. can do that in the final yeah. when it's... See, have, that's a Johan thing, isn't it? Yeah. Still nailing the Joker even yeah. when you don't have to is, yeah. is the thing. Yeah. And it's, yeah. yeah but Without it's, getting in punctures or yeah. taking off a steering arm or whatever, you know. So, so far, both the front rows have gone through, P1 and P2. Uh, this one, final semi-final, Alex Gustafsson and Passy Pentonen on the front row. Then it's Ronald Baldins and Riku the Kid Hukar. Kalla Gotherson and Cinder Treutherud on the back row, but Gustafsson up from go. juniors, remember. Can he go through to a final on his debut in cross car oh, with a start like start. that? He can, it's absolutely brilliant, but then he loses out the yeah. run the first corner. Got to give enough room here, drops into P2. Oh, Contact like with Hukar. Hukar ends up on the dirt on the inside. Gustafsson just about holds on. Oh, Hukar's suspension's broken, rear right's collapsed. Will they have to red flag that? Because he's not going to be able to move oh, that car. That's that's a hard call for the. Well, the marshals yeah. they're, they're light enough for the marshals to yeah. move. That is it, one thing. Yeah, maybe they can help him push away the vehicle and him to get out from the car. Uh, we will see. Something happened with Gustafsson out from the start. Cause he nailed the reaction, and it looked like going to second gear. He wasn't able to to get it in there. Yeah. Oh. Was that two wheels through there? <laughs> a little bit of a curb pop. The car's still sitting in turn uh, turn three. The turn car two. is to turn, turn two, sorry. The car's still sitting in turn two. So there's yellow flags up here. Oh. There it is, there it is. Oh. Oh. It's in a horrible position. Yeah, he's oh, not still, man. Please say he's not still sitting in it. That's not, oh, I mean, it's no. not, strictly speaking, it's not oh. on the line. Oh. But it's, oh! oh. Baldins Trade goes through. through. Trey Trude. But Baldins hasn't jokered. So Bowdens may drop back from here. Oh yeah. Troy Trud. Oh sorry, Penton and it is in the number six buggy that's with Bowden. So Penton and as Joker Gustafsson. Gustafsson, this is some debut yeah. cross car, yeah. isn't it? It is cool. It is cool. With the AT service, jumping over the famous jump here in Hollyes. Uh, it's cool. Like a uh, youngster coming in here doing really, really well.
There is uh, Hukar stuck. Car Anderson goes. Sorry, Gustafsson goes into the joke lap now. Going to squeeze the door closed, but not quite. Oh. Bowden's has gone through, but Bowden's, of course, has already hasn't joked it's us. So Bowden's going to drop so back. Tight. Pentonen is right there. So Bowden's is going to joke and drop out of this. My There's one more me. lap to go after this. So Pentonen, surely now Pentonen's really got to keep Troitzer behind. I yeah. wouldn't be trying to make a move on Gustafsson because if you if that doesn't pay yeah, off, you yeah. lose your spot. You're gone. It doesn't look like Baldins has enough speed here. Uh, the new car for Baldins, isn't it? He was dialed last yeah. year, but yeah. it, it, it takes a while. He is fast. Yeah, I've seen him drive. Yeah, he man. I like Ronalds. He's yeah. cool, isn't he? He gave me an orange hat last year with a big picture of a, like a truck on it. Because he, he uh, I think they they uh, do plant hire, don't oh! they? Oh! <laughs> that was close. Alex, come on, man! Like that's that's unnecessary, isn't it? That is unnecessary. <laughs> Sorry, to you, you all watching. <laughs> yeah, everyone at home who's just gone deaf. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's thanks to. Uh, <laughs> Alex Gustafsson, who would have given anybody who, from his family... I, you know what? The, the pit crew probably can't <laughs> see that, but when they see it, they'll be like, slap, no, <laughs> slap, no. never again. Oh, that, no, that camera on the, on the wall is genius. And so has been the drive from Gustafsson. That's moves cool. up from junior cross car to senior cross car and wins semi-final number three to go through to the final. And it is Passy Pentonen who goes through with him. So all three front all, rows. All top six after Q3. Have gone through. Has gone through, yeah. Yeah, it's epic, isn't it? 3.12.3, though, is some three seconds slower yeah. than, uh, it, it than was the others were. Chaotic. You see there, great start. Then he, it looked like he missed the gear. Then he lost it. So Pentonen's in front at this point. Hukar is outside. Hukar gets collected by Gustafsson. Runs a little bit wide. Watch the, the contact here, look, in the background. It is uh, Cinder Troitrud who yeah. hit in, on the one side. And then did he break the car on that contact or on the curb? It's hard to say. It's race incident. Watching Hukar here, look. Here it, oh, it's as he comes back yeah. over the curb, isn't yeah. it? No, no, yeah. it's the rear right. I, I think it happened already in the first contact with, uh, with uh, yeah, Gustafsson. The drive shaft, you can see hanging out. Brilliant bit of flying. Oh, oh two wheels. That, I mean, it, yeah, was, it was big, saw. wasn't it? Yeah. As was the jump. Yeah. Mate, look at Yes, oh, it's, it's an old school F1, isn't it? It's cool. Gold livery there. Yeah, yeah. We're loving it. We're loving yeah. it. Rally X is back. International Rally Cross is back for 2022. Drop us a message if you're enjoying it yourself today. It was really today. tight in the merge. It was, wasn't it? And he yeah. did well to hold on. Because Baldins was the distraction. And, and, and they, it was don't the know, they don't know that Baldins hasn't joked. Has no, so so he was point. so surprised. Look here. Look here. Oh, close. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, and I wrapped in Riku Hukar sitting there too going, come on, mate. It's already broken. Don't yeah. break anymore. <laughs> I've done the wrong corner. I yeah. don't want to do another corner too. 80 servers all over the bonus. Great with good sponsors. Alice Gustafsson wins from Passy Penton and they go through. Everybody else is uh, going home until tomorrow when, of course, we have round two. OK, we are uh, looking forward to what's up next, which is Open what is two Open Two Wheel Drive. So this one is just two. Oh, wow, we've lost. No, we've only lost a couple of cars. We've only lost a couple of cars. I'm looking at my grids here. Uh, what do we got? We have Jakobsen, Engsvik, Johansson, Engsvik and Johannesson. There we go. We'll have you in this seat before long, mate. Get Hal Ridge back. <laughs> you did do that one start earlier, didn't you? I did. <laughs> well, <laughs> I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Was I eating licorice? I was yeah. not. Sorry about that. You're a bad Never influence. Never leave me. You're, you're a bad, bad influence. Yeah. I know, you, it just, he gave me snacks, so I got distracted by snacks. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a I shocker. wonder if Simon Engsvik is the brother of... Son Sonder Ensvig. Ensvig. Got to be, hasn't it? Yeah. Both en no, they're entered by themselves. Polo and an E30. I mean, it's pretty... Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. they're Norwegians. You, you must yeah, know them. Yeah, I, I mean, should have you know. known. <laughs> <laughs> I should, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know. That part, a big, big log. <laughs> Jonas Dalseth Jakobsi on the front row has been absolutely epic in, uh, in qualifying today. Is that going to continue? In, Jonas uh, is fast. Yeah, he's been, one of the best Norwegian been drivers. Been really have. good. Here we go. All three sessions one. Oh. 
good start. Nobody spectacular at no. the start, really low in the RPM, yes. trying to find traction. And it is the yeah. TQ man that gets to turn one first. It's all really tidily done. Straight into the Joe Clap goes. Is that ends, I think? You, you can see a big difference here. You, you know, Jonas Dalsen, Jakobsen, uh, the car behavement is so much softer than Simon Engsvik. Both have similar car, but very different philosophy when it comes to setup. You see setup. Jo Jonas's car will be on three wheels uh, throughout that corner where Siemens' car is very neutral. So is that, is that what, what's the difference? Stiffness, like roll so, bars? Yeah, but also roll center, uh, that's very detailed. Yeah, but, uh, I'm, not, no, but, mate, I'm into roll yeah, centers. Yeah. <laughs> adjusting them, I'm not into, but I understand yeah. the concept, yeah. right, and it's really complicated. Yeah, and also weight distribution. There's lots of uh, stuff into it, but you see three wheels on the ground uh, where Engsvik has all four planted on the ground. Sometimes what Engsvik has is better in the corners, but for traction, I understand Jonas uh, builds the car around that. And then L like Solberg would have done. And yeah, me, the super soft you know? car. Yeah, 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 sure. So, so or it's like Solberg versus Ekstrom. So which of the two cars would suit your driving style best? I, I'm a fan of the philosophy that uh, Jonas has. Uh, driving style was probably Simon Engsvik. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, we were saying, weren't we, yesterday, we were watching um, Ekstrom's footwork. We yeah. watched an onboard with Ekstrom, yeah. and he's... You were saying that he touches the brake and the throttle many more times in every corner than you yeah. would. You're like one brake, one throttle, effectively. Yeah. Actually, we, on, off, on, off, on, off. We had an engineer from uh, Germany coming up here in 2018, checking, or he was having a master degree on driving styles and lines. The biggest difference on me and uh, Matthias Ekstrom that year was that uh, Matthias had full throttle throughout the whole track. 62 percent of the track. Yeah, I had full gas, eleven percent. Really? My lap time was one tenth faster than Matthias's. And where was this? Sorry. This was Holly's 2018. So you were full throttle eleven percent. He was full throttle 60. 62. 62. So is he having a lot more wheel spin sure. than you? I do think so. I think that's one of my skills. To to feeling the traction. Feeling level. the traction level. Yeah. But like, sort of like ice driving, you need to use the throttle much more to be able to put the studs and dig them into the to the ice. So there it's not good to have the feel that I have. And does your feel work well in the wet, for instance? Is yeah. It, is yeah. It, so in the wet, it's, it's not a mega often tongue. I've been off pace on wet, to be honest. I Jakobsen's gone joker just quickly from, to be honest with you, they've all followed, the top three have followed yeah. each other in on that yeah. last lap. So jo Jonas is driving superb here. Yeah, uh, and, and it behind Engsvik knows yeah. that just following him in is gonna, is gonna book his slot. So there is Jakobsen coming through. I mean, Jakobsen has 46.7 as his, his best lap, and uh, Engsvik has 47.4, so, you know, it's eight tenths. It's... So Jakobsen, having won all three qualifying sessions, is coming through to win the first of two semi-finals in open two-wheel drive, and that's going to see him on pole for the final. And to be honest with you, if he doesn't win it, it'll be a shocker, and that, that pressure will build a little bit with him. Yeah, it will. Engsvik is going to go through too, and then I think it's Johannesson, who's going through MP3, it's last cool. ditch DTM move there between a BMW yeah. <laughs> and a Mercedes on the, on the final corner. It's cool though, because Jonas Dalset Jakobsen, I, I know him, he's a good friend of mine. Uh, he's been helping Thomas Brinson a lot. He had been doing Super 1600, Volkers, all this stuff. He had been here in Hollius many, many years, but never driven here himself. Mm -hmm. So I know, I know how much he's appreciating being here, uh, driving his car around. It's cool. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Molly's with Kevin Erickson. Kevin, we saw you spend most of the morning fixing the car and then you move on to becoming top qualifier after winning the second and third qualifying. What a comeback. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised myself, to be honest. Uh, after the you know, Q2, I saw mm, this is still possible. So, so Q3, I, I wasn't super happy with my own driving in Q2. So I, I, I had, did some homework. I did some setup changes. Q3 felt very nice, I would say. The first lap, a little bit careful, but then I got a good flow. Uh, and I have a good feeling now for the semi-finals. So obviously, pole position. And yeah, that's where you want to be. Full send. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So uh, Jonas Dalseth Jakobsen takes that with a 317.1. Uh, Simon Ensvig uh, is in P2 and Marcus Johansson is in P3. Second semi-final for open two-wheel drive coming up. Reigning champion Simon Tiger is on the front row. I reckon this one is going to be tight between uh, Tiger and uh, Orgadal. 
Okay, well, Tiger last year got six out of seven wins, but Argadal wasn't here last year. Norwegians didn't really make it over the border much. Mick Nilsson, Yoni Pekarajala in uh, row two, who's double driving this weekend, we think. Unless it's two, we know there aren't two Johnny Pekarajalas, are there? Uh, and then Timmy Enland and Kenneth Kong on the back row. Again, Tiger's car is insane in the start. It's so good, isn't yeah. it? Oh. oh, bumper off straight away, just rips the rear end off the car with a tiny bit of contact. Argadol gets straight into the back and Yoni Pekarajala munches the last bit of bumper that's left of Simon Tiger as he jumps that big BMW up and over the top. So now... Rajla, who's, who's gone joker, has got to hope doesn't end up stuck behind any of these cars. If he, if he manages to catch up, look, he's there already. Yeah. DNS for Kenneth Kong, so out already, unless... unless... He, he had some progress in Q3. Yeah, OK, so all gone. Look how long the cars look on the drone yeah. shot. Here we go. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? The rear wing on Simon's car as well is epic. I reckon he's had to stiffen the rear up about 20% <laughs> to account for the extra downforce. Absolutely. Oh, the sound. So I wonder which would work better in the wet. The arches on that BMW, just the, the width of it, it's just oh, it's yeah. mean, isn't it? It really is. You, you see Orgadal is all over Tiger here. Um, Tiger's car looks so, so soft. Yeah. But I know he has more horsepower. He have a turbo. Um, is it Vunkel engine? I can't remember, to be honest. We'll have to go and have a catch-up with him afterwards. You can hear something whistling yeah. away, can't you, the yeah, entire I think time? Yeah, engine in there. We, we, the, the problem is, uh, we just have so little time out of yeah. it. Well, if you've been watching all day, you'll know. I'm going to I'm gonna know tomorrow. Yeah, fine. If, you, you, if you've been watching all day, you'll know that we've been in here oh, for six hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, like, so, there is no going so, to so talk to anyone, unfortunately. The, oh, three wheels there. When he gets the traction down from the exit of, the, of a corner and on a straight, nobody can be close to him, but around the track, car looks a bit heavy and soft. So argadal has gone joker this time. That gives him a lap. I oh, might have, oh, is he going to shut the door? Uh, yeah. Oh. So I, I was going to say I might have gone a lap earlier, but if you need, you don't want to get yeah. stuck behind that car. If he doesn't want to get I stuck behind I think it was a good Nielsen, call, to be honest. Yeah, to wait until you no, it's gap. all in. No, it's all in. Because Tiger is going to try to cover up now. So Argadal really need a good push lap. And, you know, when you are two car lengths behind Tiger, when you go into the to the Joker, you probably need to catch up more than, or close to a second to be really? on the inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the difference. Yeah. That's yeah. the difference. So, and it looked by the eye now that uh, Orgadal is pushing a bit too much. Well, top two goes through to the final, so it's no crisis if he doesn't take Tiger here, but he would like to be up there with Jonas in the in pole position. So Simon Tiger climbs good. the Very curves on either side. It is a tidy run. He yeah. shuts the door on Argadol. Distance is the same. Yeah, really nicely yeah. done. Both of them pitting in a, a pretty decent lap. Yeah. And it looks like Nilsson may have come out of the merge in front of Rajlo. We haven't seen that in the background. Top three will go through. Where's the battle for third place? Assuming these guys make it. Didn't see it out the corner of the drone there. Tiger, Argadol down the hill. In the background, was uh, where are they? They're a long way off, aren't they? The pace differential between the top two and P3 is massive. It is. Simon Tiger going to stand on oh, all those horses the through the last corner. Screaming. Argadal goes through as well. Let's see who's going to get that final place. Is it Rajla? Is it Enland? Who's going to get P3? There it is in the final corner. It was Nilsson who got up the inside of Rajla. We didn't see that. I don't know where no. that came from. But it was a, that, that <laughs> last corner business. I think loads of stuff happened there in the last lap. Yeah, I suspect yeah. so as well, yeah. So Simon Tiger, the reigning two-wheel drive champion, has gone through. Got perfect traction off the start. But he's got his work cut out in the final with Jonas Dalseth Jakobsen, who's been a bit of a weapon all day long in that rear-wheel drive Volkswagen Polo. Just a much shorter chassis. A little bit more nimble. Maybe it doesn't look quite so awesome as a big old BMW, but, you know, if yeah. it's a weapon, it's a weapon. It is a weapon. Focus was pretty big, wasn't it, mate? It was, uh, and especially the overhang we had in the front. Like, you remember the square corners on the front bumper? Yeah. Dude, that was not easy to dial in uh, when you, you're trying to be millimetres from a So you'd end up running it across a barrier or whatever? Yeah, I, I remember one of the races. I asked to get it cut off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cut the corners off yeah. the bumpers, and what did they say? 
we did it. <laughs> Ricky did it. Estering just to get some. Yeah, because estering the, yeah. the, the last so two corners, yeah. the, the, not so much the right because there's a curb, but it's the left, isn't you it? You run the fence. The, yeah. Yeah, you, I, yeah. So there's that. Do you remember there was the wonderful slow most Tiger Argadal Nilsson yeah. go through of David Genet yeah. rubbing, the, rubbing his bumper across that. It was yeah. the year that he destroyed everyone at estering. Yeah, remember yeah, in yeah, the yeah, factory yeah. Peugeot? It was really fast. It was, wasn't he? Yeah. it? Was, it was an, it's one of, the, one of the standout sort of domination yeah. weekends. I just want to say great job by Kevin Eriksson putting his car on pole uh, after having only run on three cylinder and P17 in Q1 shows the, the level of, of his driving yeah, in agreed. the 001 car. This we never, we shouldn't forget like, it's the first car, Supka Lights, Allsburg's MSC built. The gearbox is still the same as from the first race. Is it really? First test. Yeah. Right, there we go. So Kevin Eriksson, Simon Olofsson, Steinsholt, Walfredson, Persson and Hockvist. Two semi-finals for these guys, the top three go through. Great start by Ericsson. This is exactly what he did in the previous one, whilst Olofsson kind of gets collected there, I think, from row two. That was harsh and gets, uh, that's a spin round for Ola Henry Steinsholt. Ah, not sure about that, Andreas. You'll have to look at the replays of that yeah. for us and let us know what you thought. It, it, yeah, either way. Yeah, I can't really tell, no. <laughs> no, exactly. Kevin Ericsson. But it was just, tough. It, it, I don't understand. He must just have the shift point perfect. Yes. Because at every start where he's nailed it off the line. The thing here with RX2, uh, all the cars are the same. Yeah. Everything is dialed in similar. So everything is about like finding those small little details that can pay off in your own favor. Yeah, and he, he's done that off the yeah. start each time. Ericsson so. and Olofsson, they are class drivers. Yeah. So, Olofsson, who's joking? Hockfist is joking. According, yeah, and the timing screen showed that's better. I was going to say Hockfist down in P6, having joker. Who's going to go this time? Walfredson well, goes joker. Which have been very fast today. Uh, only it was the Q3 where he, he got some problems. Good decision, I think, Andreas, to, to go there. He's going to yeah. be the first driver who has joker because he's in front of Hockfist. No, Hock no he, he's behind the uh, shirt list. Is he? Yeah. Uh, we're waiting yeah. For the, uh, yeah, so timing screen hadn't updated and we can't see him. So he's dropped in behind Hockfist then. Yes to that camera all day long. Um, I'm going to be obsessed with it all yeah. weekend. Deal with it. Yeah, it's so cool. It's, it is it's cool. So cool. Ericsson Olofsson continue with two laps to go. We're halfway through semi final number so, one. So different driving style here by Olofsson and Ericsson. Um, Olofsson is a bit more rotated, sliding a bit more. Let's see if he can keep the pace of, uh, of Kevin all four laps. I wonder if he'll follow Kevin anyway, like or if it. he's going to go for an yeah. alternate strategy as we it, see Person he go Joker. Going to cover off behind Person, comes out, I think, in front of Hockfist. So that might mean then that Person has booked that last slot in. There it is. No. Oh, we haven't seen person now on the timing screen either, so apologies. We've got a few little issues there with, uh, with we have timing Kevin points. in front of Olofsson and then uh, Steinsold haven't jokered yet. He's in P3. So, so these two top, top runners, they are pretty clear to the final. Last lap going in now. Here we go, on to lap four. Both these drivers to go through. Ignore the timing, top left. You can see Ericsson and Olofsson. Now, finally, it catches up to their three tenths back. Steins hold is 3.1 off, but hasn't jokered. So Perfect these two joker. come through. It's going to be who comes over the joker first in the background. Great job by Kevin Erickson, though. Looks like go Person. through. Person is going on through. Person's made it in the background? I think so. No, shoot. Ah, to be honest. <laughs> no, I know. The ti yeah. timing on this one is extremely confusing. Emil We've got someone's Emil got a Person. problem with a transponder. Yeah. So. Emil Person, I think. Kevin Eriksson, I, oh, I would have thought tapped the barrier there. It yeah. almost looked yeah. like it moved. It but sounded as well. Yeah. But so Emil Persson is, is third. Right, Kevin Eriksson then, the TQ man, comes around having recovered oh. from engine issues. Going to take the win. Olofsson is in close behind. Was there a move in the background? It was. Over the line, it goes to... Steintolt. Unfortunately, According to this. For, uh, it's person. It's personal. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. Steins hole is just, so we've got our timing screen says something different to our graphics, yeah. and it is person. The timing screen's updated now. All right, tight start. Good. Look, See, look at the, the distance gets on gain. The, it gets on the inside of all of some. Surely he must have missed a gear or something. Uh, tight. Uh, yeah, very tight. I don't know that it was as bad as I thought. At first, I thought it was a harsh move, but I don't yeah. know that it was oh, actually. Oh, it just touched wheel to wheel. Yeah, and, and he gets fired around, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. yeah. Kicking the clutch there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get it going. Definitely trying to pull it back to straight. Nice save. 
Kevin Erickson with a pretty faultless he drive. He needs to be careful with that much cutting all of a sudden over that uh, turn four. For, for the tyres? Yeah, he, yeah. he did it also in Q2. Kevin, that was another perfect drive. A win in the semi-final. Talk us through the race. Yeah, not fully satisfied, but I did, I did the job I needed to do. I don't know, it's... Uh, I haven't fired all yet on my four on my four cylinders yet either, so I need to I need to get really back going and, and uh, but yes, and, you know everything is so far really good. The launches are perfect. I was that was the only thing I was nervous about, and I did a lot of practice before that just just to get that going. And it seems that I found something good there, so that's that's good. Uh, and then I'm just a little bit too careful right now on the track. I gotta I just gotta let loose. So. Uh, yeah, I, I hope I do it in the final. Thank you. Doesn't look, doesn't look too careful to me. Let loose. Let loose. What does that mean? What's that empty of uh, things English, are English get, words? Things are going to get wild. Kevin Erickson is going to get wild in the I, final. I people. mean, the drive was great. Three just, he was. Simon uh, is also a great driver. He, he managed to to stay with him there. So Olofsson and Person have gone through. Person coming from the back row. Yeah. So that is also good. But... 313 0. Who's so, first, third, and ninth from the yeah, Q3 goes from through. Quali. Yeah. Okay. So, we There happened some stuff in the last corner there over the last jump. It looked like Jimmy Walferson had some issue with his uh, left rear suspension. Maybe we get it in replay now. There's a bit of track cleaning going on apparently at the moment. So, um, we're just taking a look at the grid. Yeah, let's have let's have a look at the grid, shall we? Well, oh, there's the track cleaner. There he is. Actually, we were doing the track walk yesterday when your man was out, and it, it was dusty, wasn't it? This will be very interesting because uh, we have Oliver Solberg. Uh, Oliver, <laughs> Oliver, <laughs> Oliver Solberg's not here. Remember? Oliver Solberg, <laughs> Oliver uh, Sully. Yeah, we got Oliver a lot of Oliver. Erickson yeah. is starting one, two, three, four. They're taking four. over from all the Sebastians. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah too yeah, many yeah. Sebastians, and now there's uh, now there's a lot of Olivers. Yeah. So Olives. grid for this one, Martin Janssen and Kasper Janssen. Kasper Janssen, of course, the current NRX champion. Row two, uh, NRX next, sorry, that is not NRX overall, because Travis Pastrana, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and then row two, Enland and Oli Eriksson. So Oli Eriksson's going to be looking to, to make some headway from there. And bringing up the rear, George McGuinness. And Mats Oskarsson. So Janssen, Janssen, but watch out for Ericsson round the outside. Great start as well on road two there from Martin Enland. Can't find a way through. Ericsson going to try surely and stay all the way wide. Slots from outside to inside. McGuinness is there as well. McGuinness going to go joker with Ericsson. McGuinness had that lined up from early, but Ollie Ericsson gets oh. it now. McGuinness passes him in the joker. McGuinness passes oh. Ericsson on the way to the harsh. joker, but did he hit the barrier on the inside line? Uh, I'm not really sure, but I, I felt he, he was pushing Oliver a lot there. But uh, McGuinness, is, but I, McGuinness I, I, drives I aggressive. Well, yeah, mate. Yeah. I mean, you know. He wasn't that aggressive earlier on. So no, I'm, but he, he was. I think Kenneth and uh, Kevin have told him you have to. I think, you I have think you, to use the car. I think you were a bit busy with Subarus yeah. in America. Yeah. McGinnis can be. He oh, can yeah. get it. He can get after Mental. it. Yeah. He, when uh, we, we yeah. saw him go for it a few times. Oh, that's a nose dive. So it is uh, Janssen leading from Enlund and Kasper Janssen in P3. But Janssen runs wide, loses some time. Going to be under increasing pressure now from Enlund as they come through. Ericsson almost had it dialed in there, first into the Joker and uh, lost it there with McGuinness uh, squeezing on the inside. The gap back look is 3.4 to McGuinness, yeah. so at the minute Janssen would be in danger from there. Yeah. Ericsson might not make it, but it, it just depends now on lap times over the next couple of laps. You notice none of the leads, and Ericsson's Ericsson passed McGuinness in the background. McGuinness, he's yeah. passed him. He, I think he went on the outside in the velodrome now. I think, he, I think he's gone through. Let's have a look. Let's wait and see if we can. What's going on in the background? Oliver yes, first, yeah. he's got him. Oliver's got past McGuinness. It's going to be tight with uh, Enlund and Janssen. So now, do you want, if I'm in this top three, Andreas, yeah. I'm thinking about responding now as we see Casper yes. Janssen oh. make a move on Enlund. That's pretty have decent. Time. They don't have time to do that stuff. 
No, they do, okay. <laughs> they do not. They don't have any time to lose and it at all. It doesn't look like Jonsson is, is having that speed to, to gap them. You know? Enlund goes. Enlund so Enlund's goes. going now to try and cover off Ericsson yeah. behind. Enlund, not the perfect entry to the no. Joker. He's not got enough rotation on it. Watch for Ericsson over the jump. Ericsson going to try and come through. Enlund shuts the door, squeezes oh. Ericsson up the wall. Ericsson on two wheels, going to try and get back through. I'll tell you what, if Oli Ericsson makes it from here, he's had a hell of a fight. Yeah. Man. He's been hit by about half the field so far. <laughs> so poor Odelli Eriksson going back to a category that he knows so well. He's a double RX2 champion. I think he might this have won the lights this as well. This shows the level we have here in RX Nordic. It does, yeah. yeah. It really does. It's, it, it, you know, we've got top, what I say, we've got Janssen here, Kasper Janssen, who only made his debut last year and then won NRX next. He just did He just did this. He started yeah. the year being yeah. super like aggressive and sideways. As aggressive you are hitting down the Yeah, I'm the smashing iPad. timing screens over here <laughs> yeah. in, the, in, the, in, the, in the commentary box. So Janssen and Janssen go Joker, watch for Enlund and Ericsson now, the top three go through, everybody else oh, is stopping tight. for the day, going to try and shut the door, just about gets it done, so now it's about whether Enlund can hold on from Ericsson, Ericsson knows he has to Set make a pass in the next the couple of corners, there. he'll try and get him on the run into Velodrome here if he can, but it's not enough time, so Ericsson's got McGuinness all over the back of him as well, Janssen, Janssen, Enlund, where can, can Ericsson make oh, a pass very, anywhere? Very, very hard, very, very hard. I okay, mean, watch for Ericsson in the orange car, P4, he's got to have a look up oh, the inside into the head, but he sets the Ericsson car up, he's coming in early. hot now. Enlund gonna hold on though, Ericsson looks to the inside, he'll hope Enlund runs wide, lines the car to the inside, he tried everything he could, but it's Janssen, Janssen and Enlund who go through, and Ericsson, Oli Ericsson was really pretty well beaten up in that one. Yeah. That was tight. It was, was good, wasn't good it? Good final, or semi-final. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to the final yeah. now, I'm getting proper <laughs> excited. So. This was the start, Andreas. That was so close for Oliver Eriksson to, to really nail that joker. There we go, he, he's, he spots a little gap in between there. Takes some line, cuts right back in. Him and McGinnis have a little come together. McGinnis goes outside, inside. Yeah, What? so what about... No, I think, I think that was all right. Yeah, I think Do you think Oli ran a bit deep? He did, uh, like... It's very hard to be in the lead going into the Jokers. You would like to take some line there to, to catch up the front runners. So, I don't know. Hard do you go defensive though? If you go in lap one into the Joker, do you need to be defensive for moves like the Sometimes, one McGinnis yes. made? Or did, you know, so, so it depends who you have with you. Yeah. Right? But you, you can't know, know that either. You haven't nah. got time to see where it is behind is you, have you? That is true. Maybe Oliver stopped a little bit too much to, to nail the corner. Oh, he almost rolled there. Same spot as Anton Marklin last year in European Championship. The we, did, we, did, we, did, we did talk about that earlier a little bit, and Andreas yeah. encouraging And Anton. nose diving so much of the jump. Yeah, which is, lamp. and bearing in mind a lot of the weights in the rear, these are a mid-rear yeah. engine yeah. car. They so get a the little kick from the yeah. compression just before the jump. Janssen takes it from Janssen and Enland. How quick was that compared to the other uh, semi? We don't have that time. No, we don't either, that's uh, fine. I don't think I wrote it down. Okay, on to Supercar. Supercar had a significant entry, so... It's uh, cool, because sh it's shaking in the whole... Uh, oh, no, you can hear the, 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 the commentary box yeah. actually is, is vibrating, basically. Um, and we have got a brilliant front yeah, row for do. you. This is we Niklas do. Gronholm on the inside. Next to him, Christofferson, the current RX champion, Rally X champion, but also four-time World Rally Cross champion, having won the title again last year. Brilliant. In the last, last round, that was against Timmy. Went Let's on see. count back. We didn't think we'd have any more count back since 2019, Andreas. We've had one in Nitro. We've had one in World. <laughs> I mean, it's just been it's too close. No more maths, please. We don't want to do maths. Brinterson and Enzo Ede on row two. And at the back, Michelak on the inside line. Michelak can be quite aggressive. So, yeah. so he can, if he have a good start, he can start pushing up to, uh, to Brinterson, which can give Christofferson and Nicholas some problems. Well, so. Between Brinterson and Ede, who's your money on? Brinterson? Uh, I think Brinterson. I don't know, what it's do you hard do to if say. You, but Ede in some ways, Sprinterson's in that weird position I, I, of being I blocked say, in, but then you end up on the good side to go to the yeah, Joker. Yeah, I would say that Ede and Matthias has had some issues in the start, so where Brinson looked strong last, yeah. last hit, you know? He, he was the only one that was close to Matthias and Johan on lap times. Here we go then, supercar semi-final one. Another look at the grid. Gronholm, Christofferson, Brinterson, Ede, Michelak, and Linus Osland. Osland's had a couple of jump starts. He doesn't want one here. Thumbs up. It's three semi finals, so only the top two go through. So, really, Gronholm and Christofferson need a good start. And you don't want to have to go Joker because they are significantly quicker than the cars that are behind them. 
Eyes on that front row. Watch out for Edie's in that latest spec Audi on the outside. And watch for Brinderson sliding off to the Joker on lap one. If he doesn't get past either of the others, Brinderson with a great start from row two. But they get the door shut. Chris Thompson trying to go around the outside oh. of Grunholm now, and he does. Grunholm drops to P2. Brinderson surely going to go Joker from there. He does. He goes straight around the outside line. Enzo Eads slots in. I think it's Michelak who's gone with them. Someone's been left on the line. Is it Ostland on the line? Ostland's just got away now. So Lena's still trying to get his head around it. But Brinderson has gone Joker. He's the only driver to go Joker on lap one. And that's how they stand right now. Chris Thompson, Grunholm Eid. Chris Thompson did a great move off the line. Uh, he was slightly ahead and squeezed everything he had into to, uh, Grunholm, making the turn one so tight for Grunholm. He had nothing else to do to, to back off. Mitchell's car didn't sound great coming down the hill, but it might just be a difference in engine note between them. So there's only four laps, remember, in these semi-finals. It's five in the final. I, if with only the top two going through, I reckon Gronon will follow Christopherson for now. Yeah, I, I don't know the tires. Like, if they put on new tires, used tires, like. I don't know the tactics, you know. Well, so, okay, so every, for, for everyone at home, they get eight tires today, then tomorrow they get four tires from today and yeah. four new ones. So tomorrow they're going to be short on tires, I it's think. Not normally, like, Johan had a great, great start this time. Like, he was half a car length ahead of Niklas Grönholm, yeah. a world championship contender's car, uh, where this is the Swedish car of Christophus. Yeah, true, it's not the Phantom uh, Polo, it's the KMS yeah. Polo. It looked had like an advantage, like, half a car length is like new tires, new tires. It's so, a lot, yeah. 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 It could so be that Nick does is saving his tires for a final. They, they did have to use their tires, don't forget, as well, last night yeah. in um, in free practice. So free practice one was uh, was dry, free yeah. practice two was wet, but I think most people, I don't know if anybody had the chance to put wets on, because a lot of people got caught out by the rain coming yeah. in. But they all said that they were pulling off, weren't they, in oh, FP1. Oh, is so close to the Ed to Ed the and Johan both pulled off, didn't they, in yeah. FP1, to save a lap save. of tires. That's yeah. how crucial it is. It is. And I mean... Christopherson is doing a great job here, gapping to Christopher uh, to a uh, now. I think I think Eads parked at the side of the road. You think so? I'm not. I wasn't sure there was a car parked in the background after the right hander. Yeah, Brinderson. Brinderson's up to P3 in the background. Yeah, and he Enzo Eads parked on the right hander before the crest at Velodrome. So Christopherson is spitting on the fast lap time of the day for a 2.9, where uh, Grönholm has for 3.1. Into and the joker lap goes Christopherson now and Gronholm. Brinderson on the uh, standard lap coming up over the crest. Is he going to get to us either of them? I don't think he is. Nope. And there is Ender Eid parked yeah. on the left hand side. So we. something. Yeah, maybe, maybe contact the merger we didn't see. Brinderson's right there, isn't he? So Brinderson has got pace. He'll need to just find a little bit more tomorrow if he wants to make it through to the final. But Johan Christopherson, the Rally X Nordic champion from last year, is going to book his spot in the first Rally X final for this year. Up and over the crest, the number one car is going to take the number one position. Niklas Gronholm going to go through with him. Brinderson just misses out. Remember, top two go through. 258.4. And fastest lap time of the day. First uh, first to get below uh, 43 is, is Johan Christoffersen for 2.92. 258, 258.4? Yeah, 258.4. Andreas, why are the times coming down? Is it where he saved new tyres? Obviously, we don't know about yeah, the tyres. It's, we don't it's have very the hard to, to say. Like, the track could also be a bit faster. Perfect start. Moves over, squeezes gentle to Niklas. The curb is coming very tight there for him, so you have to back off and turn left instead of right. Yeah, nicely done. And Brinderson yeah. did the right thing to go yeah, joking yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I thought yeah. he would from that right side of the grid yeah. on row two. If yeah. you don't manage to get through, and you very rarely do, because they always shut the door on you, you might as well go joker from there. That is true. But at the same time, all right, he wants to challenge Johan and Niklas, uh, but they are so fast that if you follow them for a lap, you won't lose anything. That was Niels Anderson's dad in the middle, Per Eklund on the right, Tommy Christofferson on the left. Yeah. Spotting for Johan. And Molly is down with Tommy Christofferson now. So we're going to go and have a catch up with, uh, with Johan's dad. Tommy, just a few thoughts from you on the semi-final. I heard it was fastest lap time of the day as well. Yeah, I think the, the track developed a lot. And we know that the start was important for us because Niklas is quite fast and we can see also he follow quite easy. So, I mean, it will be tough in the end of the day, but this was one step in the right direction. So we are happy with that. And Johan's comments after the finish? No, he was just calm and say that it was, it was a good one. Okay. So we are happy so far. Thank you very much. Yeah. They're so calm, aren't they? It's just so calm. Yeah, the track's getting faster. It's all good, you know. <laughs>
You, you need to ask them if they have new tires on or, or not. Yes, yes, yeah. We need to tell Molly if you're listening. I know you're listening, Molly. Molly, we want to know about tires, so it, it, we're interested to know who's got new tires left. Because me and Andreas are not getting out of this room for another hour. And when well, we get out of it, I'm not coming back see, in here till tomorrow. If you see Joe Norton, he he should know. Yeah, he'll know. Here's the start again from yeah. the drone. Oh, it's so oh. tight. You see there, Niklas had to. Yeah. He had to brake, then turn left, then into the right turn. I wonder if Brinterson could have gone standard lap there, you know, which would, have, have, would have, have kind of given Grano a little bit of a headache. Yeah. But at the same time, he wanted to challenge Johan and Niklas, so he had to go Joker. We haven't seen what happened to Eid, have we? I wonder, no. I wonder what, whether Maybe it was... Maybe it pops up later now in the, in the highlights. No, this is the last lap, is it? Yeah, yes it is. That's coming around to the finish, so maybe we're not going to yeah. get to see it. Love a drone. Me oh, too. Do you want to try to fly it? Yes. Um, to can, see can, the video? Can, can you get it happen? It's terrible, dude. It went, it went, it went straight up Herrick, over the cafe. the legend. The legend. Yeah. Every, uh, FIA World Rallycross Championship pranked everyone with saying uh, Per Eklund was doing the full World Championship in an electric car this year. Uh, even I bought that one. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, I did. Mate. It took like 10 minutes. And That's proper gullible, yeah. I'm afraid. Yeah. 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 Although, I, who, would, who, who doesn't want to see Perek ah. do some more rallycross? You know, uh, we did a hill climb called Norway's toughest uh, hill climb here five years ago, six years, I don't know. And I was fortunate enough to share a, a cabin with Henning Solberg and Per Eklund. Every breakfast, lunch, dinner, I sat next to him, just listening to stories. You know, that man has some stories. It's, yeah, it's yeah. awesome, isn't it? Especially when um, when Johan Christoffersen was y younger and Per Eklund was feeding him with like pocket money yeah, to was. do uh, pranks. pranks on everyone. You told us about <laughs> a pretty good one. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what happened with Enzo's car, to be honest. It doesn't look the steering any, doesn't look damaged, does uh, it? Must have been some tr transmission. I mean, they've got all night to fix it, but it's yeah. obviously it's not ideal at all. It looks like today, like he has speed. He has shown that many times, so it's he looks so he looks really confident start. in the yeah. car. The turn one here yeah. takes a lot of commitment, doesn't it? And it I, does. I watched Enzo yesterday in FP1, yeah. and he came in over the crest with the car rotating, backed in. I was like, yes, yeah. you, know, you know, he's really properly on top of it. And yeah. that's, it's a commitment corner. It's a very different different Enzo than it was a year ago. Yes. A bit like Michelac, just big steps forward. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, semi-final two on the pole. Sandra Evgen alongside Anton Mark, and then it's Peter Hedstrom, Philip German on row two, and Hans Joran Ostreng and Nils Anderson on row three. Nils Anderson is in the similar grid position that is Linus Oslem was in a minute ago. Both those two stepping up from lights to supercar, and it is a big step. And, it really is. And this field here, you know, you have some brutal drivers with uh, Hedstrom in the middle there. Hedstrom, uh, is, Hedstrom doesn't take any prisoners off the no. start, so <laughs> watch for him in the black Hyundai on row two. But it's Evgen versus Markland on the front row. Markland's got to get the start right. He hasn't had brilliant ones so far today, but he gets a good one this time. Great start, needs to close the door on Hedstrom, not let Hedstrom think he can get through, but Hedstrom's inside into turn one. Markland's now got the inside line into turn two, and if I were Hedstrom, I might have committed to the yeah. Joker just slightly earlier there. He waited, didn't he, on the brakes? But uh, he goes through into P3, so at the minute it is uh, Evgen, Markland, and then, uh, no, well, sorry, yeah, and then he has gone. So Hedstrom has gone, Joker. Great execution from the start from Evian. Also, uh, I saw Philip German miss the start a bit reaction-wise. But today, Anton has been very, very fast on uh, lap times. He will try to chase down Evian and give him a run of his money. And a better start this time as well. Wasn't yes. you, you were saying swapping between supercars. We, I know we talked about the start procedure earlier, yeah. but they're all different, aren't they? Everyone. Different philosophy, different uh, kind of like barometers and stuff, and different feeling on the clutch. Uh, squat. How was everything. the Subaru to start? Hard. Yeah. Because it doesn't give any feeling. It doesn't squat anything in the start. Where uh, the Audi, for instance, the very Audi squats hard very much, on the start. Yeah, and you it? really know when you have the preload on. Yeah. So there's a little gap now between uh, Sondre and Marklund, which make them both uh, kind of drive in their, their own way. So yeah, very like I'm impressed with Sondre. Sondre. Um, is from Norway, closer to, to Bergen. Uh, often when I drive from Bergen to Oslo, I stop at his uh, shop. He have like 60 Fort Grace Beatles cars. Really? In shell and engines everywhere. It's, oh, that's it's, so it's cool, madness. Isn't it? uh, he have done so many steps over the winter. It's really cool to see him fly around with the JC Mark race. Markland goes Joker. So Markland's gone Joker. German stays on the standard lap. 
He'd be covering off anyone who is in behind. There's no one really for him to cover other than Hedstrom. Hedstrom has Joker, doesn't he? But he's showing us not Joker. He went Joker on lap one. I'm sure he did. We saw Hedstrom go Joker on lap one. Yes. So yeah. Hedstrom is showing us not Joker, but he's also showing us P6, which he isn't either. So, uh, so yeah, so looking out front, Evshen, German, Mark and Joker on that last one. Mark has now got a nail a couple of laps. Let's see whether or not he can get out in front of Sondra Evshen. Evshen's just got to keep it tidy out front. Last year, Sondra Evshen won the semi-final at the first two rounds. In fact, he won his semi-final at the first three rounds last year, twice in Neeson. And then once in uh, in Hollius, Evgen, of course, securing P3 in the series, so he knows what he's up to. Responds to Markham's Joker and just shuts the door. Tidily done from Evgen. Only the top two are going through. There is nobody anywhere near Evgen or Markland on this one. Sweeps around the long left-hander at Velodrome. I'm impressed with Devin. Yeah, it's tidy, say. no he's, pressure there he, at all, yeah, was yeah, there? Yeah, he's going to be up there. He's going to be... He's got, uh, is he going to be in pole position for the final? Uh, no, I'm not... Do you want to think of... He was... He was ahead of... Yeah, Christophe was P4, so he, yes. so he be might be. That's There's awesome. three semi-finals. I've that never is awesome. Yeah. But he goes to an Evgen, flicks the car over the line. So he's pleased with that. Mark and will be pleased as well. Anderson actually managed to get round as well. Niels Anderson got through and had a clear run. A little itch of the nose and a couple of blinks at the end of the race. Barely any time for blinking during the race. And certainly no time for blinking at the start. Awesome start by Evian and also Anton. Very, very similar. Uh, you know, it's not much to do from that position from Anton's uh, point of view. Very tight there with Hedstrom. Hedstrom does the right thing to go to the Joker. After understanding the battle for turn two is, is done. Um, great job. Okay, we've got one semi-final left Ryan to go. Butler. Yep. I'm impressed. Uh, JC Race Technique have uh, have done a great job with uh, all this. These are the old spec that uh, yes. Evian and uh, Vaby is driving with, and it looks on point. It actually looks like it's starting a little bit better than Matthias's car. Yeah, which Matthias won't like. <laughs> yeah, he won't like so that. Matthias is in the car which Christofferson used last year to win the World Rally Cross Championship, yeah. um, and that is the very latest car. He said, with, I asked him, and he said it's got, it's got all the latest yeah. bits on it, everything that we've yeah. done. Uh, it, so I have some news. Vaby yeah. is on new tyres. Yeah. Yes, or Matthias is unused. Um, Belevski, I think, has two new, and the rest of the field has new tyres. So sorry, who's on uh, the front row? Uh, front row, ex uh, Ekstrom has used. Vaby has new. Okay, so Vaby on the pole, OC Vaby on the pole, making his return to top level rally cross. But Ekstrom, a previous world champion, hasn't driven, remembers this car since the end of the world championship in 2020. He didn't even know it was the end of the series because, of course, COVID cut it short. And he gets a brilliant start this time. Matthias Ekstrom finally gets the start he's been looking for all day long. Shuts the door on OC Vaby in the background. But Levski goes through into P3. And that's the fastest three drivers. 100% the fastest three. Got standard lap immediately. Ah, oh, this is mega. I mean, like, the, the start uh, Matthias had there. Um, no, he has the confidence. No, he's a dangerous man. Oh, mistake Belev by Belevski. Yep. Belevski loses out. Daniel Toren up the inside line. Contact between them in the background. But Belevski's got the inside line. But only the top two are going through. And Andreas, that mistake might see him not make it through it might be uh, Belevski is a very very fast driver he's still in clear air so he have the chance to to gap Torren and Carlson and the, the rest of the field here but right now Carlson is looking fast do you think though that, that he can get into the top two because for me I don't think I don't uh, see Vaby making enough hard. of a mistake uh, I, I kind of forgot that there's only two cars oh, it's you may I get so, confused yeah. too it doesn't help that some categories it's two no. and some categories it's three so yeah I, I don't see him unless somebody gets a puncture or does a mistake but yeah you see here Matthias gapping um, he's gapping baby uh, Matthias did a 45.9 which is Eight tenths slower than what Johan had in Q3. So what did Johan do? We don't know. Of course, he, he we don't know. He did 0 in his first yeah. lap in uh, Q3. Ekstrom's putting a lot of rotation on the car yes. on, on the way into he, he the corner. He has used tyres. Uh, so talk, talk us around Ekstrom's driving through here. Cause you, you spent how long as a seat? Were you two years or a year as his teammate? Yeah, uh, one year. Yeah, but I know Matthias pretty well and. 
I know his standards are pretty damn high, and there's nothing to say about his driving. He, he no, but it's the, just the way yeah. he's... Look, again, here, look at the he's rotation on the car on the yeah. way in, and again here. But this track here, you can drive it in so many ways and really? still be fast. You can be smooth and still be fast. Yeah. But some points and some areas of the track, you need to be aggressive. Like this corner here, the velodrome, you need to be a bit smoother. But then again, here, you can be very aggressive. Look here now. Frank, yeah. sideways, back on throttle, over the jump we go. It's so good, isn't yeah. it? This is another... I wonder if we might be in for a decent race between yeah. him and Chris Doverson come the final. Yeah. Um, they're going to have to sort the grid out, obviously, first of all. We got with the three oh, seconds. 42.4. 42 so, so now we're in there. Uh, we, I'm just going to say, yeah, you and Christofferson did a 42.9, which was really, really fast. 42.4 is next level. Okay, so Ekstrom goes half a second quicker than Christofferson went, so is that the fastest step of the weekend? Oh, yeah. Okay, by, there by we go. Andreas just nodded and blinked. Yeah. It was it, serious. Th this is uh, Matthias giving the middle thing to everyone. Yeah, yeah. This, this, <laughs> is, everyone. this, this is the special <laughs> wave yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, the Matthias Ekstrom, He's the 2016 back. world champion who won last weekend at Poe in ETCR. The series is contesting. He won a stage oh, on the Dakar. He knows how to handle a car. He might not have been in it for two years, but he wins semi-final number three with the fastest lap of the weekend, 256.5. Is, is it two seconds quicker than Christopherson went in his semi? And it's three seconds quicker than Evshin. So Ekstrom's just absolutely smashed the semi-final timesheets on used tyres. So we know the track is coming to them a little bit. So it's as I read it now, it's going to be Sondra Evian, Johan Christopherson, and then... Um, we have Matthias Ekström, Niklas Grönholm. Uh, Mo Mo Molly's with Joe Norton. Let's head down and have a catch up with Joe. Joe, we've just seen Matthias take the, his semi-final win. He's dialed in the start now, hasn't he? Yeah, we've been struggling. Uh, we've been struggling all day, but uh, finally we think we've kind of nailed it. Uh, we managed to save some tyres. I think Vaby had four new there and we had four old. So yeah, to put in them times was uh, really good and looking promising for tomorrow. So what you're saying, he's got four new for the final? No, not four, but we won't give away anything. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Not four, but we won't give it. You've only given away the fact you haven't got four. I love Joey. So <laughs> it's Joe Norton, it's Joe, Joe, people were asking for more airtime for Joe Norton in backward life, yeah. weren't they? they? They basically wanted Norton life. Norton life. Yeah. Oh, he would hate it. Yeah, he, would, <laughs> he would hate he, it. He, would, he, he shouldn't follow him for a whole weekend with a camera. Just like, come on, Joe, what are you doing? Yeah. You have a cup of tea, Joe? What are you doing over there? What are you having for lunch? He'd, he would absolutely hate it, wouldn't he? But he's such a lovely bloke. Oh, he's, he's super calm. He's he was saying to me, Ekstrom normally has his spotting in Swedish. Yes. So I think this Yes. Uh, Joe thinks he's Ekstrom's first spotter speaking in English language, but he said, I do that speak true, very yeah. slow and calm when yeah. he spots, which he's, he's done for you. He's very good, and, uh, you know, he, he's got his tactics on point. He had been watching Rallycross for so many years, so look, aggressive, yeah. Look, yeah, look <laughs> yeah. at the rotation on the car. Again, yeah. coming down the hill, just everywhere, yeah. again, bang, on the brake, rotate yeah. the car. You know, this is Ekstrom at really his at his yeah. best, and yeah. I, I love watching it, yeah. I really do. Me too. Car control, control oh, no. Next level. Yeah. Yes. See, there is a bit Edward, of emotion in there. There's Viestas yes, in the background. Sebastian Eriksson was there as well. Was he? Yeah. yeah. A full crew here. Yeah, so Sebastian Eriksson, of course, ran with EKS and South Racing in the Dakar in a Can-Am yeah. and got P2 to Chalico yeah. Lopez on his first attempt at the yeah. Dakar, which is, which is incredible. Yeah. And EKS sort of heading in that direction a bit because, of course, Matthias is a factory driver with Audi in Dakar. So there isn't a lot. I mean, imagine winning the DTM, the World Rallycross Championship, stages on the Dakar, yeah. ETCR. You know, he is... He, it, Ekstrom and Christofferson are two of the modern-day all-rounder heroes, aren't yes. they? Yes. And I mean, like... the. The background of Matthias doing so many different championships and always in the top is, is like unbelievable to watch. Right, we're going to take a break just for a couple of minutes while we get ourselves ready for the finals. So stay with us. We'll put some lovely slow motion pictures up for you and we'll be back with the finals very soon. And after a break, we have a guest. Yes.
Matthias, winner of your semi-final. Isn't it nice when you see after hard work, you dialed in the start and it just worked perfectly? I don't think the start was so great. I think Ole Christian had a bad one. Uh, mine was OK, but then uh, on the track, I felt super happy just to have no one in front just to drive my pace. And I just enjoyed all the laps. And I noticed just before the start that you went out on used tyres. Maybe you went out on four new tyres. What does that actually mean? How many new ones do you have left now for the final? No, I will not put any new one today. Uh, I felt we take this day as a bit of practice and uh, leave a bit better tyres for tomorrow. So tomorrow is the day when we wanted to do well because no testing coming here. <laughs> and uh, still Johan and uh, uh, Niklas and Sondra are really good. But when you are on the back foot, I think... Yeah, just go out and have fun today and we try better tomorrow. Thank you. Well, it's been a fair old day already here at Hollyers for round one of Rally X 2022. I really hope you've enjoyed being with us. My name's Andrew Coley. This is the European Rallycross champion, Andreas Backerud. Hashtag great job today. Yeah, Snackerud. There are snacks here. Yeah. Look, I mean, you know. <laughs> and uh, and we here. have more here. <laughs> and then we have <laughs> licorice over there. <laughs> it's, it's not a good diet day, no. but that's fine. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. Molly Pettit is, of course, reporting from the paddock, and we'll be catching up with Molly very soon indeed. But we are getting to the business end of round one of Rally X 2022. And first up is Cross Car Junior. Now, I think it's important to note here the brilliant job that Lowry Hallinan did. I'm sure to driving. Get himself, yeah, absolutely right fantastic. Through. Right the way up into uh, basically the TQ. Then he won his semi final. He's now up against though, the reigning champion Lucas Anderson on the front row. All these drivers are capable of winning this. Uito, Yulalami, Nordstrand, and Veek. Great start by Hallen, and again, he's got that start absolutely nailed on. Uito up the inside in the background of Anderson. Managed oh. to go P2, but then spins from P2 down to P6. Hallen and Ask oh, facing around the wrong way. Come on, lad, nail it. Get it down the gears, spin it round. Hallen and leads from Yulalami. Yulalami has come up from row two into P2, but Hallen and with another banger of a start. Oh, yeah, absolutely nailed it. Uh, I mean, he has executed everything perfectly throughout qualifying, semi-final, final. He, how old was he? 12 years old? 12, yeah. yeah Lowry's 12, yeah. It That's was uh, it was uh, Oliver Solly who was 11. 11, yeah. <laughs> 11! And I know also Dennis Veek is, is 12, 13, 12. 12, yeah. Yeah, amazing. They yeah. really are. The, these, this, these kids here future. are the future of this sport. So yeah. if you want to nail yourself on as a sponsor to someone who's yeah. going somewhere, go and support one of them. Go on if you, if you fancy it, because there's, they'll all be looking for a bit of support to take the next step up the ladder. Don't look at the names it. on the screen, because that's not uh, the case right now. No. Oh, we have uh, Holland and Ghost. Joker, Joker really early. Yeah. I'm surprised by that, but yeah, fair enough. Too. What What do you think? I don't know. Hallen uh, has it uh, so far. No spotter, remember? No so Hallen has made that decision yeah. for himself. Remember, it's five laps. If he was feeling, I mean, he's covered off two people already. So Hallen is into P3. 
it's, it's about now whether really it's whether or not Yulalami wants to stay out. Yeah. Yulalami surely now stays out and tries yeah. to do the lap times. Trying to get gaps to, to Hallonen, that's uh, that's the key for the win. But that's as well, I think everybody here is pleased with uh, a podium in the first race of the of a new year. Hallinan is, uh, is, is winding the wick up. He really is. He's sideways in that hairpin the whole time. Yulalami coming oh, under pressure so from Anderson. This so is exactly tight. what uh, Hallinan wants. Anderson goes Joker. Hallinan's going to swallow him up. Hallinan swallowed him up easier. This is about the win, remember. So Hallinan manages to get past oh. the gentleman. He tries to shut the door. Nordstrand up to P3. Yeah, reigning champion Anderson drops back another position. Oh, and oh. then swaps again as they on the exit, finds better traction. That's a mistake now. Looking up the inside, three different passes. The junior drivers just pass, pass, pass. That's cool. That is cool. Like, we see very good racing here. People respect each other and, uh, yeah, overtakes inside, outside and yeah. inside. <laughs> everything, everything. So lap three of five. Remember, it's five laps now. We're in the finals. Yulalami leads from Hallinan as they cross the line. What is the gap between them? Let's have a look and see. It's getting oh, tighter. Uh, Hallinan is, is having this in his pocket, isn't he? 1.4 seconds is the gap we can see on our timing screen. Ignore the graphics on your screen. Got a couple of issues there, I'm afraid. But it's going to be very close. Oh, I think he's closing close. it down, Entrance. Yeah. I think it's less than 1.4 now. Yeah. What are you, look yeah. at this. He's eating him alive. Yeah. It's going to be very close between Ilolami and uh, Anderson. Anderson, yes. Looking down now to see last year's... All the way up to the limiter here, down the crest, down the hill. Last year's results, it, it, was, a, it was a good season for Lowry, but he only had a, a P3 in round one. So his best result was round one last year, but of course that was elsewhere. We're at Nissan in Denmark. We're on lap four or five, he's got one lap to go. Just got to keep a calm head. How much pressure is he coming under from behind? What's the gap like back there between? It's Hallen and Anderson. So Anderson is still right there. He's only a second off the back of Hannon. Into the joke lap now goes Yulalami. Anderson coming up to the back between Hannon and Hannon and comes through though and takes the lead. So Hannon in the lead for the final lap. Can he get it done here? Close on the merge of the background. Yulalami may lose a position oh. here, but a contact between them. No Drops trying back one third. more. So it's your reigning champion, Anderson, in the 99 car, trying to chase down. Lowry Hallen and Hallen has had an absolutely brilliant yeah. day. He's been fantastic. He's been in the commentary box. He's delivered the licorice to Andreas Baccarat, but more importantly, he's delivered on track. He took his first ever top qualifier spot. Fantastic drive by him. He backs it into the last corner, and Lowry Hallen takes his first ever win in junior cross car. Great drive by the very likable young man. Fantastic. Oh yes, yes, yes. He he have. Executed the job perfectly all weekend. He's stepping yes, out mate. of the car. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get goosebumps. That's so Me cool. Too. 12 years oh, old. Oh man, Dude, that's, that's amazing. so good, isn't it? Yeah, all the sponsors he have on the car. A big well, thank maybe you. Licorice. Oh, maybe licorice. licorice and donuts. Oh, I'm so yes. I'm so pleased for him. I really am. Yeah, me too. He, he oh, can, oh, no, no, up we, on the roof. <laughs> so as good. Well. The kids now have to celebrate yeah. way better than the adults, don't they? <laughs> they do. Oh man, and they won't even have a hangover tomorrow. Yeah, you know? that's true. Right, they'll probably have <laughs> they far can, too much yeah. sugar tonight, won't yeah. they? It'd be uh, like, oh. yeah. Oh, unlucky for Ito, yeah. Ito spinning in uh, yeah, in Done a great one. job all the weekend. So. Yeah. You know, Hallen and what he, the early tried. Joker's interesting. Yes. Psychologically, yeah. it takes. Nordstrand went straight to the Joker, the Norwegian. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But this, so this was Hallen on lap great two race. or three. Yeah. Went in really early, had enough of a gap to, to slot back in be, before any of the slow drivers, and then yeah. just sort of hunted them down and picked them off. And he, yeah. like we said, he was right with Yulalami. You see, his driving is hitting every point perfectly. Really good but drive. But the gap dropped down a bit in the end there. It, well, and yeah. he, he was getting closed down, wasn't he, yeah. by Anderson. So reigning champion Anderson is, is not going to give it up too easily. Yeah. But that is a fantastic drive with Hallen, and, and I think Molly is with him right now. I certainly am. Lowry, what a brilliant job you have done all day today. Getting the win here in Helios. How does it feel? Very good. The first win in Rally at Nudic. Wow. <sighs> Take us through that final. Yeah, I'm I mean, uh, the first corner I'm uh, thinking is where anybody else are, and the, the second lap I see the Uito is then uh, uh, DNF, and I'm going to Joker, and I see the uh, Uli Lambi and the uh, Lucas Anderson. I'm going very fast over there, I'm getting him, and yeah, I'm winning. Show us what it's like to win here at Helios. Let's go! <laughs> Thank you.
That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, I'm happy for for everyone. Yeah, me too. Hallinan wins from reigning champion Anderson, and it's Carl Peder Nordstrand who gets P3 in round one of Junior Cross Car. Awesome, awesome drive, great racing, cool, class. Okay, on to Cross Car. Quick jiggle of paperwork yeah. on the desks here. <laughs> I'm <laughs> onto doing the, the same on, thing. Done, done. <laughs> onto the next one. Front row, Elias Svensson and Ig Merstad. Row two, Gustafsson, Halberg, and it's Pentanen and Rajler at the back. Gustafsson remembers come up this from Junior Cross Car. Yeah, revs super high there. Ig Merstad got a good start. Halberg on the outside too, but it's another banger of a start for Elias Svensson. Gets the whole shot into turn one. Round the outside line, Ig Merstad surely going to go. Joker from there doesn't rotate the car in. Halberg, look how oh. soft the car is. Grabs though on the inside of the curb there. Pitches up and then rides over the jump. The front right riding up on the back there. As he came over the crest, so Halberg lose some time. Might be able to get this car on the exit now if he can get a bit of extra traction. Wheeling up over the crest, Halberg along side in P4, going to now try the cutback, see if he can get up the inside of Gustafsson, oh he does, Gustafsson the junior driver has to give way to Halberg, but Gustafsson's really impressed me and this is not over yet. It's not over yet and Svensson, what a traction he found out from the start there, he was side by side with uh, Ek Mursta, but putting second, third, fourth gear on, on the gravel there, he, he really gapped him, um, easy, not easy, but easy into turn one, uh, he have it. Lap one is so crucial. Uh, Musta is all over him, so it's going to be a tight one all the way to the checkered flag. Mustad's going to pile that pressure on. You've got to keep it on. You look Very at the line now. he's taken through yeah. there to get the Very extra. It really nice yeah. rotation, but in fact loses time. Loses I thought he would have gained a yeah. bit of time there. Yeah. Oh man, come on, get it done. It's going to be tight now. Let's see if uh, Ek Musta is going to the Joker or not. I just, I love seeing how Mustard physical the cars are. You, yet, you, so. you know what the emotion's like yeah. in there. You know, they're, they're absolutely on it. Yeah. Rajla in the background is the luminous yellow car, yeah. I believe. The question now oh, is... Oh, Rajla's put wheels off on the inside yep. line, so Rajla maybe not where he wants to be. Check the gap back from Rajla. Sorry, forwards from Rajla. 3.6. Rajla could get Gustafsson, but probably not. Merstad's gone in, so Merstad's gone in. This might cover off Rajla. Fastest on lap is Svensson. Super close on the merge, got Very to shut close. the door. Oh. Gonna try and get through it, contact between them. Just holds on, Ek Merstad. Now gonna get past on the exit, bit of contact between I'm them again. Uh, we have a problem with uh, the Gustafsson. The rear right, rear right's broken. The rear right's broken there on Rajala's car, Rajala's, the luminous yellow yes. machine, so that you just saw yeah. it collapse yeah. on the way in. Yeah. Oh man, it's Commitment. all going on. Commitment. It's all going on. Yeah. This gives uh, Svensson a bit of a breathing room, you know. Uh, Musta lost a bit there. Um, what happened with Gustafsson, I don't know, but there uh, must have been something in the merge or something. I don't know whether Merstad was responding behind to the to the lap times of Rajla. Maybe yeah. they thought Rajla was quicker. Oh, Look at that, tidily in yeah. from Svensson. Yeah, Svensson the, the leader, trying to cover off Merstad oh, now. Going to try and shut the door here. Merstad losing too much time in that battle. We go on board with the drone and Vigo through the right-hander. Look how dirty it is offline, up and over the crest. He's Still got one and a half to go. Lap to yeah. Go, yeah, sorry. <laughs> No, it's all good, all good. But Merstad's now a little bit too far back. Before, I felt he was in a position to maybe be able to apply some pressure, but I must but not say, quite. Svensson has been putting down the fastest lap times uh, in this final, where number two, three, and four, everyone is very consistent on the same lap times. On to the final lap then for the first round of Cross Car Rally X 2022. Svensson, Merstad in the background, it's Pentanen and Halberg. Halberg right up behind oh, Pentanen, five tenths of a second Straight between part. them. Over the top of that crest, big jump from Merstad. Svensson's been great though, all day long. The drone lens has got a little hit there, you can see, <laughs> that's cool. I don't know how you they, get some you don't know how they manage it, do you? Although <laughs> Vigo was telling me at Race of Champions that he got the car completely stuck up in, in roost from somebody in front. Svensson though, coming down the hill, one, two qualifying sessions, great job with that. And he's about to come through, having won the semi-final as well, up and over the crest. It was a bit of pressure at the start of the race, but it's been a great drive all day long. And nice. it's Elias Svensson who takes the win in cross car round one, 2022. Merstad right there with him. And a brilliant battle behind Pentanen and Halberg separated by just two tenths of a second. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, yeah, go on. What a win.
knows how to do the donuts as well. Not a single mistake all the way through the final. Remember round two is tomorrow. Yeah, I don't hope he needs to use those tires <laughs> That's tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking too. <laughs> Leaking That's some water out there, too. probably a bit hot the, the water. Great stuff off the start. So here you can see Gustafsson in the 199 in the background got a great start, but Merstad was shutting the door into turn one. Gustafsson then ran a little bit wide in the background, straight into the Joker there. So this was this was Halberg making the pass, got great traction on the exit, and then goes inside. Gustafsson had done really well up to that point, but but Halberg was piling the pressure on. He just ran a little bit wide, but from Svensson out front, and then Merstad Merstad went. We weren't sure whether or not that was to cover off Rajala behind or or. It was tight. The merge. <laughs> it was tight. It was oh. tight. And then. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, right. up the, and then that was where the right car broke. So Raja yeah. look, looks for it here, and just a bit of contact. Yeah. Now it's actually the rear right, so yeah, maybe over right. the curb on the inside. No, no, I think in the incident, in the in the merge there, you know, yeah. in turn. And then that left then Penton and, and uh, Halberg to have a decent battle for the rest of the final. And in fact, yeah, Alex Gustafsson got pushed towards the back, but a brilliant drive by Svensson, really well done. He wins the first round of Rally X Crosscar 2022. And here we have him, winner of round one, Elias Svensson. Did you feel the pressure out there? I see you breathing a big sigh of relief now at the end. Yeah, I, I, the car has been, uh, been uh, really good the whole day, so, yeah. I, I, I... <laughs> it feels good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm, re I'm really happy. Love it. Great job. Really, really impressive driver. And uh, nice to have another top class cross car peddler in, in the championship, isn't it? Yeah, it really absolutely. is. Absolutely. It's going to be an interesting championship. And uh, it was tight between uh, Elias and Thomas there. When you think as well, any, any of these guys could yeah. have won. There's yeah. probably another six draw. Well, we know for a fact Osterberg yeah. could have won. There's, there's so many drivers that weren't in the final that could have done. Cool uh, of Alex to come from uh, from junior yeah, last year. Yeah, make the final make in the his final. first one. Yeah, and then we've got the likes of Baldins. He's got a new car, hasn't got it dialed in. Like yeah. cross car could get lively as the season oh, goes yeah. on. It's on fire. Yeah, really good. So Svensson Flames takes everywhere. the first one of those. Uh, we've got an open two-wheel drive final coming up, but we've managed to snag another guest. We've got George McGinnis in the commentary box with us. So, George, man, how's it going? I'm so great. You know, could have been better if I made it into the final, but so happy to be here with you guys anyway. Well, at least you get to spend time with uh, me and Andreas. I mean, you know. I know, right? You guys are <laughs> such a good time. And I get free snacks while I'm here. So yeah. Why there you go. Be here? This is from EKS. I actually bought this to, to, to Matthias on EKS and the Andreas other day. Andreas bought the snacks at some, a Swedish sweet shop. They've got really good yeah. sweet shops. Oh, yeah. Why? Uh, I mean, it's cheaper here in Sweden than in Norway. Yeah, it's so about, that's about Norwegian that's goes over the border to, 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 buy, to sweets. buy sweets. This is like a thousand pounds worth of sweets <laughs> in Norway. If you've never been to Norway, don't go unless you've got loads of money. It's um, a beautiful country. You should no, go. It's a beautiful country. It is a beautiful country. But bring your own food. Yeah. <laughs> and beer. Um, yeah. <laughs> George, mate, welcome back to, to Rally X. Of course, I saw you a bunch of times last year at Nitro Rallycross, NRX Next. But you'd only started your, your debut, really, in the lights cars was at Arvika and the last year that went well nrx next went well and now you come to hollius yeah so we made the decision uh, early this year to come to hollius uh it was my birthday and christmas present sweet uh couldn't have asked for anything better i've had an amazing trip so far i've got to practice a lot of swedish um, yeah dude you've learned swedish over the winter <laughs> yeah i've actually been learning it for about eight months now so oh. i've uh, oh yeah probably huh. so so i know you have done laps here but on dirt yes i have how many Hard to say. And I'm, what car are you driving? So Kevin, <laughs> Kevin's going to hurt me, but I actually, I'm 151st in the world fastest on a one lap pace what? in your Audi. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> but better than that, I know he's, he's faster than Timmy and Kevin on Dirt Rally. Yeah. Which I, he, like, that, that was a bit of an achievement for you, wasn't it? Yeah, that took me a lot of time. How many get, hours? I think I'm over 700 now. 700 <laughs> hours. Do you realize? What? Do you realize? That's a lot of... And then there's iRacing, NWRC 10. You do iRacing? Oh, yeah. And then we I should the come Xbox together. As well, so. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Rally there's X more. bringing together deals on sweets and, and yeah. iRacing. We, we need to get back to the race. Su Super National, this, two with the. Uh, two, yeah. yeah. Two wheel drive. Two W. Two, two, two wheel drive. Do you like that stuff? Oh, my God. I love it's it. Cool, it. Right? All the cars are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I love the rotary in the. Yeah. Which one's the English? 
because we can't tell from here. Tiger, right? It's tiger. Tiger. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we're Bank trying to remember from last year. Which are right. Here we go. Jonas Delseth Jakobsen and Simon Tiger on the front row. It's been a great day for Delseth Jakobsen, but Simon Tiger is the reigning champion. Row two, Simon Endvik and Frederick Agadal. And then on row three, it's Jonny Pekka Rajala and Marcus Johansson. Wow. Johansson, sorry. Like Look it. at the smoke out the back of Tiger's car. He normally gets a great start, oh. but it's not going to be enough this Jonas time. Probably have it now. Or trying to outdrag him up towards turn one. Can he get around the outside? Simon Tiger, the reigning champion, can't. Is he now going to get mugged from behind off? Oh. Over the dirt on the inside line. Manages to keep three all cars. the tyres on. Hooking him behind that is a bit of a rest, but three cars go straight to the Joker, and Simon Tiger's gone standard lap. Yeah, I mean, uh, Orgadal was in the squeeze there. He decided early to go to the Joker. Unfortunately for him, uh, Johannesson and Engsvik went uh, before him, so he should have turned, but it's easy for me to say from, from the commentary uh, box. <laughs> uh, welcome to my world. Yeah, <laughs> it's so yeah. easy, isn't it? It's nice up here, yeah. mate. We just get to go, look at that yeah. world. You should driver. have done like this and that. Yeah, especially, Dude. I mean, it's okay for you to say yeah. you've actually won stuff in Rallycross. I'm yeah. like, well, that's absolutely terrible. It's like, <laughs> he says about the four time champion, or something, you, you know. Yeah. But that's the game. George, you're loving these cars. Which one do you want to, do you want to try? Uh, I have to say, Tiger's car is just a <laughs> Everybody's monster. There's a, there's a long queue, mate. Even Liam Doran wants to try yeah. that, you know? Yeah. It's quite interesting, though, that the third car would have gone into the Joker after seeing the two cars go in, because yeah, it's yeah. never a good idea to be the third oh, it's car tight, into the Joker. It's tight. Right, here oh. comes the merch. Ah, uh, Tiger still got it. So Lost the rear just bumper. Holds That's on. nothing. Yeah, just fixed that. On. Just tomorrow. a flesh wound. Yeah. <laughs> Lighten up the car. So Simon Tiger trying to chase down Jakobsen. You see all the rubber in the velodrome now. Look at the top, look at the flames on the upshift there we saw from Tiger's car. You won't see it in the higher RPM, but we saw it. Might see it on when he lifts off. Drone shots are just oh, epic, cool. they really are. What a great addition. He needs to get closer with the drone, like last year, that was mega. We can have a, we'll have a word with him <laughs> tonight. This was actually a challenge, because I think maybe he hears us. <laughs> he might be able to hear us, yeah. actually, but I think Vigo as well as He's on. had so many lenses smashed. Oh, he's maybe, coming closer. <laughs> maybe, maybe stay further back, because yes, he hasn't got man. many drones left. Yes, man. <laughs> Here we That's go. That's it, now we're close. Now, there he is, he's made it into the shot. So, yeah, yeah Vigo, Vigo knows what's up. Look, look in the velodrome, how much rubber there is now. Yeah, it's completely different. So yeah. in the dry, that's fine. If it were to rain, and we yeah. haven't got any rain in the forecast, does that yeah. then get slippery? Yes, yes, it right. does. Right, really so you alter your lines? You would like to go above it and then cross back on the inside of it. So, yeah, it changes a lot. We walked the track here the other day, didn't yeah. we? Turn one. What's in turn one? What's in turn one? Tire marks from yeah. Ken Block. Yes, the donuts. The donuts he did with the start uh, Yeah, the Project electric. D-Car. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we, did you send in the picture or not? 20, no, I, 2020. I yeah, we, we, we'll send that to Ken yeah. later. You see yes. how much sand there is in turn. You can probably turn see it actually from the drone. You can probably yeah. see the tire, the donut tire marks into yeah. the joke lap and out of the joke lap goes Jakobsen. Tiger was closer than I thought he might be, but Jakobsen's responded very quickly yeah. and, and, and he's still yeah. in the lead. So Tiger Simon, is pretty close to Jonas. Yeah, he's got to Much try and apply some pressure. So George, are you happy with day one? I mean, obviously you wanted to be in the final. That hasn't happened, but that's the way it goes. Like, what, what are you thinking? Uh, I've only had 23 laps here in person uh, total, and I'm racing up against Oliver Erickson, Kevin yeah. Erickson, uh, Martin Enlin, Casper Anson. These are all like really experienced drivers at this oh, track. Simon oh. Tiger, take a look. Sorry to interrupt George. Simon Tiger going to try oh, and get a look. Oh. Spins, no. Oh, almost gets collected on the exit. I think he might have broken the car, is he, in that attempt? But Simon Tiger went for the move. He was right there. He One had to more try. Lap to go. Yeah, he, he had to try. There Can was he get gap. it going? Is it, has he got it going? I think I think yeah, Johannesson but, but, might have got yeah, through as just well. Just behind Johannesson. Oh no way! We're on the final lap. Let's get this done. Then we can talk to George again about the lights because we've got lights coming up next. So. Jonas is driving so well. Yeah, Jakobsen into the long left hander up at Velodrome on the power now down the straight. Won all three sessions earlier on today. Won the semi-final pretty much untouchable, really. Simon Tiger was untouchable last year, but he's now got a fight on his hands for this year's series because Dalsith Jakobsen is looking very good in the rear-wheel drive polo. Going to take the first win of 2022 in open two-wheel drive. Simon Tiger got close to him, but not quite enough. Engsvig is right there as well. Oh, oh. Tiger spins around. He had us and go on backwards over the line. Go on. Oh, come on. So Tiger gets it, but I think that will get swapped yeah. personally. I think they'll give that to Johannesson. Johannesson will want to get there before Ragula. Oh, hang on a minute. 
Oh, is he, he, is he going to have words? Is he going to have words? This Rajala, but we want to see what's happening between uh, Tiger Rajala and Johansson. Opening and closing. But, oh, are they, oh. oh, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Watch this. I think it already no, happened. No, he's not happy. Yeah. Not happy at all. Not happy. And it in the background, been... this comes right. Look at that. that that's some yeah. camera work, yeah. isn't it? We see the little yeah. argument. We go to Rajala. But we got to see Rajala opening the door and closing it. Yeah, so brilliant. I mean, like, that was cool. Brilliant. Oh, that's a bit of a misfire. Correct, yeah. Well, maybe tomorrow you can just drive the one yeah. car and, and chill out a little bit. But a win for Jakobsen. Andreas, Norwegian over the border in open two-wheel drive. You guys yeah. have got such a strong scene in this Very category. Very high level. Yeah. You know, uh, it's but, it, but normally, normally Tiger would beat uh, Jonas in the start. And he have catched up with Jonas. Like, he was fairly close and also faster lap time than uh, Jonas had in the final. So Jonas did a 47.7 where Tiger did 47.3. So I've got a thought for you. When we go to... Uh, See all the sand coming into the yeah. now? It's massive. When we head to Kuvala next, yeah. Kuvala's got a long tarmac start yeah. straight. Is that going to play into the likes of Simon Tiger's hands? I mean, Probably, obviously, yes. there's the rest of the lap, but if the start makes a big difference. It does, uh, but Jonas's car looks better on the in the turns, you know. But I don't know. It's going to be a bit difficult to, to spot. I hope he's got a lot of those rear bumpers because yeah. he's, he's lost throughout three yeah, Here we go. He's trying this on the inside. This was the attempt. So you did know? he then get on the gas too? And then he got on the gas. It was entirely his own fault. He loses the grip on the rear, spins around. I tell you what, though, he did well. Like where Jakobsen's, yeah. if he hadn't got on the gas, oh, just that a little bit too much. Oh. That gives you an idea of how much power yeah. there is there, doesn't it? Yeah. Props. Props to Tiger though for having the well-being to not keep hitting the throttle and uh, yeah. get T-bone there to have the peace of mind. Jonas, so calm down. congratulations! That's a win here at round one of Rally X, and it's been it's been a good fight all day today. But you've been quite dominant. How do you feel? Yeah, uh, it's been really tough and uh, yeah, a really enjoyable trek and uh, yeah, good fun. Tell me about the final, you know, from start to finish. Uh, yeah, the final was okay. I lost the front brake some places, I don't know why, but yeah, in some corners I didn't have front brake, so I was trying to play it a bit safe, but suddenly it was on the inside there and uh, yeah, so, but it was okay. And first race weekend of the season, how good is it to be back and to be here at Helios? I had so much fun, fun on this track and I've been driven rally, rally cross for 10 years and I've never been on a, such a fun, fun, fun circuit. Thank you very much. Thank you. So that is uh, a good result then. Yeah, it's somebody... awesome. It's like I said, uh, he had been around for Rallycross for 10 years and he had never been to Hollius and this is his first time. I mean, Mate, like, he, he shows impressive. his class. Yeah. Clean sweep, you know? Yeah. Clean it's sweep. the kind of guy you want to see move yeah. up to supercar, isn't yeah. it? With, with, with talent like that. But yeah. that, that's, that's a budget thing, I'm afraid, usually. But he's he's takes together. Ah, oh, okay. I'm not going to go into family details. Like, <laughs> it's it's all in the paddock. <laughs> that's all good, mate. That's, that's rally cross for you. Yeah, there's a lot of people uh, Josh, who know each other. What do you other. think of my drawing of the track? Is this correct? Honestly, Turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's nine. That's incredibly accurate. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me give you an accurate rendition of the grid while uh, George and Andreas admire Andreas's drawings here. Kevin Erickson on the pole. Martin Jonsson alongside Simon Olofsson and Kasper Janssen on row two. And then it's Enland and Emil Persson on row three. Oh, good oh, start. Oh, great start on row two it was for Simon Olofsson. But Kevin Eriksson still gets the best start down to the first corner. Somehow, once he gets that car off the line, look, look how far in front he is yeah. in, in turn two. And now Kevin Eriksson's out front. I think Olofsson's gone straight to the joke lap, has he? It was a very clean turn one, two there. It was, wasn't it? Really clean. So it's Jonsson who is... Um, who's in P2 at the moment. Jonsson, of course, followed, I think followed Kevin Eriksson to the line. No, Jonsson won the semi two, sorry, earlier on today. And then we've got Casper Janssen is in P3 at the minute. So it was Enland who went, is the first of the cars is Joker down the hill now. George, what's that part of the track like for you? Like com when you compare the sim to sitting in the, the lights car? Uh, it's, there's no, there's no way to show you how much elevation change there is going down that hill unless you walk in real life or drive in real life. It how, is so steep. How cool is it the first time free practice one? Oh my god, I was going <laughs> so slowly because there's <laughs> so much more to this track than there is in the game. Yeah. Yes, there's a couple of little crests under the crest in the yeah. braking zone for the right-hander at the bottom of the hill. Just little elevation changes. Yeah. You get it, Andrew. Especially yeah, with the velodrome, there's so much banking when there's basically zero in the game. I'm going... Kevin here is going really well, uh, executing everything perfectly from the start to uh, to now in lap two, entering lap three soon. Uh, he got it all dialed in. He's doing 
for, the, for 9.6 the first lap. They take quite a lot more road on the exit than supercar do. Yeah. Let the car run a little bit more. Yeah, you have less horsepower, you know, you can't slide as much. You see the sand there in turn two. Exactly where you want to <laughs> rotate the car is, uh, yeah, it's hard. But it's very tight here between second and fifth. Yeah, I'm trying to see what's what's the gap down. Yeah, but is Enland, what's the gap from Enland up to at the minute? Enland is plus 3.4. Yeah, so when Simon Olofsson, who hasn't jokered, Simon is actually fastest now with a 45.5, where Kevin has a 46.1. So, but I do think he's a little bit too far behind to catch him. I might be tempted if I were Kevin. Yeah, to Would you go now? now? I might yeah. go now yeah. but, and just know because there's it's going to be, be tight. It's going to be tight in the background, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Enland, Ace, he's got the advantage of Enland coming up on traffic. He's not going to go. You see, this is typical yeah. of top level drivers uh, not going until you see later. Janssen's going yeah, now. Casper Janssen gives goes the Joker. chance to Olofsson to catch up. Look at Janssen's line into there, oh, but they're not so good on the exit, yeah. and he hit the pole as well. Too, so. too, too much speed into the. I liked the, the entry. Yeah. <laughs> the entry <laughs> was, was good, yeah. So, what's, what, what do you find, like, compared with these guys which you have been driving with the whole day, where did you miss the speed? Uh, you know, um, I wasn't really missing any speed. It was, uh, you were in traffic the whole day. I was in traffic the whole day. Yeah. Um, so the starts, you're going to manage them better tomorrow? I'm, I had pretty good launches. It's just that I would go into turn one, and then I'm like on the outside. T-bone. Yeah. yeah. It's just bad luck. I like this. Time. It's always somebody else. It's like what yeah, I would have he, said. You know, exactly. Right. He, no, no, it's the crucial moment here. George knows what's up. Into the Joker lap goes your leader, Kevin Erickson. It's going to be close. All coming out. Through the right hand oh. and out, much closer than we thought. Olofsson's going to get him, is he? Olofsson yep. does get him. So Simon Olofsson, no, he's not jokered. Simon's not jokered. Are he's not showing us jokering on the timing screen either. So has Olofsson got his joker tactics wrong? Ooh. He's not showing on the timing screen or, or your graphics up top. I thought he had jokered the lap one. Uh, if he's joking on lap one, then we've missed it on timing as well, because it's not showing on the timing screen either. You might be right, mate. I must be honest. I'm okay, not so really sure. Not sure does. either way. Coming oh. up to Olofsson, goes deep, and then he takes oh, that's any it. He's done. away because Kevin done. Erickson goes up the inside line anyway. Oh, yeah. And it's He's Erickson going who's going to take it out yes. the line. <laughs> I mean, that's Regardless of whether or not Olofsson did joker or not, which that is class. our screens are saying he didn't. I mean, Kevin is showing his his drive here, you know. He's jumping straight into a lights car. He have not driven a lights for many years. He comes in and he, 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 he wins the race. Yeah, so uh, again, Plus, some seriously, seriously quick young good, good drivers. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, George. <laughs> right, let's see if we can see what happens with Olofsson. Does he joker? And we've just completely missed it on timing as well. So, Kevin up into the first corner. Look at the room he gets given by Jonsson. So, yeah, I think you're right. I think yeah. Olofsson does go joker. He does. So, Olofsson has yeah. jokered. So, timing have missed that, I'm afraid. So, our apologies. So, Olofsson would have won that. Yeah. We've got to get oh, timing losing it fixed for tomorrow. In yeah. the last corner. Got it. That's, he just went so big over the yeah. jump. And it literally... Oh, look at that. It looks like something broke or something happened. And he had a big, big, big entry. Impact. Like, yeah. he had just no stopping at all. And Kevin saw that immediately. Went straight on the inside. That was cool. Really yeah, sure. You see their respect. Pass. You know, you see... Uh, Kevin sees Olsen coming from the normal line. Breaks. Oh. So he was offline. He was yeah. way off to the Breaking left -hand on the side. Dirt. George, we're going to say thank you very much, mate. We've got one race left to go to wrap this show up. Good effort. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, what do we got? Yes, very quickly. Very quickly. Uh, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Robert. <laughs> hi, Leah. I'm going to go now. <laughs> Thanks, mate. We, we said <laughs> thank hi you to for the all birthday. We, yeah. <laughs> See you, dude. We know, uh, we know very well that uh, George's family are all watching. Cheers, mate. George McGuinness's family are all watching at IMSA over at uh, Mid-Ohio, which is where we had the final round of ARX a couple of years ago. But Molly is with Kevin Erickson, who won in that final corner after some confusion, it has to be said, with the timing screens. Kevin Erickson, that was unreal. That is how you win a rallycross final. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It felt quite good there in the front, I must say, but I heard it was tight all the way. And yeah, I maybe mean, we could have taken some more risk, but uh, I knew already when I came here that this is not a walk in the park. These guys are fast. And I, obviously I raced them before, but you know, they have not stopped their growth either. So uh, I'm very impressed by the pace. It, it's fast, uh, but yeah, super nice to get that win. Uh, tomorrow I know I need to be 101% and not 100 or 99% when I lead. So. Uh, 
Hopefully we can be here tomorrow again, but I, I really enjoyed today. Uh, it started really rough, I would say, with the problem there, and then, then a couple of wins, so feels really good. Uh, so much fun, I had so much fun, and you know, it's so tight, but I love spec cars. That's why I'm here. I, I want to get back in spec car racing. That's what I'm going to do forward in my career as well. It's a different kind of racing. It's much tighter. All the cars are the same. So, yeah, and yes, you see, I, I guess that was one of the closest finish I've ever had. Even maybe as tight as got speed last year in, in uh, California. Unreal, thank you. He's referring there, I think, to the uh, the battle, wasn't he, with yeah. Scott, which has got to be one of the best battles last year of Nitro oh, Rallycross. Tenths, less than two tenths. Yeah, Olofsson, Olofsson two tenths. tenths behind. And yeah, we, I say, unfortunately, our timing screens and the graphics uh, matched up to say that Simon hadn't joked. We thought he might have missed it, but he had gone on lap one. There's a lot going on, so apologies to Simon. But yeah, great, great final. Interesting what Kevin's saying there. A little hint at his plans for the yeah. future. You know, I'm going to be spec racing where all the cars are the same. We, we know what's up, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. We know what's up. <laughs> you, you impressed us all today so uh, Kevin great drive this final here is interesting Sondra Evian in pole position just hear the names Christofferson Ekstrom Grönholm Baby Marklin <laughs> yeah. he's nervous yeah. he's puking oh, he's, mate, he's not he, eating he's yeah. not drinking I know the guy he's so nervous right. <laughs> you, you, can you imagine can you imagine he will one? love it and hate it so much I'd be yeah anyway here we go let's see whether or not he's going to love it all once right. we get out of the first couple of Ekstrom corners Ekstrom is on old tyres he's saving his four new tyres for, for tomorrow because you can save four tyres and use them for tomorrow's race so he's not using it. Here we go then, Sondra Evgen. Can he stand up to the pressure of five World Rallycross Championships around him? Four of them are on the front row with him. One behind from Ekstrom. Dip those cars down on the handbrakes, get the revs up, and here we go. Oh, it's a and decent yeah. start for Evgen on the inside line. Gonna get up alongside Christophson, gonna push Christophson wide. Ekstrom gonna oh. move in. Oh, two wheels, Christophson goes around the outside. Ekstrom gonna go Joker straight away. Christophson is in the wall. Ekstrom's in the wall on the outside line. Markham leading of the cars have gone straight into the joke lap now. Christofferson, I think, leads. Is it from Baby or is it from Evian? Yeah, Evian, Evian. Evian oh. is second. Wow. Whoa, what happened there? Well, what happened how there? did Ekstrom end up in the wall? Did he get fired uh, from the rear? There was so much going on in turn one. Too much speed. I have no idea. Stuff happened. Stuff Christopherson happened. leading them from Evian. Everybody else is joking, so we need yeah. to see the gap between Markland and Christopherson. Anton Markland could have put what an absolute blinder there? here. Yeah. He's got clear track. There's so to much me. sand in turn two now. So much sand. So watch for Christopherson. What did is Mark the gap back to Anton Markland? What is the gap back to him? Look how much sand there is now. Everywhere. Oh, and you're oh, deep looking so here, hard. missing apexes by a mile. Yeah. So Markland 2.7 back. Markland is within striking ha, has distance. Has Joker? I think he did on that one. I'm not he? really oh, sure. Oh, mate, don't kill me with that no, now. I'm not. <laughs> so Christopherson up and over the crest into the left hander, followed by Evgen. We saw Ekstrom going in the wall. There was just so much happening in that first corner. Christopherson down the hill now. He's, he's gapping Evgen behind. I think he might be gapping Markland too, so Christopherson may well show what his class. A first, second, a lot was going on in cool. turn. <laughs> I, I thought Evgen had a, had a good start. It's so tight in between Baby Grunholm and Ekstrom there in the back. Markland's 2.4. Yeah, Markland's yeah. closed the gap down by three tenths of a second, so Anton Markland here oh, is going Evgen quicker go than Johan Christopherson. Evgen goes in, going to try and cover off the drivers who are behind him. Maybe see if he can secure Martin a podium. Markland the fast lap time uh, for the final for 3.1, where where uh, Christopherson is doing for 3.5. He's made a mistake in that last corner. He came in too hot on the left-hander and had to rotate the car again round to the right. I think he's in the gap. So it was 2.7, two then it's 2.4. Remember, we've still got a couple of laps to go. He's very close. He's we'll very have a look close. up and over the crest now, coming into the last corner. Anton Martin trying to catch up close to Christopherson in front. Two Let's check the time. It was 2.7, now 2.4. What is it this time round? 2.3. He takes another yep. tenth off Christopherson. Christopherson Half doesn't percent. have enough. He's Half got percent. to stay out, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Half what are you it. thinking now? What are they oh, saying to Mark and Christopherson? I mean, speed it up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> go, go, Hammer go. down. <laughs> and it's Tom a race for the wind. This is his first yeah. weekend in the Hyundai, but, isn't it? But hey, let's see a masterclass of a joke lap from you and Christopherson. It's going to be tight. It's, I'll tell you what, even if though if the if gap is 2.3, yeah. we have seen it being possible on 2.6, but it's 2.3 enough. If it's enough for I anyone, I, 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 I reckon. I reckon. Johan had a very quick last lap now. Let's see, he did a 
for the 3.0 fast lap of the final. 2.4, he's taking yep. a little bit back One off tenth. him, but he goes standard lap. No, he goes Joker. Chris Joker, Johnson yeah. into the Joker lap now. Last this then maybe for the victory. Flames. Coming in, Anton Markland up and over the Chris. Going to try and close oh, him down the middle. Tight. In towards the wall. Markland up Markland. the inside line. First Chris time Johnson in Hyundai. now has to try and respond. Taps into the back of Markland as they go over the crest into the velodrome. Oh. He's going to come out wide. Watch for him doing the cut back underneath oh. Markland. Oh, oh. right up the back of the Hyundai. Into the corner of him. Anton no, Markland just, just held times. on. Chris Johnson piling the pressure on as they come down the hill. Taps the barrier on the inside <laughs> line. Through the right That's hander. Awesome. He's got one last corner. Let's try and have a go. Anton will try and cover oh. him up. No. Evian third. That's insane. I've never, I don't know. Amazing right across is jump. right across, right? <laughs> Marcus <laughs> lost jump was the biggest jump of the weekend. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. What happened oh. there? What happened there? Unbelievable. Steering arm. Uh, a little steering arm. I mean, Mate. rallycross is rallycross. Mate. Robin is racing and Robin is rallycross. <laughs> Dude, Rob that's great. You, you what happened in turn one or two? <laughs> I, I'm eager to see the replay. Basically, there's two parts of that race. So I have no idea what was going on. The yeah. first bit and the last bit. And then we weren't sure, like, because we, nah. we had the fear, didn't yeah. we, about the yeah. Joker because and of... Evian P3. Oh, my God. P3. What did Evian get last year? So Evian had a, had a, a two-thirds and a second last yeah. year. So it is Johan Christofferson, the reigning Rally X champion, who takes the win here at round one in Hodius. Yeah. But in the last corner by five tenths of a second, and Mark nearly held on with a car that had badly broken front suspension <laughs> after one of the biggest Steering jumps ever. Arm. Exactly. So basically, yeah, the yeah, light he, he landed on the right front. I mean, like, it's it's very cool because Marklin has been fast, uh, very fast on lap times all weekend, but have been in traffic. So, uh, <laughs> but dude, <laughs> mega. I love the previous, think about the, the, the lights there? final. All of a yeah, sudden, yeah, yeah, yeah. did the long jump in the lights final and broke the Crazy. steering, and Ericsson yeah. got him in the last corner. Matthias said here in the studio the jump is much bigger than before. We have seen more dirt in the compression of the jump. So, yeah. You need to take that in, uh, in precaution. You should, you should have been yeah. in here a minute yeah, ago. Yeah. Like, we were like, oh! yeah. your, your face was all red. Dude, like, was, dude. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. It wasn't, no, neither did it's I. It's cool to be a commentator as well. <laughs> Mate, what a day. Yeah, what well, a day. Welcome. What a welcome. welcome. Right, there okay. Let's pick the bones a of this. A big slow reaction time there by Sondre. Uh, he got pushed by Matthias, squeezed by Johan, up on two wheels. Oh, that's so... So he then... And look at Matthias now. Right, so Matthias... He, what does he get to a Matthias? touch does he, from... No. No. They're just slippery. This, uh, he's he he's the on sand. the sand. sand. He's on the sand. Oh, he, oh look at the marshal yeah. runs. Or maybe the Good photographer runs. There. So look... Oh, so look, Watch Ekstrom here, look. He's yeah. in the clear. But look at the dirt in the road. Yeah. Just boom into the wall on the outside. Yeah. So Markland's Joker, where he went straight in, look, yeah. and had great pace to look. Markland's Joker yeah. was mint, wasn't it? Was it? Mint. And he was instantly yeah. at the 2.7 yeah. window. Yeah. And then you know you've got to try hard out front to hold and him to off. To be honest, he was fastening you on all the way through, just not the last lap. Uh, or lap four. Now, so. to be fair, Johan was yeah. hard oh, on him hard. in that up yeah. at the velodrome. Yeah. He didn't get through, but he was hard. Yeah. And, and then, then watch this. Actually, he, he jumped oh, straight. Right. But if if yeah. there was a tiny bit yeah. of right yeah. lock on, if he'd had the wheel yeah. straight, you think he would have got away with it? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. Look, 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 look. look. Yeah. Tiny bit of right yeah, lock, look. Yeah, he have. Oh! Left, I mean. Dude, that Similar was close. to Arpin. Do you remember yeah. Arpin yeah, broke yeah, the suspension yeah, yeah, yeah. when he, although that jump was a even bigger than that. It was, like, it, was, it was a long, long jump, yeah. was it? That was the ERX. Yeah. Well, my goodness me, that is some way to finish. Uh, Not often you see one. Matthias in the barrier. No, dude. No, that's really what, there was a load of. Yeah. We we definitely saved the best till last. Yeah. That was the the race the race and of the, great, of the day. Great great uh, start of the rallycross career of uh, Baby as well. Let's head down and uh, have a catch up with Johan Christophs and what he thought of what was a pretty unbelievable final. It certainly was a pretty unbelievable final. Congratulations, Johan. What a final lap. Yeah, it was a rallycross heat, I think. I was, uh, I was tight already from, uh, from the start uh, with uh, Sondre. I had an initial good launch, but then he come back on me. I, I missed a couple of gears, uh, so he come back. And then, uh, yeah, I, I had the feeling of that he was really trying to go for it. And then for me, it was too late to back out as well. So I also had to go for it. And then I just saw he was too willing. 
trying to sort out that situation and uh, drag down a lot of gravel onto T2 uh, for the coming lap. And then uh, in the spotter tower, I think uh, they mixed it up a little bit. So I didn't know if Anton Joker already or not. So I got the pace to four second gap, which obviously was not Anton. So I was pretty sure I was uh, everything was in the bag. But then uh, I saw Anton was uh, coming and then uh, yeah, it was a bit rough uh, in, in the velodrome. But uh, yeah, from there on, I, I saw on the last... Uh, I was thinking it's never over until it's over here in Hulje, so I tried until the bitter end, and then I saw on Anton's landing, I saw that he broke the wheel. So then I took height, went on the inside. Otherwise, I think he would have got me, so I, I'm sure he's disappointed, but he was fast. A fair race. He was. Thank you. So I, I'm glad that we weren't the only people confused. When yeah, Johan's yeah. own spot is going, I didn't know yeah. whether or not Anton or Jake. I mean, it was Carnish into turn one. It, 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 it it's wasn't impossible for, the, for anyone to watch. Yeah, and then like, when Extrem goes remember. off as well, yeah. it's to remember because yeah. because so much goes on. Then Extrem went off on the outside, and you're like, okay, we'd said Mark and the gone, but then so they're giving Johan the gap, and yeah. so he's saying, okay, I'm not pushing. I thought out of yeah, four seconds. Yeah, because I saw the lap go. times. Uh, Anton was fast all the way through until the last lap. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, it was great driving. That was yeah, that, that was, was cool. That was a cool wild one. That was a, I I was, like, that was really cool. I, that was. I love Holly. You know, and yeah. uh, it's a nice reminder of how much I enjoy this and job stuff as happens, well. You know, last yeah, corner, man. dude. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah, we had the same in lights. We are uh, literally yeah. the same. The same. Like, can we, oh, can we see? Oh, yeah, we got the end of the lights final, just the last corner of the lights final. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm making a big ask here at the TV <laughs> truck. I don't know whether we have it, but the end of the lights final and the end of the supercar final, if we've Very got those similar. two clips, if anybody can find them in EVS technical stuff, uh, yeah. that would be mega. Because yeah. really, I'm like, <laughs> <You're pumped>. really? <laughs> Dude, I'm, fi I'm so fired up. I, I, I wanted to drive that final. <laughs> when, when this when this finishes, I'm just going to go, Wah. Oh, it's yeah. so... Uh, gotta, I'm going to Eat all those sweets and 10 cans of Monster and yeah, go to bed. <laughs> but that was. Here we go. Here we go. Right, so here's Olufsen coming yeah. down the hill, who we weren't sure if yeah. they joking or not. Yeah, I say know. we've had a few issues with graphics today and we apologise for that. He also. He, oh, okay, he, he, but still, yeah. like, still. Breaking on the grass. No, mate. And, 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 and Ericsson yeah. up the inside, yeah? Yep. There's the checkered flag. It's so close, yeah. yes. And, that, that's, and then here we go. Uh, from the front, sorry. He just gets the angle wrong, yeah. doesn't he? Big bounce off Eric. the sump guard. Ericsson up yeah. the inside. Er, look, Ericsson's on yeah. rails on oh. the way into there. Comes out the other side. Okay, so that's light. And then we go, well, that was wild. That was That'll wild. never happen again. <laughs> and then about eight seconds later, up yeah. comes the supercar final, which I'm sure we'll have for you in just a moment. And uh, I mean, it was just, we're going to go Madness. talk to Molly. I'm going to calm down just a little. Take a deep breathe. breath, Andrew. <laughs> it's, all, it's, it's all good. Yeah. Molly. <laughs> well, there was a bit of a debrief going on down here. And so we just heard from Johan that there was some confusion within Christopherson Motorsport, if you jokered or not. But what are your comments on that final? And of course, that final lap. Yeah, I actually I saw already like half way down the straight that the, this will become messy. For sure this is going to be messy. So I was just breaking way too early and just trying to see where everybody was going and then they went straight and it opened up for me. So I'm very lucky that uh, I didn't get collected by Matthias, I think when he was going across the the, the track. Um and from that on I could just try my own pace and uh, I think the car was feeling really good and uh, yeah leading the race on the final lap on the final jump and then a steering arm broke uh, going into the last corner and uh, yeah that means I open up the door for you one and uh, it's really disappointing to be honest um, when you're that close it's uh, it's not a nice feeling but it's good we show we have a good pace and when we get out of the the, the traffic then we, we show that we are quick so I'm happy with that and we have a new new try tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think uh, Anton did a really great uh, race weekend. First, first weekend so, so, in the oh, car. So, so do I. Molly, if you're down there, Molly, get in front of your yeah. camera. Let's have a quick say. Yeah. Molly, what, what Hi, did Molly. You, mate? What did you think <laughs> of those last two finals? Like, that was a, well, that's, this is only round one. It was absolutely unreal, and I'm actually stood next to Sandra Evian because yeah, he go came on, have over a chat. to the yeah. podium. Ask for. if he's shaking. <laughs> Ask if he's yeah. shaking. Yeah. Andreas is asking if you're still shaking. <laughs> yes, I'm really. I've rolled here. No, I know how nervous he is. Lights car, so I'm. Um, after the first corner, I was uh, was not good, but he, he, we kept the third place. So I'm super happy. Yeah, what exactly happened in that first corner? I don't know. I got not a really hard push from behind and just sent me into Johan and then over the curb. So I think that was what happened, but it happened so fast. But Sandra P3 in an entry list like this in supercars, brilliant. Yeah, of course, it's just amazing. I hoped 
I understood that Johan could have a good start, but I hoped to manage to follow him, but he was a bit shaken up by that one. And then I thought uh, Anton had the, the joker left, but he had already done it, so... But Quite a lot of confusion about these yes. jokers. Yeah, but so much happened in turn one and two, I think, so it was difficult to pay attention to everything. <laughs> Sandra gets called up onto the podium. <laughs> Molly, we just want to say thank you very much for all your hard work today down there. Oh, well, welcome awesome. back to Rally X, mate. Yeah, yeah go, come up here and let's have a nice tea or maybe an, uh, an adult beverage. Yeah. Or, or a monster. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. Well see done, mate. Soon. We'll see you later, Molly. <laughs> um, so, look, that, that's it from day one of, of Rally X here at Hollius. Um, Andreas Backer, thank you so much, mate. Thank you, Andrew. It's been a pleasure. It's, uh, we, Hope we, you guys have enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, we, we've had such a blast. Send us some messages. We'll try and come back to you tomorrow. There's so much going on. And, and uh, yeah, I just hope you've had a, as much of a blast as we have. The end of that day was was an end of a day I won't forget for a long time. <laughs> and we're going to do it all again tomorrow. There you go. Johan Christofferson, the winner of round one of Rally X 2022 from Anton Mark, who broke his steering on the final jump. Evgen, who took the top qualifying spot in the final. It's been a great day, and we're going to do it all again tomorrow. So join us tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a great day because... Uh, it's race day. It is. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Bye.